What's happening? Hello everyone! We're back with even more Mario Party Superstars today. I'm excited because we spent all day yesterday going through the entire game, showing you guys everything you need to know about what this game is before it released in the United States, which was awesome. And now that we're here, we have got a very fun challenge that I kind of thought of, and uh, I always did this when I was a kid. I've always would uh, play against every single one of the CPU characters and put them on the hardest difficulty possible. It's going to be a really fun time, so thanks for joining us. Not only are you guys going to see me struggle against a lot of the master CPUs, but you'll get a little bit of insight as to what helps you win the mini games, right? There's a lot of strategy involved, and I'll definitely tell you guys everything along the way. There's 100 mini games in total. And uh, we're gonna go over them. So it's gonna be a pretty long live stream. So thanks so much for coming. Thanks for enjoying uh, all of the Mario Party content. Those of you that have not seen uh, Mario Party on the channel, oh, we've got tons happening over here. Our playlist is filling up nice and neat. We've got an all mini games video, a Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing video. And then of course our full game preview of where we showed exactly what those boards are. We spent about six hours playing the game. It was actually really fun. Um, and then, of course, we've got some other small compilations of all the mini games as well. So definitely take a look at those when you have a moment to do so. But anyway, it's good to see you. What's up? Hey, guys. Hey, Martin. What's up, T-Man? Pokemon Dragon. Hey, what's good? What's good? Uh, T-Man's here. Hello. Christy, J-Mac. Hi. Springy's here. Hello. Uh, Alana, Lily. Hey, Warisha. Uh, yeah, we've got all of the same people. I love it. All my regulars are here. Hi. <laughs> what's going on, Serena? What's happening, Jane Jump? Uh, who else is here? Who else is hanging out? I saw a raid pirate floating around over here. Star Lord's in the house, looking good. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. You guys are all ready too, right? Tell me you're ready. Kelly's here. Justin. Hey, what's up? KGR. Uh, AS Maggie. What's going on? Hello, Vicky. Sushify. Grisama. Great to see you. All right. Anyway, share the live stream. Let's get a lot more people over here so we can uh, enjoy ourselves with playing against some CPUs, which is going to be relatively hard. So I'm excited to see it. All right, anyway, um, let's jump into Mount Minigames, and that's where we're going. You guys get to pick which computer opponents we're going to fight against. It's going to be really fun. Okay, uh, we're going to go Mario, and then you guys choose whatever characters you want. We'll change it up every, like, every so often, just to keep it a little bit fresh. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited for it. I am very excited to see... Uh, honestly, I haven't played all the minigames yet, like, on, on stream. I have not. So I'm excited to see how well I do. A lot of these minigames were games that I played when I was younger. So just really, really excited for it. What's up, Rebecca? Sean? Hey, what's going on? Uh, all right, who are we going against? I think I want to do... Warisha wants Yoshi. Deal. Uh, Sushify wants Rosa. And Starlord wants DK. All right, cool. You good. Good choices. All good choices. Off we go to Mount Mini Games. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. What's up, Dragon in the house and Baller? Yo, all of you guys here. All right, we're skipping this. We don't need to see that. Okay, welcome to Mount Mini Games. Select which course you want to play. We're gonna go free play. Uh, we're gonna go CPU on Master. Wow, look at that icon. That icon is pretty intense. Anyway. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know, man. What did I get myself into? How hard are CPUs on Master? And can you actually beat them? Right? Is this a challenge mode? Do you guys do this at home? I don't know, but we're going to find out. It's going to be a fun time. Okay. So here we go. We're jumping into Mario Party Superstars. We're going to be playing against the CPU Masters. Meaning, the easiest is at the very bottom, it goes normal, it goes hard, and then it goes unbelievably hard at Master. We're going to go over every single one of the mini games and challenge ourselves to see if we can beat them. So, we're just going to go straight in order, we're going to do the free-for-all ones, we're going to do the 2v2s, the 1v3s, the coin mini games. we're going to do everything, and it should be really interesting. Uh, we'll switch up the characters every now and then, but yeah, let's jump in. We're going to start with Mushroom Mix-Up. There's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, there's like 15 per row. This is going to be pretty intense. So, let's do our best. Wish me luck. And here we go. Mushroom Mix-Up. I'll teach you guys how to play this game, too. Uh, we've got... Uh, I'll be playing as Mario, as usual. We've got Yoshi. we got Rosalina. we got DK. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. This one's Mushroom Mix-Up. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. This one is called Mushroom Mix-Up, and you have to watch out for the sinking platforms. Uh, using the ground pound is really meta, 
I would say so. So moving around, using the ground pound to stun your enemies. I'm going to jump in and win this. Here we go. Come here, what you want? Come here. Oh my gosh, where am I? What you, oh, we're going over here? Oh no, help, 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 help. Smash me. Uh, yellow. They're, they're all over. And like, oh! Wow, 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 getting smushed hurts. So you can interrupt a smush, like a ground pound, by, um, by jumping. So if you just stand still, I think you're gonna be all set. So I went on the offensive and I smushed Yoshi right there. Oh, these guys are tough. Yoshi's gonzo though, see ya! Okay, so the real strategy is smushing them right before you leave. Like that, Rosa's done. Yes, don't even think about it, DK. I'm gonna win. Oh, oh, no! You're kidding! Dude, are you joking? Great. I thought I was gonna win that on my first try. Okay, so now we've learned. The pro strat is right when the mushrooms raise up, that's when you have to smush someone. Smushing them over here doesn't even matter. But it's right when it raises up and the platforms are available again, you really have to go for it. Yo, they could jump on me all they want, but you have to you have to be mindful of them like slightly nudging you too. And honestly, I don't I don't wow, ouch, guys. Yeah, I don't want to be offensive right at the beginning. Like I might bounce myself off. DK's too big. I don't know. Does DK have a bigger hitbox? So does he have advantages and disadvantages in, in certain levels? I don't know. Is he a different tier character? Okay, so now these pounds are going to be a lot more powerful. Oh my gosh. Where am I? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? There's no way I'm winning this. Dude, there's no way I'm winning this game. There's no way. It's so much chaos with these guys. They're just all moving. They're erratic. They're... They're... It's... It's so hard. This is a like a third attempt, man. Dude, they po wow, wow, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow. I don't know how that happened, but it worked. Somehow I got nudged off and pressed the A button. Dude, purple? I guess if I just keep on ground pounding, I'll be safe. Yeah, I think that's the new strat. Dude, I didn't mean to! Oh my gosh! Dude, I don't know if I can get through all 100 games. What did I sign myself up for? What did I sign myself up for? There's no way you can win this. They're, they're programmed to win. When are they programmed to let up if they're on master difficulty? But you know what? It's actually really good training, right? Really good training for when your friends are coming over and you get to dominate them. Because, yeah, on the way down, you are a hitbox, right? So the only way that they can intercept that is if they jump. Yeah, do not get do not get ground pounded, man. You're done. DK's gonzo. All right, now's our time to shine. This guy, this monkey's out of here. Get owned. Oh, my gosh. Yes.
So you really have to ground pound. Oh, I'm, I'm taking you, Yoshi. Oh! Oh my gosh, you're mine, boy. Oh, you're so bad at this game. Wow, hi. Are we gonna win? <sighs> no, I don't want to play this one. This is, we're, we'll play this one later. Trust me, we will. But no, I, I clicked on random minigame. Are we going to win? Two, I was so close, man. I was so, so close. We were very, very there. On this epic installment of Abdallah tries to beat all the hard CPU challenges? No way. That's right, Pokemon Dragon. You better be practicing against brutal master CPUs to prepare for when I'm coming over, right? Or when we're playing online. How does DK lose in the first one? I don't know. Maybe he just slipped off. That's fine. Bring it on, Rosa. It's almost like you have to sidestep. You have to sidestep their, their ground pound and then ground pound them yourself. So if you can ground pound them before Toad does his little... Um, flag thing, then you're golden, man. I got a twofer. Alright, here we go. We're gonna win. I've already figured this game out. Famous last words, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, as long as DK's out of here. You know, and then as long as you're in mid-air bouncing on their heads, you're not getting any any movement outside of up and down vertical movement. There's no horizontal movement, so you can just be in the air. Like, you, I wasn't even on screen. Oh, come on, guys. But yeah, being in mid-air is honestly your best bet. It's your safest... It's your safest option. Because you can't get ground pounded when you're in midair. Oh my gosh, did I just do a twofer? I did! I destroyed both of them! Yes! Oh, you saw that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Oh, you're done! Look at that! I win! I figured it out! That's so easy! Alright, so that's it, man. Okay, so right as Toad holds up a flag, if they have the, the frames and they're able to get smushed, you just have to smush them beforehand. Woo, boy! That's one down. Wow, that is one down. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we go. This one's bombs away. Moving and jumping. Uh, so, oof, I don't know how I'm going to beat these clowns. Here we go, here we go, wee! Okay, so the, the gimmick in this level is that it rocks based off of where the weight is distributed. And I haven't, oh my gosh, I haven't witnessed. I haven't witnessed someone actually getting hit by a cannonball, but the game plan is whenever the cannonball is about to land, you need to, and I stress, you need to jump. Oh, so I did get hit by a cannonball. So that yes, it, it's absolutely possible. It's absolutely possible. And this game is like I don't think you could beat. I don't think you can beat the CPUs on Bombs Away. You just have to survive 30 seconds. So as long as you don't get hit by a cannonball, you're fine. So take a look at the alignment of the cannonball in the background, what angle it's going towards, and then right at the uh, the time of impact, you just press the A button to jump. Uh, if you want to play offensive, you can. You can jump on your opponents to kind of give them like a, a little smushed hitbox. And don't slip off either. Depth perception on this level is so hard. <gasps> That's it. Okay, so as long as we win. That's considered beating the opponents. There's no way I'm going to spend an hour trying to get them off the platform. But as long as you survive, you're golden. So that was actually really good. I like that. We got two down. Let's move on. Number three. Shy Guy says, oh my gosh. Shy Guy says, are you, oh my goodness. All right. Here it comes. One down, 99 to go. All right, let's go. Shy Guy said, so it's it's left and right, man. And he will, he will juke you out.
There's a small window of reaction time that you just have to be patient for. You can't just like shotgun whatever one you see. You have to wait. Yeah, like that. I was the last one to put my flag up. This is a computer. How does a computer mess it up? Don't, man. Oh, Rosa's gonzo. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Things are getting a little heated. Sorry, DK. All right, Yoshi, it's on. Oh my gosh, yes! First try, baby. Come here, master CPUs, yes. Oh, man, I was holding my breath on that one. That was really hard. Uh, you saw my left trigger finger almost press it. Oh, all right, three down. Let's go, baby, we're in. Crazy Cutters, oh my gosh, this is an actual skill game against CPUs. I don't know how this is it, man. You really had to hold your breath on that one. Here's Crazy Cutters. All right, get the boo. I, I think I'm, I'm good at Crazy Cutting. Oh gosh. If I can get a 90, I'll be golden. I'm so good at tracing. Oh, except for that. That was actually very horrible. Come on, give me a 90, baby. I think DK did really well. Yes! Oh, yeah! Let's go! 91! Wow! Yo, we are crushing these CPUs, man. We had a hard start on that first game, but we are crushing it. Wow, though. Cookie cutters, man. Mm-hmm. Look at this full-on, uh... <laughs> Yo, we are in. All right. Here we go. Tipsy tourney. Let's go. Oh, wow. Tilt to the side. Tilt to slide the shell and uncover all the panels. All right. I, I guess. Oh, I remember this one from N64. Yes. Yes, this is real hard. If you're good, you can, what, uncover two at a time on the way down? No, you cannot. So you can't... Okay, that's official. You cannot do that. All right, here we go. I got to get some really good corners, man. You try the outside first. Don't let any dead space happen. You, you want nice, smooth transitions. Just like that, baby. Get off of me, Master CPUs. That's how you do that one. You do the outside first and make sure that you're running ahead of it so that it doesn't stop in the corner. All right, you're done. Easy, <clears throat> easy. Wow, get ready. Ooh, look at this one, D Dizzy Dancing. Okay, uh, fight through the dizziness to grab the clefts hovering above the record, uh, collect the most clefts to win. Show me this, I, I need a refresher. Oh, so our controls are like messed up. So like up is down, down is up, but you can punch, ouch. And you can ground pound too. Ground pound's gonna be devastating. All right, let's fight. Yeah, a ground pound is very devastating if you're able to do one. Okay, let's go, I'm ready. Come here, I'm gonna destroy these guys. All right, here it is. Oh, we are dizzy. Left is right, right is left. No idea. Or until you start moving, you'll find out. Okay, so mine's 100% backwards. May I? Depth perception. Ow, I just got punched by Rosalina. Get owned. Jumping is imperative in this level, and paying attention to where the shadow is. Dude, jumping is so OP in this game. Look at that, 10, 10 to three. Yo, you're not a master CPU. 
Okay, so in order to win that game, you have to jump, right? Because when you're walking around, it's so slow, but the air momentum does not get affected by that. So simple, man. We're golden. We're good. We're going to be the best at this game. Let's go bumper balls. All right, bump your rivals off the edge. This is the most iconic mini game in all of Mario Party. I hope there's no timer. All right, here we go. Oh, there is bumper ball 60 seconds. Get him. Okay, so a double bump is where you're stuck in between. You're stuck in between um, a character and then you get bounced twice towards them like this. We're going to double bump Yoshi. Oh my gosh, come here. I'm not letting this out. I'm not letting you out. I will be here all day. Dang it, Yoshi. All right, so now how do you 1v1 someone? You need momentum. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, yo. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so good, I love it. All right, so the, the real tricky thing with that one is that you need momentum. If you're at just a little bump like this standstill, you have to mix it up, man. You have to mix it up. That was so good, that was so good. Storm's Magic, what's up? Oh, I love Formula One racing, man. I drove a Ferrari yesterday. So I love, I love fast cars. It's, it's a fun time. All right, anyway. Thank you, Storms, for the super chat. All right, here we go. Uh, what's normal mode? Endless mode. Oh, dang, we're going normal mode, man. Not forget that. We're gonna jump some rope. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, so jump rope, normal mode. Oh my gosh, it drags against the ground and then it jumps over. This seems like an endless mode. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> so scary, man. All right, here we go. These characters are hard. Get ready. Okay, things are going. I wonder if there's a short hop. Oh, we'll find out if there's a short hop soon. Because you're going to need to be able to short hop. And the earlier you can jump, the better. And that's what it's going to have to be. You want to be able to jump early and then land on the other side of it. Like, really quick. Because then that way, you can be ready... Yeah, there is a short hop. There's absolutely a short hop, so you're fine. As long as you just like learn to short hop everything, you, this is like the, the foolproof plan. Please. Yes, see you later at 70, dude. Yoshi jumped way too early. Oh, so good. Way to go. Okay, so not bad. Like that one is relatively simple. Short hopping is really key and how you short hop is you just lightly press the A button as, as light as you can without holding it down. So I think we're doing great. We're doing, we're doing great so far. Tread carefully, let's go. Tread care, oh, I love tread carefully. This is one of my favorite mini games in all of the original Mario parties. Like you're in a tank. Um, yeah, yeah, tank is gonna be real fun. Okay, get ready, get ready. This is exciting. Ooh, there's only one, there's only one uh, little block here. So we have to be very careful on who we're firing at. I'm going for DK, Donkey Kong. DK, Donkey Kong is here, you're gone. I'm going for Yoshi because he's not looking at me. And Yoshi again, and Rosa. I'm gonna side. I'm gonna sidestep and then pretty much be along along this cover over here and lob some shots at her. Yes, yo, flawless victory, man! Get out of here. So good, so good. Okay, 
So that's one of those things where like it, there is a little bit of luck involved because you have to uh, you have to just see who's firing at who, and you can screen luck. You can see which character is aiming for who. So if you see someone turn and rotate at you, you better run because you only have two hits. So that was great. That was so good. Absolutely love it. Beat a master CPU. Played a mini game. Yeah, we did. Thank you. Uh, did I quit? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to quit. Dang it. <laughs> All right, master CPUs. Let's go. Oh, that was so fun. All right, let's continue on. Okay, next up is going to be Bumper Balloon Cars. Ooh, this one. Okay, so Bumper Balloon Cars. Yeah, this one requires a lot of strategy. Okay, so Bumper Balloon Cars. Honestly, you have to you have to watch your back, literally. Because the moment... Oh my gosh! Dude, if you get ganged up on like I did right there, no way. Anyway. Don't, don't. Are you kidding me? This is hard. You can't go offensive. You have to play defensive. You guys are fools. Why are they going after me? Oh my gosh, help! Help! Oh my goodness, it's too hard, man. So you get full acceleration when you're not turning, so that's a good way of breaking away from your opponents. But they will inch up and get you like this. Like Yoshi's right on my actual tail. Someone stop him! One! DK, come here! Yeah! Okay, that's right. So honestly, taking the wide turns is going to be your best friend there. But you can't just stand still. If you stand still, you're going to uh, potentially get bumped in the front. And whenever you get bumped in the front when you're standing still, you rotate a little bit. So you show your tail to them, which is not good. So dang, man. Okay, that took a little bit. Sneak and snore. Oh, sneak and snore? Oh, okay, okay, let's play this one. Okay, sneak to the, uh, wow, you have to, you have to run, and then you pretty much let go of the barrel, and then you can hide. Oh my, this is absolutely Squid Game, red light, green light. Oh my gosh, it's red light, green light. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, here we go, good luck. So. Wow, come on. No, Yoshi, slow down. Unbelievable. Okay, that was a that was a borderline tie. So one of the things that I noticed was that when you're in the barrel and he's looking around, you can actually start moving forward or at least holding the control stick up so that the moment that you're able to, it'll automatically start pushing you and you're not going to be penalized for moving out of the barrel. So that was actually really good. I like that one. Okay, here we go. Mecha Marathon. Oh man. Okay, so I'm very curious about how well computers can button mash. Uh, when I was younger, button mashing was my, what, was my specialty. I absolutely love that. Where you can just like press buttons like so quick. All right, here we go. Breathe in. I don't know. I was kind of at an angle and I think I wasn't pressing them right. <laughs> Slowly stares into the camera. Oh my gosh. 58, dude. If you get 60 on this one, you're good. Wow, wow. If you can get 60 on this one, you're actually good. Oh, like you can't even breathe with that. No, like you have to. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. There's no way. That's what I thought. Yo, if you're 60, you're good. Come on. I'm right at the 60 line. Why would you? <laughs> I need like one more button press. 
Oh my goodness. All right, well, that was easy. Like button mashing, the master CPUs, they're really not that good. So I'm good on that. All right, here we go. Ma next up, slot card derby. Ooh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of strategy with this one. All right, let's see if we can figure out the strategy involved. It's gonna be tilting to speed up. And there's a, di there's a difference. There's a difference between the lanes that you're in too. And you're gonna switch lanes every single time. So honestly, it's just pressing up and then maybe letting go of up on the, on the turns. You wanna see what you can get away with without, without spinning out. And if you notice you're fishtailing a little bit, you have to let go. And on straightaways and like wide turns. Yo, baby, don't talk to me. Don't, don't even talk to me. It's so easy. So yeah, like I said before, it's like you can get away. If you're on the wide turns, you can get away with full speed. But like when you're on the tighter ones, you're gonna fishtail and spin out. So you have to really just balance letting go of it. That was so easy. Dude, I thought we were gonna have a hard time today. But I was, oh gosh, no. This is 100% luck. How am I gonna win? You guys tell me the colors right now. Tell me the colors. Oh man, tell me the colors right now. I'm never gonna win this one. Okay, so this game right over here, is a skilled Mario player's worst nightmare. Because it's just like, all right, you just blindly pick a color and then you go from there. And then if it's a good one, then you survive. And if it's not, then you don't. So this one is legit hard. So now it's just a statistics game. There's a hundred percent luck. I don't like these games. Blow them up. Good, thank you. So there was luck involved with me being last. Um, I mean, I think the odds are better if you're last. So now it's a 25% chance. Uh, what are we doing? What color? Uh, we gonna go green? Okay, cool, green. Are you kidding me, green? <laughs> Why did you tell me green? <laughs> All right, here we go. So again, it's a luck-based game. You pick a color, and then you possibly win. So see, going first, although you may have the best odds, which is what, 20%? A 20% chance of blowing up? It's still a possibility, so it's actually the worst. So you want to go last. But there's, oh, look at this, look at, I didn't even get to hit a switch, and I'm already at the final two. So there is, again, it's a lot of luck and you have no choice in the matter. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go purple. No, I'm going green. It's not gonna be green. No, yeah, we're going green. Oh, good. Now he's got a 50-50 shot and he better lose it because I don't like this game. <laughs> this game is so hard. Lose. Thank you, thank you. I See, like, we got so lucky. We got so lucky that I only had to press a switch once and I won because every single person blew themselves up. What are the odds of that happening? I don't even know, but this is a, mm. This is a game where it's like, dude, I'm not gonna win against another player. So I'm just gonna hope for a luck game. Ugh. Not good. Okay, roll call. Let's go roll call. Uh, count how many characters are milling about. Whoever is right when the roll call comes wins. All right, you guys can play this one too. All right, play at home. Just count out loud, and then just type your um, type your number in the chat. Roll call. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't get don't get uh, distracted by the big mushrooms there. Yeah, I think, I think I'm at 23. This one's a hard one. So when you're playing this game, you don't really want to count out loud. You just want to look at one and then press the A button and then go to the next one. And you want to work your way over, um, whether it be working in a uh, left to right, kind of a top bottom. I just grabbed groups. Like I first started in this lower group 
And then like I grabbed an upper group and then just kind of like press the A button as I was looking at them. Because if you're counting, then like it's, it's a lot harder. Yeah, yeah, so there we go. That's easy. You're not gonna beat the CPUs, but you can match them and that's fine. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's just, so a lot of, wow, yeah, yeah, good job, good job. That was pretty simple, yeah. I'm surprised that they actually uh, lost. Like it's a it's a computer. You you'd think that they would just automatically know, but they didn't. All right, here we go. Honeycomb Havoc. So yeah, that previous one, honestly, a lot of you guys did a really good job. I see a lot of 23s over here. So good work, good work. And those of you guys who didn't, maybe next time. Honeycomb Havoc, let's do it. Okay, so this is Honeycomb Havoc. You at the beginning. It's really, it's really hard to determine the outcome, right? Do you go big? Do you go small? Once it starts getting to, um, once it starts getting to a smaller number, like an odd number, I think that's the statistic that you want to watch out for. So right now, uh, I win. I'm safe. I'm 100% safe because there's only five right now. And if Rosa takes two and I take two, I'm good. So right now, I'm going to say Yoshi goodbye. Actually, you know what? I don't like DK, so I'm going to take one. And uh, whenever the honeycomb drops down, then that means that you're eliminated. So I had the ability to pick and choose which one of my opponents wasn't going to win. And that's going to be pretty advantageous when it comes to actually playing through in a board, right? If you know first place is DK and you're like, nah, man, you're done. I'm, I'm, I'm losing. Uh, you are going to be gone, right? I'm losing you. You're going to go eat my dust. So that's really good. So right at the beginning, honestly, it doesn't matter until like the last five or six, you really have to play the statistics of, okay, so if I choose one, then that person can potentially choose two. So now things get really hairy. I can potentially lose right here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go for two in hopes that Yoshi takes two, but because I, I'm at a, I'm at a standstill where I can lose, depending on how they take. So if Yoshi takes two, I win. I spared him last round. Good. You see this? I spared him last round and I chose DK over him. So that was really, really hard. So now it's just, again, it's statistics. How are you going to really take a look at this? Right? So honestly, I'm going to go with one. You, you, can, you can be a little safer just by taking ones at the beginning. And then just see like where you're going to go. How are you going to pigeonhole him? Um, if I take two... Yeah, this one's real. This is big mind games now. So I'm taking one. If he takes two, oh no, he did it. He he beat me. I did not do that correctly. So right now I'm just gonna take one in hopes that he only takes one. Please only take one. Please don't know how to count. You. <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh my gosh. Yoshi, I spared you, man. This over here. Anyway. That's, this is, this is absolutely a big brain game. Okay, so I don't lose in this first round, which is great. I'm going to take two. Um, I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to take one. I'm going to take one. Just to get at Yoshi. Wow. All right, sorry, Yoshi. That's just what it is. Okay, so here we go. The second round is going to be pretty interesting. There's a lot that can happen. I'm just gonna go with ones, man. You take ones, you should be all set. So honestly, I'm just, I'm curious if there's like an equation at the last round when it's 1v1, like should you take one, should you take two? I don't have that science right now, but this is not good. I can potentially lose right now. So if I take, yeah, I'm, I'm going to potentially lose. I'm just throwing that out there. If they both take two, I lose. Come on, Rosa. Come on, Rosa. Don't do this to me. You're joking. <laughs> okay, so how would you, oh man. How would you rate this game as far as luck and skill goes? I mean, there's a little bit of skill involved with counting, but I don't think it's that that prevalent. I'm wow. I mean, I could potentially lose over here too. If they both take two, 
Or and now if they each take one. What are you doing? How do I lose in the first round? It's so luck based. Take two, please. Wow. Wow, though. Okay, let's talk about this game. I thought I was going to win. But now... Rosalina gets it. You know, the only enemy I didn't make is DK. So here it comes. Go. That's right. Enjoy it, Rosa. Enjoy the bees. Get some of that medicine. Maybe the nooklings will help you out. Here we go! Pulling on all of these fruits is going to be pretty interesting. One, two. Okay. I have an option here. Mm, two, 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 two. I'm gonna go one. So if you count from the beehive in groups of two, you can kind of make an educated guess as to where you're gonna land. But then if someone takes a one, then it kind of messes it up. Like right now, it's pretty bad. I need to take a two. Uh, DK's gonna take a one, Yoshi's gone. All right, so now it's me and the monkey. Two, 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 two. Interesting. So it's an even number up until the hive right now. Two, 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 two. I'm gonna go for two. It's a mind game. You gotta play bigger brain. Okay. Me, DK, me. But if it takes a one, it's over. I gotta take two, man. If he takes a one, he wins. Are you kidding? No. Ah, come on. How did I get up? Yeah. Ah, DK, man. If he takes a one, he wins. How did he get put in that situation, though? How do you get put in that situation? Was there something that I did? Was there a miscount? Am I just, I don't know the strategy for the last even amount. It's so, it's so hard. Okay, so the, maybe there's a strategy involved. I don't know, with odds and evens and the odds and statistics of doing it. Um, I need to take a, I can potentially lose over here. I'm gonna take a one. I could potentially lose if they do two, one, two. One. Don't take double twos, man. DK, I swear it, man. DK, don't do it. Thank you. All right, DK, show me a little bit of mercy over here. Sorry, Rosa. Yeah, I, it's, it's a counting game. You want to be able to put your opponent in a spot where they have an odd number, like three left. So then they automatically lose. So how do we get them to three left? That's the big number, right? You gotta put them in a situation where they have three left. That's the strategy. If it's 1v1. Right now, honestly, it doesn't matter. Like this is just, okay, cool. So I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna take two. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Yoshi and I. On their turn, there must be three fruits at the very end. That's how you will win. If you set them up in that corner, you will 100% win. So I got to figure that out. So there's the three. I'm going to take two right now. If he takes two. Oh. This is bad. I can lose right now. Because if I take one, he's going to take two, and I'm stuck with the, the three choice. If I take two, and he takes one, and he doesn't know about the three choice. Beautiful. Oh, not beautiful. Oh, he got me with three. No. Uh, so bad. Yo, he cornered me with the three fur. This is so hard, man. So hard. There is very, it's very hard, man. So that's it. We figured out the strategy. It's, you have to put them in a corner where they have three fruits. And however you're going to do that, maybe when you're in the 1v1 scenario, 
I think it's best if you, um, I think it's best if you take one. Just always take one. Because I've been taking two every time. It's too hard. Take two, please. Are you joking? Come on, man. <laughs> this is too hard, man. Welcome, Vera. Hey, thanks so much for coming. Oh, Vera, tell me your strategy. This is so hard. If they both take two, I'm done. So someone take one. DK, come on, man. Thank you. All right, you know what? I'm gonna show you some mercy as well, DK. You're a good friend. Your teeth are so amazing and your little curl in your hair looks great today. Sorry, Yoshi, you're done. Yeah, maybe it does depend on whether or not you're going first in the last round, right? But you, but at the end of the day, you have to manipulate it so that you can kind of count ahead in 10 seconds and say, all right, well, how many are there? It's typically an even amount. Can you, is there a, is there a, oh, I'm sorry. Is there a statistical equation that will allow you to win every single time if you go first in an even round of 10 fruit, right? Like that's the thing. I'm not a math magician, uh, but uh, we have figured out now that there are indeed, once you corner them, and they have three to choose from, you automatically win. That's just from the end. Sorry, DK. I had to let you go, man. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. So now I'm going into the first round with an odd amount. Um, I'm just going odd right now. I'm going onesies so I can see. Oh, hey. Cool. Hi. Oh, my gosh. So if I do uh, uh, two... I'm gonna go one. I'm just gonna take onesies. We're gonna win this one. Oh, she got me! No! Unless, unless I, unless she takes a one next turn and doesn't know about the three. If she takes a two, I'm, I lose. Unbelievable! <laughs> this is so hard. Whoever bought the merch, thank you so much. Um, we had a couple, uh, we had a brand new member come on board. Thank you so much, Vera. Hey, nice to see you. Good to see you. What's up, Kuhn? How are you? Hi, welcome. We're struggling out here, man. This is just a mathemal, mathematical nightmare. It's a mathematical nightmare. Going into the last round with odd, you have to somehow know how many are left and what to take for your opponent, man. It's ridiculous. This is one of the hardest ones. This is one of the hardest mini games because there's a lot of luck involved with turn order and what the CPUs are gonna randomly do. Yoshi, if you take two, I'm done, man. Don't. Thank you, you're a good little dinosaur. I promise not to use you as an extra jump in my next adventure. <laughs> you know, because you're on top of Yoshi and then you take a jump and you didn't quite make it and you jump off of Yoshi and just, he just falls. Yep. Everyone's done it. Do you think that the computers are programmed to make it to the three at the end? I don't know. You have to be able to win. Computers can't be unbeatable, right? As we're learning over here, I've beaten the computers plenty of times up until now. Maybe there's a margin for error. See, like right there, that was a margin for error because he allowed me to survive. So now Yoshi, oh my gosh. Well, I could lose. I could potentially lose right here. You did! You absolutely did, DK. Come on, man. All right, here we go. Keep it a multiple of three during 1v1. I'll try that. I'll try that. Keep it a multiple of three. Interesting, so using that, so three, six, nine. I will, yeah, I'll look into that. That sounds, it sounds pretty generic. So if you are going in first and it's odd, just make sure it's a multiple of three. So if I if it was 11, I should have gone, I should have gone two to make it nine. And then she's gonna take one, it would be eight left. Oh, I can't, I need a visual. I can't do it in my mind. Eight, oh man, no, no, I can, I cannot do that. I'm a visual learner. 
All right, here it comes. I'm not losing. This is good. Unless they do double ones, man. So this is really manipulative. Honestly, because you can, like, talk to the person behind you and be like, yo, do you guys want to get Abdallah out? Okay, cool. You want to do it? All right, done. So now I lose because he didn't take two. So good job. You're not going to win this. It's against against the computers, man. You cannot. The master CPUs are definitely one step ahead of you, somehow. But, like, we've seen that they have a little bit of... I don't want to say courtesy, but they have a little bit of... I don't know, mercy? Where they could have easily gotten the human player out, right? Like a robot invasion. They could have easily knocked me out, but they didn't. And they showed me a little bit of that grace. Uh, and that was interesting to see. So it kind of makes me think that they're not programmed to get the human players out. That they're just programmed to make sure that they don't lose. And there's a little bit of luck involved with that. So we're going to get it. Okay, so Jam VNG says you, you want to be first in the 1v1 so you can always have the multiple of three. I haven't gotten a chance to test it yet, but I think that science is really, really good. Um, honestly, and I'm sure there's equations involved when you're in like the second round, which we're in right now. Like you want to have it multiple of X, right? So now if you take one, I'll take two, I will win and Yoshi gets out. Okay, so now it's two, four, six, eight. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna take the two, which will make it six, which is a, a multiple of three. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. That's 100% smart. Folks, we figured it out. It has to be a multiple of three at the end, and then you will 100% of the time win. Oh my gosh! So if your opponent doesn't know that, and they didn't watch this video here, then you will beat them every time. That is so brainy, oh my gosh. There was eight, and then I reduced it to six, which is three times two is six, and then he picked one. I'm like, nah, man, I'll pick two to make you have the three at the end. Oh my gosh, that's crazy cool. All right. I love it, man. You guys are learning pro tips here for Mario Party. Good job. Good job. You guys are great. I don't remember who said that in the chat, but that was a really good idea. Just just knowing. Like, I called it out, like, once you corner them with a with a three, like, that's game. That's, like, win condition. Checkmate. But then you guys took it a step further and said, oh, if you have, like, a, another multiple of that, that would be really good. So, I, I think you guys are amazing. So, very, very proud of you on that one. Good job. Uh, I'm going to choose some different characters. What do you guys say? Um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if you, what happens if you go second at that point, right? Like what happens if you go second and then your opponent just doesn't know the whole concept of multiples of three, like if they know about it, then how do you get out of it? Are you done? You just instantly done and just hope and pray. All right. Choose me, uh, choose me a couple more characters and we'll go from there. That was fun, man. That was absolutely fun. Finally, math saves the day. That's what I'm talking about, Tristan. Man, math though. That was really hard. Give me some characters. What do you guys want? Lyra Croesus wants Waluigi. All right, you got it. Uh, what else do you want? Uh, Martin wants Peach. I'll give you Peach. Sassy Scissors also wants Peach. Okay. J-Mac and Cassie wants Birdo. All right, let's go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is actually really, really fun. I'm having so much fun with this. The first minigame was brutal. The rest of them were kind of smooth sailing, so let's jump in. All right, Vera, you wanted Birdo too? Okay, I got you. Put him on Master and let's knock him out. As long as you don't have a multiple of three in your turn, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Honeycomb Havoc was done. Uh, yeah, let's jump in. Okay, we're jumping right back. This is uh, Snowball Summit. Snowball, oh, Snowball Summit? Did I like this one? Roll up a big... A snowball to push out your rivals. Okay, welcome to it. Welcome to it. Mash the B button to make a snowball. Ow! Okay. Ow! 
Okay, this is fun. Wait. Oof. Oh, so you can... Wow. How are you going to win? Making a bigger snowball helps out with that, and you can really blast them away. Oh, it's max size. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I need to learn this. I need to learn the meta of this game. Max size snowball. But don't stay on the edge or else you can get pushed. Even, he just rolled into me and I was along the edge. Anyway, here we go. So match the B button to make a snowball. Try to evade them while you're making a big giant one. And then just launch on Peach right now. Boom! That's right. I think that's the meta strat. You gotta block it too. Oh! Oh my gosh. Dude. Hello? Here we go. Big snowballs. Dodging. Dodging, that's fine. You know what? I will break your snowball with my head. That's perfectly fine. Look at him. Look at him. Peach, goodbye. Launcher. So the bigger the snowball, the more launch you have. So, yeah, here we go. Birdo and Mar and Waluigi. Bur Waluigi, you're done. See ya, clown. All right, get ready. Oh, she made a huge mistake. Actually, that was really good. Her running into my big, my medium snowball. Oof! Come here, Birdo! 1v1 me! Ow! You're done! Right now! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so the strategy on that one is the bigger the snowball, right? If you can... If you can allow your opponents to, like, mess around and have some, like, snowballs themselves, then you're over here making this gigantic snowball that, when they're ready... Just launch it at him and watch him go flying. So simple. So simple for that one. Love it. Ice rink risk. Avoid the spinies that slide around the slippery ice. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we're just kind of running. We're running and we're jumping. Okay, that's easy. So jumping is, is hard because you have the momentum of the ice on you. And you can't change your momentum in mid-air. So that's uh, really unlike Mario games. Like, typically with Mario games, you can kind of, like, jump towards the left and then, like, in midair, switch towards the right. But not this game. The, the midair physics are based in reality. So the question is, do you kind of stand still? If you stand still, you're not able to... Well, you know what? Actually, standing still might be the meta. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Check this out. Which is just enough time for the spiny to pass underneath you. So if you're running around like a fool, man, no way. You're done. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, so that's something that you can't control, right? You can't control the angles that they bounce off of. But, um, from what I was feeling, what I'm feeling with this one is standing still is going to be your best bet against the wall. Staying still against the wall is your best bet. Because if you're running around, like, you can potentially, like, get pushed by other people, all those things. Just staying on the edge, watching the collision of each of these, and watching your opponent, too. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I didn't have to knock out everyone, but I had to survive. Jumping on opponents' heads, probably not the best bet. It doesn't, it doesn't appear that you slow them down. Um, so yeah, just kind of staying to one little area and like claiming that corner as your own is, is going to be your best bet. So I like that. Okay, cool. Bounce and trounce. Here we go. Here we go. Bounce and trounce. Oh, I like this one. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, so there's a little strategy involved with bouncing really high. And then, um, doing a spin attack. Alright, so anyway, here we go. Alright, bounce and trounce. So, as soon as you press the A button on the bottom of your bounce, you can bounce real high. And then you could do, a, like, a 360. But you want to stay towards the middle, man. You do not want to be on the edge. So, as close to the middle as you can. There we go, gonzo. Stay in the middle. And then, oh gosh. And you want to push her off. Go! See ya! Oh! <laughs> Boo. 
So I noticed that when when you're doing your spin attack, it it lo you lose your momentum. Okay, here we go. Bounce and trounce. I'm in, man. You stay in the middle. This is the strategy. You stay in the middle. And you always high bounce. Yeah, as soon as you land, you have to press the A button to get real good air. And it appears the higher air you get, the more priority your spin attack is. That's good. So, yeah, whenever you're jumping, you can do a spin attack and press the A button right before you land to get another high bounce. So you can chain it again. So that's a really big skill game. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Storm Chasers, here we go. Oh, Storm Chasers, man. Hmm. Storm Chasers is going to be a mini game where we're going to have to leave our little piranha plant and try to get as much water as possible. So it's really just manipulating your character to kind of move around the others and watch out for Monty Moles as they pop up because that's not good. And if you notice your color sprinkles, little sparkles are coming out, then that's going to be really good for you. Yeah, I just got Monty Mold. I got pushed by the other opponents. Dude, Waluigi got so much water with that. Yes, that last little sprinklage. Please. Oh, huge. Eat them all. Why is he just dancing? He's supposed to eat the other one. All right, so anyway, that one's pretty easy, right? You just run around, watch out for the bodies, the physical bodies of your opponents. And if there's a Monty Mole, you just have to hope and pray that the cloud goes around it. You don't want to land on it or else you're going to lose a lot of time. Pretty easy. I like that one. Okay, Mush Pit. You're learning. Oh my gosh, Mush Pit is... Ooh, this one's going to be fun. I like this one a lot. Okay, so you can uh, you can punch. Wow, okay, okay. You can jump and punch. Okay, Mush Pit. One of these blocks houses the Mega Mushroom. Oh my gosh. Run, run. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, you gotta bait him. There we go. Okay, so it's not... Oh, four times? Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. What? What's the science of this game? I thought he only had three runs. All right, here we go. Here it is, here it is. I stole that, and then now I win. That's it, easy. So, you can do one of two things. You can do one of two things in this minigame. You can wait in the middle until you see the mushroom, and then you jump in and steal it. Um, and then once you're there, you really have, to, you only have four directions to run, and four shots. So it's a diagonal, and you try to hit them. And once you hit them out, then you win. Um, but then if you don't hit them in four run directions, then it starts again. So that was, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy to win that one. Cheap, cheap chase. Okay, here we go. This one, I think a lot of us will end up winning in. Oh, which button is it? Oh gosh. I Okay, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to swim, I think with B. A, A to swim, and you press down on the control stick in order to dip underneath. And as long as you survive, you are going to win the game. So there's no, there's no like multiplayer aspect of this at all. So just keep on pressing the A button and you're golden, man. Like I'm struggling out here, but I just started later. So there's no, there's no ability to swim faster than everyone else. It's just, you survive. Wait, what? Because I was the last one out of the pool? Oh, the first person wins? Hold on, hold on. That was not cool, Peach. I did not know that. All right, you want to fight? Let's go. All right, cheap, cheap chase, man. First one out the pool. I'm not messing around. I thought B was swim for some reason, man. Don't talk to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm still going to win. Get out of here. Oh. <gasps> oh! Okay, fine, 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 fine. It's hard to hold a controller, mash the A button, and press down at the same time. We got this. Cheap, cheap, chase. Come here! Huh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, pressing this A button hurts. It's so hard. Press the down button as soon as your head almost touches the spike and you're golden, man. I'm out of here. Me first. Get out of here. Oh, Peach, you're gone. All right. So that was, it, that is a hard one. So there's a, there's a lot of strenuous button mashing and with a mixture of adding in timing. That one is pretty difficult, but it is 100% skill. So I'm, I'm in. I am 100% in on that one. Wow. Okay, here we go. Chip shot challenge. Oh, this one's gross. This one's like a, a golfing sim. Okay. Aim, power, and swing. So for chip shot challenge, um, you have an advantage if you're last. If you're chosen, if you're chosen last, you have the objective advantage because you can watch everyone's uh, attacks and you can see how high they hit them or how much power, all that stuff. It doesn't seem like there's any wind effects. But that was really good. She did two away from max speed or max power. What are you doing? Wait, you can hide? You can hide your power? How did she hide that? Wait, hold on. How did Birdo hide her cursor? Anyway. This game. So I'm second place over here. What? You're some sort of good at golf, Birdo, because every time I hit the ball, I go crazy far. Why does mine go launching? I don't understand. Is there is there a secret to this game I'm missing? I did the exact same thing as Birdo and mine thing got launched. All right, here we go. So being last place, you have an advantage. You can take a look at what everyone else is doing. Uh, although I pressed the ZL button and skipped it, which is not good. Waluigi is really good. So she did with four bars left. That's really good. Okay, so she did it with four bars left. I should be able to match that. There's no way she's hiding her screen. How does she do that? Look, 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 four bars left. Right, this is exactly what Peach did. Why am I launching it so high? Is there another control scheme that I'm missing? That makes zero sense to me. No, no, it's not too much power. I did the exact same thing as Peach. No, that's why I'm upset right now because there's another element that the game's not teaching you about. And no, there's no wind either else they do a wind meter. This game is weird. It's not, a, it's not a simulator of wind at all. You guys are noticing my shots are not getting carried by the wind. Maybe there is a secret wind element? I didn't see how much power she used on that. Mario Golf is terrible, and this is an even more terrible thing about Mario Golf. Look, you did four bars of power. And look at this. Look at how close you got with just singular four bars of power. Tell me about that. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Watch, four bars of power, the exact Birdo hit. And watch me like, not even make the shot. Why didn't I go n anywhere near Birdo's shot? I don't understand that. Look, he's going, and then he went down a little bit. Dude, the chip shot challenge, man. No, it's not, it's not a, they're, they can't possibly put different stats on every character. That's not that's not how Mario Party works. No character is any better than any other in the history of all Mario Party games. This is not a thing. All right, I have a chance of not winning. I 
This is not okay. So how? How did he? Are you actually kidding? There's no way I'm winning this. Power and swing. Those are the only options. Power is up and down. Swing is left and right. So then what? Oh man, the best way to test it is have four human players try it. Yeah, but like, I guess. Am I pressing the A button as soon as I hit the ball again? So you press the A button to wind up, press the A button to hit it again? No, why wouldn't they just say that in the controls? This is the worst mini game. Watch. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna aim for the pole. If I hit the pole, then I win. Just like that. Aim for the pole. It's called a chip challenge, so you want to get the pole, right? He did like one power. That's impossible how far he's going to hit this thing. It's really hard. Four power all the way to the left. How? How did you get that shot? <laughs> There's no way, man. Well, I'm going to take it because I just said, you know what? Forget it. Forget about looking at your computer opponents. You just have to have the experience in this game and aim for the pole. That's really it. And if you can aim for the pole, then you can possibly win. So hard. It's a bad simulator. Anyway, Rock and Raceway. I like Rock and Raceway. This one's cute. All right, so uh, this one, woo. Rock and Raceway is going to be pressing the L and the R buttons alternating, and you have five little fruits that you don't want to overexert your, um, overexert your horse. So get a nice little tempo going. And watch out for these berries. Okay, so now you have unlimited. <laughs> I hate this game. It's so hard. L and R. Are you kidding me? And like when you have unlimited, I just want to put this controller in between my knees and like go like this really quick. I just might. Maybe there's a tempo that you're supposed to do. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And I spun out before I got it because I wanted a little sprint over there. Get out of here. It's game, man. Yeehaw! Giddy up. All right. I'm just going to I'm going to reveal my left and right tempo so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Keeping two carrots in case I need a little sprint. You're kidding! No, there's no way you can win if you get a if you get a bad berry, man. You can't. This one's hard. This one's very hard. You gotta have that timing where you land exactly on that. This is so difficult. All right. Doing a tempo. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Saving yourself a couple of different carrots for uh, a, 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 an emergency sprint if you want to. Why is Waluigi catching up so badly? Oh, dude, there's no way of winning this game! 
when the when the computer opponents are legitimately getting the the boost, they are speeding past. They are catching up. So honestly, I don't really understand. Am I just not fast at alternating left and right? Fudge, man. Am I just not good at le alternating left and right when I get the speed boost? Is that the thing? It's so hard, man. Gold win by a nose. I need this in my life so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm winning, baby. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my gosh, never again. Okay, so what I found out was when you're in that sprint form, you legitimately have to do left and right as fast as you can. Because if you just like randomly do like LR at the same time or R twice, you're not going to speed up. You're going to lose speed. So you really have to be like left, right, left, right, left, right, like this exactly alternating and not just like randomly like pressing it so that is real hard uh but yeah we beat the we beat the cpu so we're good oh boy really rocking raceway man here's messy memory okay messy memory is pretty good uh yeah this game's great this game's great okay so for messy memory you have to come up with a a story, right? Donkey Kong, Mario, and Luigi uh, brought their hammer to the Shy Guy uh, King Banana Mushroom Wario Egg. King Banana Mushroom Wario Egg. King Banana Mushroom Wario Egg. Uh, Donkey Kong, uh, along with Mario and Luigi, brought their hammer to the Shy Guy. Yeah, and then you have to close your curtains. You have to press the B button to close your curtains. Or else everyone's just going to copy you. <laughs> so, I guess I kind of made a story? Oh, they changed their mind the last second? Excuse me? So yeah, make your... <laughs> make a story. Tell yourself a story out loud. Hopefully not loud enough for your friends can hear it. And then uh, you can get a perfect, just like that. We Banana Mushroom Wario Egg. <laughs> That's a funny one, huh? That's a really funny Banana Mushroom Wario. That's a really good story. I'm going to tell you that story to go to bed. Hey, Abdallah, can you tell me the story about Donkey Kong and Mario and Luigi breaking the Shy Guy and Banana Mario Mushroom Head? <laughs> what is it? Sure. Sure, my child. Come around. All right, so this is it. Uh, this is a 100% skill game. We're going to be tracing some crayons in this minigame. Tracing some fat crayons over here. It's like lipstick. It's like how you put your lipstick on in the morning. And then you do a loop like Sonic the Hedgehog right over here. Ooh, nasty. Ew, I am all over this. The right angles are easiest, but these like smooth curves are very hard. Beautiful. That's a 90, man. Good luck. Coloring outside the lines over here. Good luck, dude. I did so well. You saw me do the loop to loop. So hard, actually. Ooh, 90. Oh, come on. I thought 90 was good. 94? Hello? All right, here it goes. Tracing and racing. I need more than 90 percentile. Like you have to pay attention to the subtle turns. Oh, that was, that was a fat turn. 
The right angles are the easiest. And don't slip either. Oh my gosh, I was doing terrible on that. Yuck! Yuck! Uh, that's very bad. I think that's like an 85. I need to beat this game. All I got is 90, man. I cannot score higher than an A. I'm afraid. I am afraid of this minigame. Very afraid of it. Slow and steady wins the race, man. Full depression of the control stick is not necessary. Just allow the control stick to be at one with you. Oh my gosh, my lines are so good. Ew! I'm so bad, I'm so bad. This is very terrible. I was completely off the line too. I just, I'm not even trying anymore. Yo, if you can get over 90%, you're good. These are unbeatable computers unless they do 100%. Yeah, right. 85 going slow. I have to beat 94. I have to beat 94. The game pushes you. You can't go. You, you can't go too slow. You have to have a nice forward tempo. Otherwise, the game is going to push you. Slow down when you feel you need to. Like right over here at the loop. Slow down. Ew. done i don't know man i really have to just change gears and just win i don't know how i'm going to get more than 91 there's no way you can beat the cpus in this man guys guys i've met my match you cannot beat masters you cannot get it who's gonna do this Yeah, the crayon's a fat crayon, man! Ew. I was doing so well and I messed that part up. I think I won, 91. Ew, gross, gross ending. Very bad dismount. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 91. 92, Waluigi! Why, Waluigi beat me at 1%. Oh my gosh, I could have had a three-way tie with a 92. That was my best yet. All right, here it comes. I got this. I got it. Oh, look at these nasty shapes. Ew! Oh my gosh, ew! I don't even know. What a great ending! What a great ending! I was like 80, 86, dude. 86, man. This is very hard. 84. Dude, okay, so all I'm seeing is 93s. I'm seeing a couple 94s, and my best, my personal best is a 92. It's just not possible.
This is it. This is the this is the round. This is the round. That is a 94, man. That is absolutely a 94. Don't even talk to me. I had so much concentration on that one. I missed I missed up on a little bit. 95! Yes! Yes! I'm never playing that game again. Oh. Oh my god, it's 95 or yeah, right. Uh. Eat your heart out. So the strategy for that one is going slow. You have to go slow. You cannot go full depression on the stick all the way over. No, you have to do like a half to press and then just go, man. 95? Dude, show me a 96, 97, 98, 99, or show me a 100. Screenshot it and share it with me. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Yeah, right, man. So hard. All right, moving on. Here we go. Nothing's impossible, my friends. With hard work and determination, you too can beat everything. Okay, here we go. This is uh, Book Squirm. Pretty easy. You can already assess the situation in the background. You just got to watch out for all the crowding. Uh, so try to go to an area that doesn't have a lot of crowd crowding in it. Yeah, um, because they're going to push you and you're going to get clipped by a, like a corner of the star. So if you're playing against human players, you can easily push them out at the last second. But computer players, they're, they're wise to that. So I don't think that you can push them out. But you have to be, you have to be assessing this, the situation like as soon as it shows up, you need to be able to know where- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you have to know exactly where it's gonna go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Uh, don't get smashed and don't get pushed. Bottom is top and top is bottom. And top is also top. No, top is bottom. Don't get smushed. Don't let the computer players push you. I, I like this mini game. I like it a lot, but you can't you can't be distracted. Know where the center of your design is, and know what the next shapes are coming and where they're going to be. You can kind of see it with the pages. You have to really hardcore assess the situation as soon as it's revealed, otherwise you lose. And being in the middle is the best. I'm done! Oh, come on. Being in the middle is the best. So choosing a middle shape to hang around in is your best bet. All right, here we go, here we go. Book Squirm, really hard game with CPUs, I'm noticing. Master CPUs, they're very, very hard. Okay, here we go, here we go. Staying, I'm choosing middle shapes over the other ones, but soon I will not have that choice. Dude, it's crowded up here, man. Burrow, get out of here. Take a lot of brain power, man. What? Ugh. <laughs> Every time! Ah. Yellow. Start. Here we go! Can you please not push? Don't shove either. Honestly, the learning the shapes that are in the background when they're coming and you have to go to the bottom or the top, it's kind of hard after a while. It really is. After a while, you're just like, dude, what is going on? Is this top or bottom star? Is this, um... Yeah, which one is it? And you have to hold your own. You cannot afford for them to push you. Because they will push you off. Imagine if you're DK. Do you have an advantage or a disadvantage here? Oh, that was so close. Uh, 
Not me! I was so close, man! It's so hard! 23 pages? No way! Oh my gosh, you have to be like sprinting towards the middle. That's really hard. Alec, this one's really hard. Alright, we gotta win this one. I got to 23. That was my best. That's my personal best, man. I will push Waluigi out. I will. It's my destiny. <sighs> yeah, if you're playing against human players, you can absolutely just push them out of the way at the last minute. Done! I'm so- wait, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! I shouldn't be alive! <laughs> ah, this game's hard! Do the pages ever run out? No, the pages never run out. It's just unlimited until you die and it's just gonna go faster and faster and faster and faster. Okay, we got this. This one's- this one's an easy one. Yeah, right. See, like, I want to be able to focus on what's the, what the next page is and where I have to go, right? But I'm focused on these computer players pushing me around. I don't like that. It's very rude. I'm just a Mario, man. I just want to not get smushed by an actual page in a book. Can you imagine if you got smushed? As a human being? No way. Waluigi's just a pushy guy, man. He's so pushy. All right, assess the situation, man. Go. 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 I'm so bad. You know why? I'm. That's it. It's so hard. It is legit very hard because I cannot trust that my character. I can't trust that my character is in a spot where I'm going to survive because everyone's nudging me around. All right, here we go. Got it this time. Don't even talk. Don't even talk, Birdo. Take that bow right off of you, man. Get it smushed. Have you ever noticed Waluigi though? He's like in a permanent like squat position, like a semi squat position. He's never standing straight up. His legs are never straight. So he's got to have like the quads, the best quads in the entire game, man, because he's just always squatting. He's got the best glutes too, man. You know, Waluigi's glutes, they're great. I got this. We're going to get past 23. I'm going to do it. Really, me? I got smushed by the little crescent part of the moon. Wow, cool. This game is hard. It's just full concentration. Once it gets to uh, like two shapes left, it's full concentration. And then it's just, it's a, a mad sprint to where that last one is. Okay, now it's here after 15.
Yes! Yes, 24! Yeah, dude! Okay, so one of the things that I learned too is that once you're on 15 plus, when there's uh, just one falling down, you have to really position yourself closest to the middle. Like, so if it's, if it's in a circle, right? If you're in a circle and like the middle of the map is over here, you want to position yourself so close to the edge over there so that you, when it comes to releasing yourself and running towards the next shape, you have an advantage over the teammates. And that's exactly what it did in order to win that last one. So it's really hard. You got to position yourself so you're closer to the middle of the board because that was like a millisecond. It was a millisecond of what I uh, would have lost. Pats of Peril, let's go. That was hard, man. Here we go. All right, Pads of Peril is a, is a running game. It's kind of like Mario Kart, honestly. You just gotta hold forward and run. Choose a path and go. Just try to stay on the very top of it as best as you can. Uh, you wanna try to cut as many diagonal corners as you can too, and obviously not fall off. Like those fools just did. You guys are on master CPU? Yeah, right, dude. You guys don't know me. You guys don't know me, obviously. <sighs> Get out of here. Are you joking? Yo, Waluigi fell off, Peach fell off, and Birdo fell off. Man, that's that's like an easy CPU. Cool, man. That game is so easy, all right? So it's very 100% skill. There's zero luck involved. And you just run. And then you try to cut corners whenever you can. Instead of going left, right, left, right, like a 90 degree angle, you go diagonal and you take the path of least resistance. So, so simple, easy. Next, Dinger Derby. Okay, Dinger Derby, I'm in. Oh man, we've been at it for an hour and a half, huh? This is gonna be a long stream today. You guys are in for a treat. Dinger Derby, this, I'm never gonna win this one. I'm just gonna throw that out right now. I'm terrible at it. Really? Cool. Awesome. <laughs> so hard. No way. This is very hard. It seems like a lot of luck. It's not like you can physically see the speed of the ball and then adjust your A press at some times. I'm gonna be here for a little bit, folks. This is very hard. Yo, I'm striking out, man. Baseball? Come on! Come on, oh, so 19 was really good! Come on, man! Dude, what are those balloons? What is that, hot dogs? No way, man, no. 19 out of 30? You can't. You can't.
I don't want to play this game anymore. Can I just not? I want to. I want to win so bad. I was doing so well. Is there a pattern? Is there a pattern I'm missing? What am I missing here? What am I legitimately missing with this? I I'm very curious. Is it the timing of the arm raise? But it feels like the really, really slow arm raise is the double ball that goes at the same speed. What am I, I? I don't know. Is a pattern? Is there a pattern? Is it? Um, is it like all thirty of them at fifteen is going to be the double ball? At twenty is going to be the double ball? Is it always slow, slow, fast, lob, fast, fast, slow, slow? Is there a? Is there a pattern? Okay, I'm. I'm now noticing double. Slow. I don't want to. Oh my gosh. There, so there is a pattern with the speed of the arm raise from underneath based on how fast it goes. Fast. Double? No way, man. I don't know how I'm gonna win this one, guys. I just have to, I have to get good. I'm not, I'm not calculating this. It's, it's really a memorization. <laughs> guys, I don't know. I, I wish you guys were playing this at home with me so I can see what you guys are doing differently because getting more than 20 is a miracle. You have to be Babe Ruth.
Give me it, man. Dude, 23? You missed only seven of them? No way. Uh, I have to get really good for this. So, this is the worst minigame outside of golf, man. Twenty, please. Finish. All right, so I'm getting better. It's really all about paying attention to the raising of the arm. The raising of the arm, man. If it's just a regular raise, then you know it's gonna be like a couple milliseconds. If it's a, it's a really, really slow raise, then it's the double ball. Um, if it's a, <clears throat> yeah, the lob one is obvious. And if you miss the swing, you can swing twice. Fast. Oh, shoot. I don't like this at all. I don't. It's so, it's so timing based and there's like four different shots. Fastball. What did I do? What? Yo, what's up? Hi, hello, how are you guys? You watch me struggling at baseball over here. This one's hard. You do a lob on the third hit? No, man. Yo, lobs come at the end of the game. What are you doing? Shoot! Please! Please, 21! I'm so close. I'm getting it. It's practice makes perfect. That's exactly what this is. Fudge. So hard. It is. This is a hard game. You have to practice this game. There's no way you can jump into this randomly and be good. Because there's four different shots and four different speeds of this arm that comes at you.
Boo! Get out of here! Leave me alone! I'm never playing that game again! Oh, 25, new record, man. Imagine getting a perfect. You'd be so good at this game. All right, so what I learned from that mini game is that you have to pay attention to the arm raises. That's so imperative. If you don't practice this minigame, you're gonna be bad at it, objectively. The arm raises, the really, really slow one is the double ball, which you don't have to react as fast. It's slightly slower is a fastball. Regular speed is a regular ball, and you'll see the lobs coming. You could swing twice at it. Oh man, Ooh, what's up Gracie, good to see you. Wow, that was hard. That was really hard. Oh man, we're gonna choose it. Thanks so much for the super, cha super chat, Gracie, you are amazing. I'm so glad to have you. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's move on. We're gonna go to Leaf Leap, and I'm gonna be done with this one. Leaf Leap, jump from leaf to leaf and climb higher than everyone else. Okay, seems legit. How do you do it? Oh, you're just jumping. Oh, this is so... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Leaf Leap. Look at these graphics. Wow, look at that. You just gotta keep a tempo of left and rights, man. And don't you dare jump over uh, the same thing. Getting a, a little bit harder. Ooh, if I wasted an empty jump twice. Three times. I'm gone, though, man. They're going out of... In, oh, my gosh. Here we go. Cool. That put me back a little... Uh, wow, wow, wow. This is actually hard. This one is so hard. Leaf Leap. See ya! <laughs> this is very hard! <laughs> this one is very hard! I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- well, I'm doing empty jumps the entire time. I cannot be doing empty jumps. I need to go. I... <sighs> okay. I think I got a strategy. And the strategy is... How are you in outer space already? There's there's zero way that I can do it as fast as you. There's no way. Do you see there? Are they making any mistakes? This is my hardest challenge yet. Okay, so I heard I heard Peach fall down. It's very very hard. Okay, so I found out that you can short hop. Kind of cool. You can short hop and get to that platform a little faster, but is your brain fast enough to understand that? To what to what to do with that? Wow, 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 this one's so hard. You need so much concentration here. Very hard. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. You thought Mario Party was easy? Dude, wait until you start doing this.
Make it back. Salvage, salvage. Oh. <laughs> There's no way, man. So, how do I beat this one? I just, I just have to practice and, and get it, you know? Fudge! Empty jumps, man. Can't afford those. Well, I made it to kind of outer space. I mean, I need to be able to breathe, so maybe going into outer space is not the best idea, Mario? Alright, we got this, Emma. I'm doing it. Yep, just like that. Empty jump at the beginning. Cool. I, I wonder if there's a tell. I wonder if there's a tell that shows a little bit earlier than your brain can comprehend on whether or not it's left or right. Wow! Wow, two mistakes. Three mistakes. You cannot, you cannot. Look at look at how outer space I am. Four mistakes. There's no they're already in the galaxy, man. They've made it to Starship Mario in Mario Galaxy already. No way. 159? How am I gonna do this? Even with my tempo, if I were to get a perfect run with my tempo, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Are you watching if the computers are losing? Are they making any missteps? Or are they perfect? Oh, two mistakes. Three. Four. Dude, come on! So hard! Yep, just like that. Perfect start. I hope I'm getting credit for all these start overs. Just saying. Crispy, save me from this monstrosity of a minigame. Oh, man. Dang. As far as Yokai Watch stuff, I will never play Poonie, and I'm sorry that you missed that announcement, buddy. I will never play that game. Uh, and Yokai Watch, there's nothing to do in Yokai Watch, man. We've already done it. But thank you for enjoying it. We did a, a, a rehash. I just recently played Yokai Watch. Did you miss that? We played like a Snartle only run on Yokai Watch 1. So good. But yeah, there's nothing new. I'd love to. Getting distracted here, but thank you. You are awesome, Crispy. All right, please, can I beat this? I'm gonna be stuck here for ages. Great. This was my- that was my time to beat them. They were going slow. They were going slow at that point, man. I'm not gonna mess up on the third jump. I'm gonna get a flawless run. And I'm gonna take my time. Maybe that's what- I'm, maybe I'm rushing. Maybe I'm rushing. Just slow down. Just get a nice pattern going on over here. A nice tempo of fast jumps. I can have a missed jump like that. Didn't cost me that much. That cost me a lot of time. Huh. 
Help me! Help me! Help me with this game, it's so hard! They're already in outer space. They're not making any mistakes. They're in the galaxy, guys. I can't. This is I'm physically unable to do this. I am physically able to beat 129 with 153. You're crazy. Please, please tell me. Tell me how to do this. I thought that my tempo was pretty good. I had minor mistakes on it, but... It's a nightmare. <laughs> this game demands perfection! How do you beat this? Please, please tell me your record on this one. A million miles all the way up into the outer solar systems? No way! Okay. <clears throat> I can do this? You've seen me beat harder stuff than this before? No, man. What's harder than this that I've done? At least an empty jump is not bad. You don't get punished for an empty jump. That much. You miss like one little stage in your jumping. What do I, what do, I do? What, what do I have to do? Am I looking at something differently? Do I have to hold left and right and then just keep on mashing the A button to to maximize? It's too much for my for my brain to comprehend. Don't touch anything was pretty hard, but that was like I didn't have competition on that. I could take my time with don't touch anything. This I have direct hardest CPUs programmed to win. <clears throat> programmed to get a, a perfect run. I love Don't Touch Anything, though. This is, that was a good one. First mistake, all the way in the stratosphere. Look at how high their sun is. Oh my gosh! I, okay, okay, okay. I just have to have good luck on the computers and hope they mess up. <clears throat> Inner Agent 3? Yeah, Inner Agent 3 was so hard. Doof. Hmm. Guys, this is hard. I don't know. Do I have I met my match? I almost like I have to blur my eyes and focus on what's going on above me over here and just like I have to turn off my brain. I have to turn off my entertainer brain and I just have to do it. This is very, very, very hard. Save me.
They're going perfect right now. Is this it? Don't talk to me, please, 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 don't talk to me! Oh no! I made one mistake! Oh! 144 is a new record for me though, so I just have to not make a mistake. Ugh. Ugh. Hardest minigame, man. This is, like, my, my eyes are dying right now. Okay, cool. Just get that out of the system. Get it out of the system. Let's go. Yellow. It's just tempo. It's honestly just tempo. I made three mistakes in like the first little hundred. Yeah, I, I probably will go get my glasses after this. This is ridiculous. I put them. Getting closer. We're getting better. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I've noticed that you can spam the button. You can spam the jump button, but that's like a lot of moving parts with your brain. It's a lot of moving parts. Fudge! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, if you had if you had a turbo controller and it was just jumping for you, yeah, then it's just left and right, left, right, right? Two missed jumps. And you're already deep into the smoke, Birdo. I'm coming after you. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, Black Mamba? Good to see you. Yellow. My run that I did had one minor miss jump, an empty jump, and I lost because of that. So, like, if I make any mistake, I have to start over. Like, that's just what it is. Man. I know how speedrunners feel now, right? Like, you have to do, you have to demand perfection out of yourself. Make a mistake, Wario's friend. You're dumb. You're real dumb, Birdo. Why didn't you make a mistake? That was a flawless run of mine. I was just going not as fast as I could have been. 156. How many extra jumps is that? How? How how am I doing this? <sighs> Two empty jumps, goodbye. At least it's better than a luck game. You know, with a luck game I would have won by now. <laughs> with a luck game, I think the odds I would have won by now. Okay, I'm I got two empty three empty jumps. Dude, I both of them fell at the beginning. That was luck. So maybe there is a little bit of luck in this one. The luck in this game is that the CPUs have to lose.
It is like jumping jacks, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna do it! And we're gonna look back at this and we're gonna say, Wow, that was flipping hard, man! Waluigi, die! Oh, Luigi! Waluigi, the worst! Oh. <laughs> Waluigi! I think I need the start to be just three verticals. Vertical greens. Because you can see that if I'm spamming the A button at the beginning, I can jump before them. And I can get... See, they're, what the thing is about them and what makes it hard is that they're consistent. They have a tempo that they jump at. And if you're really good at this game, human, if you're a really good human at this game, you can spam the A button and jump faster than them. But does your brain allow you to compute? Does your brain allow you to compute the jumps with the, the turnings? Oh man, I was just trying something. I was trying like spamming the A button like really quick to just get the fast jumps in, but I was missing it left and right. That's hard, man. It's very, very hard. Demanding perfection. How can someone watch a content creator play Mario Maker, like a really hard level, after hours and hours of doing it? Is that entertaining? Like, how do people do that? This is like me doing the same thing over and over. It's not, I don't think this is entertaining at all. Anyway, here we go. How do they do it? Yeah, holding the A button is not a thing. You have to press the A button to jump. We got this. It's hard. Just don't breathe. I got to the smoke with only one minor miss jump. Dude, achievement unlocked. If you beat every single master CPU in every single minigame, you are the king of Mario Party and no one can touch you. After seeing this right now, after seeing how brutally difficult this is, Waluigi, you stink! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he was in the galaxy, dude. <laughs> he was all... <laughs> I hate you, Waluigi, man. Oh my gosh.
right, here we go. All right, no more messing around. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm done. I'm D-U-N done with this game. Here we go. It's so hard. Oh my gosh. Oh my actual word. What is this game I am playing here, folks? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, I'm not skipping it. I'm not coming back to it. No. We must. We must beat this. I need to get my glasses, like, spritzed with, like, glass cleaner. It's getting a little... A little murky in there. All right, let's give it a try. Like spit in it. <laughs> All right, here we go. It, it, this just got serious. Cool. Bum 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 bum. I don't know. Folks, I don't know, man. I don't know what else there is. There, It's just, you have to do it. And you have to do it perfectly. Mm, I don't know what else there is. What am I missing here? If there's no strategy, it's you jump and you go, qu you go quick. You don't make a mistake. It's such perfection. It's such perfection that you have to go. You can spam the A button to get back to where you were before, but <clears throat> even then, that's a mistake, and you shouldn't be making mistakes. The game demands 100% perfection. At least restarting is pretty easy. See, I don't know if I should be permanently holding left or right, or only choosing left and right when I have to. Those are two schools of thought right now. And I've tried both unsuccessfully. Peach fell twice, man. I need everyone to fall twice. I gotta get to 150. How are you already in the outer stratosphere? How are you already in the outer stratosphere? How does that work, Waluigi? You're such a fool. I'm not gonna take a break from this and come back to it. We're not coming back to it. We are getting it done. We are getting it done today. Cool. Cool, they, they're falling. 
That's a little bit of luck on my end here. I might make it. Ooh! Fall, Peach! I had luck on my side that round. Just botched it. Yes, I hear Peach crying. Music to my ears. Waluigi, you're next, big boy. Fudge, three layers down? Oh, nasty. He's already at the spaceship, man. He got to the spaceship. Game 30 out of 100? And we're two and a half hours into it? Man, what did I bite off? I thought it'd be done in like an hour and a half. It's real hard. Real, real hard. You have no idea. You have no clue. You are clueless as to how hard this is. Fudge! Falling off. Yep. See you later. If you get to space, you're gonna win. That's right. I just have to get to the very end before them. Some mini games I could beat them on my first try. But this is a beast. I don't want to play Mario Party anymore. You guys want to play Animal Crossing or something? Just kidding. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. And I, I accepted the challenge, and we're going to do it. So let's do it. We need that Benny Lava motivation. Yeah, yeah, man, I do. I do need some Benny Lava motivation right now. Do you even know who Benny is? Why did you jump that way, man? Come on! Yahoo, please let me get on this game and beat these clowns after so much practice. I should be able to do this, man. It's not rocket science. It's just left and right and jumping, Abdal. It's so easy, dude. Look at how the computers are doing it. It's so simple. It's so simple, Abdal. Why aren't you doing it? It's annoying. Gosh, man. Dude, Jesus Cristo over here, man. We need some help. We need some help. We need help. Why am I... Okay, so am I just gonna go under the school of thought of always left or always right? No neutral stick? I think I'm gonna try that. How is Birdo already in outer space? Zero? Fudge, Birdo! I was just spamming at that point. I was just spamming in hopes that I would like randomly get the right ones really quick. I said, how is Birdo already in outer space? 120? Dude, Peach ended up landing 150. If any of us can get 150, that's huge. I don't want to go random minigame either. So we're gonna, we got it, man. Trust me, I'll do facelift flawlessly, man. I'll get a- No, I don't want to play this dumb game. Don't even. Looks like Clay. Little Miss Unicorn, welcome. You're the best. Thank you so much. I needed that so badly. Where am I? There's a last one. Leaf Leap. It was the last one of the second area, man. Little Miss Unicorn. Join me in 
such happiness over this awesome game. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, on, I'm, I'm at a loss here. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, Lil Miss? What's it gonna be? What are we doing? Your brain can't process the leaves fast enough to be fast at this one. You cannot, you cannot process fast enough. <clears throat> I just, I, I've done 144, that's my, that's my personal best. And if they're beating me with one, 50? Okay, awesome. Juan is playing this game along with. Good, good. Wow, 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 wow. Game 30! That's right. Game 30, baby! Watch me climb that beanstalk. That left and right, so hard beanstalk. Here's the thing, if we're ever playing online together and this minigame comes up, I'm going to destroy you. Because of the sheer amount of practice that I have on this. And you guys are going to be falling all over yourselves because I spent an hour on stream hardening my 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 st stealing my will what is it called like you're just like you're so ready you just like you practice this so much that you're just so ready for it you're ready to perform it's not happening man what do you think david we're we gonna do it david how, how high can you get tanner it only gets easier all right man it's getting harder man Yeah, Little Miss, get this game. It's actually really fun. It's really good. Just don't don't give yourself a challenge. <laughs> just play against normal or easy computers and you'll be you'll be fine and you'll actually enjoy this game. Right now it's just like I, I'm demanding so much perfection out of myself right now. It's just it's actually taking a toll. Samantha, you just got the game? Awesome, cool, I'm glad. I keep on, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not sticking to left and right only. I'm doing neutral jumps too. So that's what, uh, that's what's really hard for me. It's really hard. It, is it, is this hard? Is this an easy game? It's a hard mini game, dude. You can't beat, you can't beat the masters on this. Fudge, come on, man. Waluigi, fall. How is Peach in outer space already? How, 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 how? <laughs> Guys, what am I missing here? What am I- I have to be at a faster tempo than them, because they seem to be going at a perfect run, maybe one or two mess-ups.
Come on, man. Dude, when I see someone in the corner of my eye already in outer space, I just want to give up. Like, you can't. I can't see, like, okay, so making an empty jump in the air is fine. But you can't do a wrong left or right jump, or else you are over, because you lose so much space. Come on! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see where it goes. Ah! Uh, go, 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 go! Fine, fine, go. He, you're already in outer space, though, Peach. But like, that's one of those things where maybe if you're in outer space, maybe she'll mess up. But you can't count on the computers messing up, man. Yo, you're deep in those things. You're deep in that, man. Peach is already in the clouds. I was, I was tied with them for a little bit, but uh, yeah, maybe I just gotta take it slow. Let's just take it slow. Take it slow! It's like my brain, I got like two brains. I got a left brain and a right brain over here. One's for jumping and one's for diagonal input, man. Or like left and right input. And they're just, they're just not talking. Great. Fifty one fifty, man. I didn't press that, but sure, jump to the side, Mario. All right, here we go. Focus on the leaf and not on the others. It's really good. It's a really good strategy. I just have to look at the leaves, man. My eyes are so ready for this. Waluigi, you're the worst! Fall down, guy! Finish. Dude, you can't. You cannot beat this. There's no way any human can get 152. It's not possible. How, how, though? How, 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 how are we doing this? I have to, I have to, man. Tanner says CPU never gets below 135. Good observation. 
Good observation. Baseball minigame was a little bit easier because I caught on to patterns and I had to adjust my input. There are no patterns here. It's 100% either left or right and jump. And depending on how fast your tempo is. Just be calm, Sheila. All right, I got this. Bowsette, I got this. I'm just going to be calm. Watch, watch. And it's okay if you restart. Whatever. If you make a mistake, pick yourself up and try again. Alright. May I please beat this? I didn't, but sure, take it. Empty jump. I can't even get to the outer star spangled stratosphere. I cannot even do that. Dude, it's not in my it's not in my power. I'm getting an average of one one twenty three. I have to like really I have to go. I have to keep a tempo. Even if I match the tempo, if I match the tempo of them and I get a head start, then I can win. Provided I get a perfect run. That's it. I get a slight millisecond head start at the beginning, and I just gotta keep a tempo and win, man. It's very difficult. I lost my lead now just by doing those two empty jumps. Three empty, empty jumps. Here. We. Go. The moment I jump, it's like, no, all right, I'll press start and quit. <laughs> ah, help me, help me. What's up, Mia? Cool, that run was for you. Thanks for coming. I'm, I'm just frazzled, man. I'm really, really frazzled at this. It's just, I don't, I don't get it. Your brain, your brain is overloaded with the amount of data. Or it's left or right and you have to press the jump button. How is Waluigi already at the spaceship, man? I got to some, like, outer. I think I got, like, 140... 140? 135. There's no way 156! I'm trying to beat 150 here. I beat Peach. I almost beat Birdo, but Waluigi is not letting out, man.
Sherry, what's the strategy? What am I doing wrong here? Good to see you, by the way. What's happening? Fudge! Can you jump immediately and direct it to the leaf? Uh, you can jump pretty early. No, 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 you cannot jump immediately and direct it to the leaf. You are either, um, you're either jumping in midair, and it's a committed jump. No, if that was, then I'd be able to like wiggle in midair, right? But that's not the case, no, you can't. You'd be able to wiggle in midair and just stay in the middle and like little, literally jump up towards the middle with slight inputs? No, that's not it. It's a 100% committed left or right jump. Or a neutral jump. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, man. So you're saying, you're saying that You're saying that all four players have the same route, even if you fall behind, memorize it. If you're in the lead, then think first, then act. But you you can't do that. You can't think first, then act. It's just so fast. There's there's a very small margin for error. And if you think, if you think, then you're you you already lost. If you're thinking. Right? That's just the game. It's You just have to do it! There's no thinking before you leave. Your brain has to physically see what there is and then tell your brain, tell your left and right hand to move left or right and press the A button to jump in split seconds. See, like right there, I thought and uh, I paid for it. You're Waluigi, you're so bad! Go fall! I hate Waluigi, man. He needs to go. I'm done. I'm actually done with Waluigi. What did he get? He got 150 something? He's too tall. Birdo, I could have won that one. I could have won that one with 150. It was a really low team effort, man. Uh, here we go. The leaves cannot even formulate. Like, you have to jump right as you split second see one of them on left or the right side. There's no margin. There's no margin. And it's very difficult, folks. I'm, it, it's frustratingly difficult. That's right. No thoughts. Head empty. Only jumps. That's it. The only advantage you get is that you can spam the A button at the beginning and you can get a faster jump than that. And that's it. If you can keep their tempo, you win. Yeah, I might change out the CPUs after like one or two more rounds. I'm really, I'm stuck here, man. Like, legitimately stuck. I am filled with so much determination to do this. I am so ready to win this.
I'm ready to win, man. I'm ready to win. Waluigi, so good. His legs are amazing. What do I need to do? What do I need to do feasibly? Do I need to cover up my screen so that I don't see Waluigi or the rest of them and just focus on that like laser focus? Maybe I turn the music off. Maybe I turn the music off and just focus. I'm gonna try that. I'm turning the music off on my end. I can't hear anything. Okay, great, great start. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't wanna hear these distractions. There's more things in my brain. I just need to focus, laser. How did I do? Was that a new record for me? I wasn't watching. Did I win? Please tell me I won. Fudge, man. 138? How did I get 144 one time? 153? Oh my gosh. What's the winning strat? Yeah, oh, that's it. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that. I need to just win this so we're done with the second row, man. I need to do it so we're done with the second row. It's Leaf Leap is impossible. The rest of the games are gonna be super simple. I need like a piece of paper or something that's just gonna like block the view of everything else. I got, that was a pretty good focus though. It was a very good focus. Here we go. Great, cool. Nice to meet you. We can do it. No characters have any abilities. They are all the same characters. I just joke around with Luigi and his legs. Cool. All right. No distractions. <laughs> no distractions. I literally put the chat away. I'm gonna like put a window over here so I don't have to watch anything else. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to look at this dumb guy. Hold on a second. Okay. Here we go. I have literally reduced all of my distractions. I have blocked something with a picture, and I'm just going to focus on myself right now. Fudge, man. This is actually very difficult. Even I've blocked my screen, I've reduced the chat, I've turned off all the music. It is just me and the game right now. I gotta get out of entertainer mode. I'm done. I'm not entertaining anymore. This is the true don't talk to me. Don't talk to me simulator 2021 right here. This is what it is. No one's talking to me. I have to stop monologuing. And I just have to play the game. Here we go. Can't believe my life. Come on, Mario, my left. Okay, stop. Let's do it again.
Cool. <laughs> I'm not even able to see. What I want to be able to see is the timer, though. I want to be able to see the timer so I can do like a last ditch jump. This was 126. Dude, I can't get average of 140. Like all my runs should be better averages. All my runs should be better averages. Like I should be increasing every time. But it doesn't seem that way. 126, man. I don't. I don't like this. Can you tell? Just go. Just go. Just go. Just jump. Jump, Mario. Jump. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? I promise. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll get it. I can't have a single mistake. I can maybe do one empty jump, but that's it. Oh, come on, Mario! Go, oh, man! That was actually really good RNG with just leaves that didn't change direction. A lot of, a lot of good RNG on that run, but botched it. I'll get it, guys. Thanks for believing in me. You guys are actually the best. You guys are doing very well with keeping me aligned with my goal of beating this. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. I think I've been at this for an hour. Is that much? Yeah, so this game? I can get to the smoke pretty consistently, but like once we're in the fog, it's it's over. Come on, oh, you know, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see where it goes. Okay, that's where it goes. <laughs> Great! Come on, man. We got this. We got this. Let's go. I'm not bad at Mario Party. I'm really not. I thought I was pretty good at the game. I thought I'm, like, strategy-wise... Star-wise, board knowledge-wise, this game is just destroying me. 
You can't. So I'm just gonna come to terms with saying, you know what? Uh, One percent of us can beat this. And if you can beat this, then you are a you are part of that one percent, man. I just want to. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. Here we go. The second jump is a turn jump, okay. Why is this hard for me? I'm, I'm really at a loss here. Why? I've broken it down so many times by now. I've broken this minigame down. I've broken this mini game down so many times to see what makes it tick. And it's really just about reaction time. Split second micro fraction reaction. And if you're good, you're good. If you're good, you're good. If not, and you don't have good reaction time for the neurons to bring, bring a signal to your hand to move left and jump at the same time, then you're just bad at this game and you will never win. You will never win. So I'm kind of coming to terms with that, that I'm, I might not beat these guys. Come on! What was that? I was in outer space. I saw the stratosphere. What do we got? 140? Come on. I can't consistently get... I've never gotten 150. There's no way, man. There's no way, man. That was a really good run, though. It looked, it looked pretty promising. Let's do it again. Back to work. Even with my tempo. Even with my tempo, I was like, I had a solid tempo. And I think I had one miss jump. And I couldn't even get it. What's the tempo going to be? Yeah, I can't do that. My brain does not. Like, I'm like spamming the A button, right? And then just holding left and right. No, my brain can't react fast enough to the A button spam. Fudge, man. I really, I'm so stubborn that I don't want to move ahead. I don't want to move ahead. I want to beat this level. But at the same time, the show's got to go on, man. I've I spent a lot of time on this one. I might need to take a break. Ten more tries and I'm out. One. That's number one. If I put pressure on myself, then maybe I'll do it.
two. Come on! I have eight left! Oh gosh, man. I need to I need to come back to this. One. Three. Can I do it? Four. The final countdown. Dun na na na. Dun na dun dun. Dun na na na. Dun na dun 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 dun. Hodge! <laughs> I can't even see the stars, man. That's five. That's five, and then I'm out, man. How much was that? 129? I mean, that's good. That's my average. My average is 129. My high is personal best is 144. Like, you cannot do that. That's five, and, like, we're done. I'll come back to it, I promise. Wow, that was cool. Did I win? That was like 140, man. I did one empty jump. Please. Are you kidding? 141? How are you doing 153? You didn't fall once. I had one empty jump in that entire run. No way. Guys, 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 let's talk about this for a second here. Do you see the level of impossible this is? Physically, a uh, human... Humanly unable. Humanly unable. That's number seven. Three more and I'm out. Humanly impossible. Less than 1% of players can actually do this challenge. Number eight. Number 10, the show's moving on, man. I gotta go. I'm so distraught over this. There's a miss. Waluigi's messing up big time. Is he getting tired? Fudge, come on, man! Go! Stupid. It's so bad. It's so bad! I'm just like, at the last one, I just picked the left or right. as a 50% chance to try to make it. They did really poorly. I could have won with my personal best on that round. There is a lot of luck involved. That was number 9. Here's last number 10, right? Or maybe two more, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Their lowest was under 140, and that was my personal best. So yes, I could have done that if all the stars were aligned. You're dumb. I cannot believe that. Do you see this? All right, all right. I need, I need, we need to stop that. I'm done with this. 153. Yeah, actual right, man. 
Yeah, actual right. We're done with that. Okay, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my game volume up. The show is moving on. I'm gonna open up chat. I'm gonna say hello. Hi, everyone. It's it's so hard. Hi, hey, Paige is here. Cool, Serena. What's up? What's up, Steph? Hey, what's going on? Leaves, man. The leaves were the worst. I'm sorry, but that is borderline impossible. It is borderline impossible. You cannot. You cannot. You can't. Hi, everyone. Chat is all catching up now. This is good. Great, great. We need new characters. You choose my characters. I will never play against Waluigi again. Or Peach. Or what's her name? I don't even care. It was so hard. We're back. Hello. What's up, KH in the house? Hello. Hello. Mario's going to win, man. Uh, we're going to go against uh, Daisy, we're going to go against Luigi, and uh, we're going to go Rosa. Cool, good idea, good suggestions, everyone. Try that one after a good night of sleep. It could be, I mean, I don't know, this is still the morning. I'm still like at my prime right now. I'm feeling really good. But I'm not feeling good that, I, that we had to skip over that. My pride is really taking a hit with that one right now, so. Let's go back. I got better over time. I feel I got better over time from when I first started, so I'm good. It's just disgusting, man. All right, next. All right, let's continue on. Pushy Penguins with some master CPUs. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Pushy Penguins, time to push some penguins. I'm gonna beat all of these computers. I'm so ready to beat these CPUs on master. I'm so ready for this. Let's go. Who's here? Pushy Penguins, the strategy for this one is staying up front as best as you can, so you have the best reaction time possible. So Luigi and I... Uh, yep. We can kind of mess around up front over here, and there is a little bit of luck on, you know, what the penguins show up and everything like that. Uh, yeah, but you gotta be able to navigate through them, so this is simple. Get him, boys! Thank you. First try. Love it. Everything's easier. Oh my gosh. First try. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here we go. Coney Island. Master difficulty. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Keep an eye on your uh, ice cream scoops. Coney Island was one of my favorite games. Uh, this was on a bonus disc of whatever Mario party this came in, and it was so great. So, anyway. We're going to be looking around for some shadow silhouettes. Here we go. You want to look at the, the shadows that are a little bit closer so you can maximize your ice cream. And you got little thieves over here that you can't push in this game. If you are on a shadow, no one's taking it from you. That's interesting. I think in the previous game you can push them over and steal their ice cream. So I've changed that. See, like, if you've claimed that, there's no pushing them out of the way. So that's kind of lame. Okay, well, you know what? You guys are going to do it. So the main strategy of this one is get the fatter shadows. You have to get the fat shadows. All right, Coney Island. Get the closest ice cream to you. And uh, yeah, take a look at that. See, look, Luigi claimed it. Or you know what, honestly, the shadows don't matter because like you just have to be there. Because you're claiming it. And I win. Because I claim the most. That's it. You know, they've kind of ruined that game a little bit. They've ruined that game a little bit with, by bringing it over here. Because your characters are concrete. You are staying on that spot. No one's nudging you at all. So that's all right. Okay, cool. Two victories under my belt for that one. Not bad. Uh, let's go to Bill Blasters. What is this? Oh, this is kind of cute. Aim for your rivals and fire away, but be careful it won't count if it hits their cannon. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So you're spinning around in a circle and it's just based on how good you are at timing. Huh. Okay. Yeah. It's based on how good you are at timing. 
Nailed her. Oh yeah, blocked it. Nice try. Oh gosh. Ow, oh, dude, chill. You want some of this, Daisy? Come here. Ow, oh, man! Okay, this is dumb luck. I don't like this one. Wow. Okay, Rosa's doing the work. Oh, oh my gosh! Why well, a target on my back? Okay, so that one's interesting. There's a little bit of skill involved with timing. Uh, I think there's a little bit of skill involved with if you see a bullet coming your way and you can stop your cannon. Yeah, anyway. So here we go. Let's uh, let's beat these guys in this game. Nah. One on Luigi. One on Daisy. Rosa's all the way over there. No! Oh, good, good, good. Nailed Rosa. Oof! Come on, Daisy! I think the strategy is definitely getting rid of people. Because it's less people you gotta worry about. Ouch! Come on, man! Oof! Done, man. Okay, this one's actually kind of hard, but it's a little bit more fun. Because it's interactive. It's not like jumping on a beanstalk. Alright, here we go! Yeah, your timing has to be precise. You cannot afford to uh, shoot one onto the side. Later, girl. You want some of this, Rosa? You want- Oof! Ouch, 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 no! Oh, go! Oof! Right on her cannon, great. No way! That bullet was coming straight for her. That should have been a tie, but that's okay. Oh, okay, this one's kind of hard, but at least I'm getting closer every time I try. Here we go. I'm shooting nothing. I'm firing blanks over here, man. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. That was really nice of you. When you have one health, you go a lot slower, it seems. Dead. Okay, cool. I just... You have to really focus on one character. And just eliminate them. I'm going for high I'm Daisy over here. Cool. We're gonna go for Luigi. Nice block. Good job, Rosa. Rosa's done now. Okay, I had to block that one. Good, good, good. Here it is. <gasps> one misplay, and I'm done. See ya! Boom! Get her! Okay, so that one is pretty easy. Uh, you just really have to focus on your rotations. You can fire, rotate, and fire again. Um, but just be aware of your enemy's uh, respawn invincibility frames or something like that. So, oops, I didn't want to try it again, but anyway. I don't want to play this one again. Okay, let's move on to the next one. That was easy, right? That was so easy. Last Night Fright? What is this? Oh, yeah, this one is very scary. Okay. So this is just a timing game? It's a timing game. Let the chain shot come as close as possible. Timing game. Get ready. You just have to press the A button and flash that light as soon as he's close to you. Gosh, that was bad. Point one. Daisy point one. Is that right? And Luigi got point one. I'm sorry. Point one? Great. What's the computer margin of error of this one, man? Here we go.
One. Wow. Point one. Can you believe point one? I guess I really have to learn. I have to learn what he looks like. How close does he get before you get hit? Okay, so they get pretty close. Um, that's really all I got, man. I'm just reeling my brain on point one, though. Okay, so he kind of stops a little bit behind you, and then he goes for a full charge. And whenever you press the A button, you have to account for your character rotating a little bit, too. So... Ha! <laughs> cool. What are we gonna name this little chain jump? What's his name? Start. Point three? Point seven. You got how do you got point th point one? This guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a hard one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if the computers are physically able to do a point one, if they're physically able to do a point one, you just have to wait and hope and pray that you can match their point one, which is the final, most final time that you can get. My depth perception of this is very bad. Am I the only one? Tell me about that. Depth perception looks really bad. Uh, the name of this guy, Chompy, Bill, Bow Wow, Doug. One point four. Yeah, right. Okay, I win. I tie with Daisy. Yay! Okay, look at that. We tied with a 1.4. Pretty crazy. All right, so really it's just you have to learn the distance. And the only way that you can learn the distance is if you practice that one. That's it. Later, skater. Oh, I love later, skater. What is this? Okay, turn, hold A to move forward. Wee! Yahoo! Oh, I love this. Wee! Ice skating in Central Park. Whee! There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Cool. All right, five laps. Let's go. Five laps. I'm about to lap you, clowns. Why are the computers so easy on master mode? You're just holding the A button and like pressing left. Did they just ramp up the difficulty on that leaf game or what? That was so simple. We did it on our first try. You just hold the A button and I'm like literally just like pressing left. That's it. Wow. Well, check it off the list. Catch a letter. I like this one. This one's like where you gotta pick up the letters and give them to the shy guy. This one's really good. I'll teach you the tricks in this one. Okay, so for catch a letter, shy guy runs around, and you gotta just pick up the letters, and then just, uh, you gotta go give it to him. And you have to kind of predict where he's gonna go. Oh, I'm terrible. You're my way! And you have to just, like, shove the letter into his hand. Wow. There we go. And when he's distracted with, with accepting a letter from another person, then you can have your chance at uh, getting another letter to him. Yeah, I didn't do so hot. Seven? Seven? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, Daisy crushed it. I think there's letters on the ground that are uh, worth a little bit more. Let's try that again. Okay, we're gonna beat this right now. Look at that twofer right there. Yeah, we're doing it. The love letter! No, you fool! No, I need some letters, man! I was doing so well. Give me that love letter right now. I need one more deposit. Here you go, big. Thanks. Thanks, dude. 9 to 10? Dude, Rosa stole my love letter. Oh my gosh. Rosa stole my love letter. How could she? So love letters, I think, worth multiple. I would have to take a fine look at it. Here we go. Dude, what? Yes, two of them. Sweet. Right back to back. You saw that. Look at this. Yo, I'm getting that first love letter. We're in. We're in. Where's he going? He's back. He's not going to get anything. He, we cornered him. Other love letters coming. I got it. Yes, dude. This is a domination. You cannot touch this. You cannot touch that score of 14. That was such utter domination of these guys. Got both the love letters while he was distracted, taking everyone's letter. I was able to sneak another one really quick and give it to him. So good. 14? Yo, that should be a world record right there, man. I'm done with that. Get these master CPUs out of here. Trap Ease Artist. Let's go. Okay, uh, yeah? <laughs> Drop your cage. Oh, so, oh, look at this. Okay, okay, we'll play this one. This one's kind of fun. So, we gotta trap the golden Goombas. When they're in your... Dude, that's RNG, man. What? Where's the golden one? Is he gonna stay over there? Get over in my area, man! You're dumb! <laughs> He's just right over here. What is he doing? I only got, like, four. Okay, this one's 100% luck, man. I can't quit while they're counting the score. But Luigi got... Wait. Oh, okay, cool. We won. Check that one off the list. That one's a luck game. What goes up? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? I just played this game. I literally just played this game, but with leaves. What? Oh my gosh. At least I have full momentum of my aerial movements. This be a little bit easier. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Ow, you got boinked? You get boinked underneath? Oh, this is so easy. This is 100% easier. Because you have a... Okay, okay. I, I'm in the way. I'm my own hindrance here. Because my webcam's on, so I don't have the full picture of what I'm missing here. Alright. I got this. Let me be player four, man. Dude, you get boinked and it's over. You gotta, like, thread the needle past these guys. This is the Mario physics that I've come to learn and love all throughout my life. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, I messed that up real bad. <laughs> I'm a Luigi number one, dude. All right, let's play again. Rematch me, Luigi. I was doing very well, and I got bonked a couple times. My head's so big. Are you 
you joking? Are you joking? Dude, because I got hit at the end? My head's so big, I'm a hindrance. I just gotta play like this. <sighs> Let me play like this on the side. Because I need a I need maximum viewing angle. Here we go. So Mario has the ability to fall and uh, of course move his uh move his aerial momentum left and right freely in the air, which is great. I got this. Although Mario's jump is like, it's so vertical. It's so vertical, it's unrealistically vertical. I thought I was gonna win this one pretty easily, like on a first try, but it's it's a little harder because the timing of pressing the A as soon as you land on a turtle is really strict if you want to pop up real quick off of it. And the, the sheer maneuverability of like if there's a turtle directly above you, like you have to jump to the left and then like maneuver to the right like that, and that's hard. You're dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. Stop! No! No more! Oh, man. Easy, easy, watch, watch. My head's in the way though. Oh no. Come on Mario, come on Mario, you got this, you got this big guy. Get it, get it, get it. I made it to the cloud before them. Cool. See you later. Wow, and that's one of those things where you're like, you got a YOLO jump at the very end to get a little bit more height because that's when they stop you. All right, not too bad, it's just jumping, easy. Cool, back to work. Snow World, baby. I want to see what these clowns have. I want to see what these guys can do. Wow, wow, I need to do that again. Uh, let's try this. How am I going to do this one? Gross! That hurts my hands. I'm going like this. Yeah. Hello? Forty-four ten? Oh my gosh! All right, here we go. <laughs> so bad. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I'm like grabbing my hand under my shirt and I'm like rotating in a circle on this controller right now. <laughs> Losers! Yeah, try to be 50, 58, 50. Oh my gosh, you can't. That's the strategy, all right? Yeah, dude, 58, 50. You can't. All right, so now you guys know the strategy. You grab your under your under t-shirt or whatever you're wearing. You put your t-shirt cloth. Uh, I can show you over here over the over the controllers, and you rotate in a circle like this, and then you win. Cool. Finish. Don't you dare try to do it with your bare fingers, man. I'm not gonna be responsible for you guys trashing your fingers. So 5850. <laughs> it's really good, man. I love that. I love that minigame. Um, that was really good. Oh, I d why am I playing again? Okay, cool. New record? Let's go.
Yeah, that was terrible. All right, we're done. <laughs> I don't know. Did I get really lucky? I'm pretty sure that I can do that one again and probably get like 6,000. Anyway. Yellow. Here we go. Change position. Hold A to poke out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monty's Revenge. So we don't want to... What do we want to do? But don't let your head... Oh, the person who stays out longest wins. Oh, that's interesting. You just poke out your head. I got a turtle poking out. Here we go. Yo, I'm out. Hello. Look at me breathing. Look at this wonderful breathing that I'm doing over here. Get out of my hole, man. Yeah, get her, not me. Oh, I'm so breathing. I'm breathing so well over here. The air is fresh. Oh, ouch, ouch. Come on, man. I had 13 seconds. Ow, man. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Just gotta breathe that fresh air, man. Yeah, just breathe. Breathe it in. You gotta choose some other spots that are very far away from where they're at. The farther the better, man. Give me that 18 seconds! 1868? What? I thought I had it! Rosa, you can't be breathing like that. You can't be breathing like that. I gotta, you gotta find the really, you have to find the really extreme spots where they're not at. God dang it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Breathe it in. The extreme ends of the stars are the best spots. No way, man. No way. I was doing really well at the beginning, but I, I'm losing it. Here we go. Oh, I'm out here breathing that fresh air. Wow, I am breathing so heavy right now. 20.71. Wow, that's actually, that's pretty good. It's, um, I don't know, there's a lot of luck involved on if they actually target you versus where they're kind of at. I mean, we beat them, it's fine, but anyway, Monty's Revenge, easy. The final countdown. All right, let's go to the final countdown. This was a good game. Mario Party is actually fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. What do you guys think? Is it cool? Is it your favorite game? All right, here we go. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're punching and jump kicking, right? Oh, this one's going to be good in the hood. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. You guys ready for this? Let's go. This one's an actual fighting game. You have all of your fighting at your disposal. Jump kicks are real powerful. So kick him into the kick him into the ones. It does go to zero. So oh my. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at the other people. So one of the things that I didn't realize that it goes to zero for a millisecond. It goes to zero and then boom, you're ready. So let's try again. So doing like a like an aerial jump kick and aiming them for that one spot. Yeah, Rosa was just standing there. She does. He's not acting like a a master CPU. Okay, I'm not even paying attention. Let's do this. 
Ow! Wow, she just jumped into that. I'm gonna stay in the blue numbers, man. Yeah, I punched Luigi right into that. Oh, help! Oh my god. Yo, get in there, girl! Get in there! Oh, you think that's cool? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stay over here. Oh, you punk! Go ahead. Go ahead. What happened? No, 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 no. No, we have to fight. I mean, technically I won, but we have to fight. And I have to get a KO. I'm not gonna settle for anything less. We're gonna destroy these guys. This is where I want Waluigi in here, so I can beat him up. Alright, Rose up. Ugh. Get in there! Okay, so the punches don't launch you that far. Okay, I just slipped the heck off. That was not cool. I'm out here trying to learn my moves, my special moves. <laughs> can you ground pound? Can you ground pound in here? If you can ground pound, that'd be pretty good. I'll test out if you can ground pound. Here we go. No, you cannot. It is unable to ground pound. See ya! Oh, come on! I could have had him! Get in there! Get in there! Oof! Ouch. Come here! You get over here! See ya! Oh my goodness! See ya! He's- What?! Luigi, you can't win by doing absolutely nothing this time around. Oh, you- Are you- I got him in mid-air. I'm gonna destroy this guy. I don't want to share a victory. I don't. I don't want to share a victory with Luigi. No, nah, man. Come on, let's go. Cool. Invincibility frames are very long. That's cool. I was focusing on seeing how long an invincibility frame lasts from when you punch them, and then I, we just all lose. <laughs> so Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing, yep. And I didn't want to go random minigame. Please, tell me why I can't press the B button right here to go back to menu. Tell me. Literally, let me know. Why can't I press the B button to go back to menu? Why is the first one random minigame and not retry? So bad. Whoever designed that forgot one very... Uh, look at that. They forgot one step. And that one step was to give us a B button to go back right away. Alright, anyway, where were we? Where were we? I'm gonna go beat up some of these dudes on Final Countdown. I have to get a solo victory. I have to get a victory royale. Uh, whatever you call it. A crown from Fall Guys. I don't like that this is not... Um, it just doesn't go super fast until there's one person standing. I wish that was the case. Really? See ya! Okay, so Daisy, I kind of kicked in. Ow! Okay, she just jumped in. Luigi, you're mine! Luigi! Yeah! Yes! 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 That's right, I kicked him off. There can only be one. At the that was a buzzer beater. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Let's talk about that for a second there. I'm not sharing that victory with Luigi. Here we go. Luigi, you're mine. Push him, yes! Leave. That was a victory. So I would say the most powerful move you have is a jump kick. You do a, an empty jump and then on your way down, you press the B button to do a jump kick and you are way more powerful.
with that. And you can jump out of it, too. It's kind of like L-canceling. All right, Pokey Pummel, here we go. Here we go. So this one's going to be pressing the A button as fast as physically possible. You ready? A computer cannot beat me at button mashing! Okay. Good. <laughs> I mean, I can do that pretty fast, but jumping on beanstalks? No way. Manner of escape. Ooh, this one. This one's actually a thinking game. I like this one. With this game, you really have to pay attention to what your opponents are doing. There's a little bit of luck and a lot of bit of skill with observation. Sweet. Later, losers. Now, were they paying attention? Yeah, they were. Okay. So this is this is tie game up. Oh gosh, no. Daisy, this is now it's a luck game. See ya. Where did Daisy go? Come on, man. I was the last one out, wasn't I? Yep, yep. So, like, again, there's luck involved with this a lot. That is a lot of luck. But if you're paying attention, you can come out. You can come out. If you can kind of manage that luck. Yeah. If you can manage the luck in this level, I think it's a pretty okay game. Where did Rosa go? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Now pay attention to those two doors. Alright, I went with Luigi. Luigi's at the end end room. Uh, and that's probably the right one. Yep, all three of them went. Okay, so now it's just it's just luck. It's dumb luck. Me! Come on! Dude, really? We all I cause I was the last one in, man. Come on. Okay, this is this is too. All right, this, the the amount of luck in this one is getting pretty annoying, and it's it's hard to manage because like at the beginning you're at a disadvantage if you're on the inside, right? Because you're in one, two, three, four. So the people on the outsides have the advantage because they can get in the first door really quick, right? But even if that door is right, like it doesn't matter. Rosa, okay, so Rosa's room, Luigi's room, okay, it's fair. I mean, you can watch this. Oh my gosh, Luigi, look at He's getting the perfect room every time. And now it's dumb luck. This one. Me and Daisy. Oh gosh, no! Come on, man! So bad. Okay, this one's... I'd say this one is like 80% luck. Borderline 90% luck. So how am I gonna win it? Freaking Daisy. Alright, here we go, Daisy. Wow, Daisy's already on the third one. How? Yes, me! Who? Okay, I got second. I, I guess that's fine, right? Do I do I win? Is this me winning? No, I have to get first. So I made it to the very bottom row, like the first, the second floor. I made it to the second floor, and uh, I just I just had bad luck. One out of six, 18%? Maybe. Okay, I was absolutely not paying attention, but everyone, all the computers know. And I'm at the end. Okay, great. Okay, Luigi, you cannot go. I'm gonna take this 18% chance and I'm gonna win, dude. See ya. No, Rose, I shared with you. <gasps> cool. I was not paying attention to the bottom one. But, like, that's where you have to. You have to pay attention. Boo -doo 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 Ooh. 
Who? The last one? Alright, fine. Go ahead. You guys can reveal all the doors. That's cool. When it comes down to it, it's all about the second floor anyway. <clears throat> I'm in. See you later, losers. That's right. Luck based. Was it 18%? No, it's 20% chance. There's five of them. Yeah, so just, at the end of the day, it's a 20% chance. And that's how you win. It's a luck game. You have to just be... In the, the top floors, you just watch them. And then you see which door to go in. And then at the end, if you can get there fast enough, boom. 20% chance. So, I guess. Here we go. Goomba spotting. Hey, Goomba way. Goomba way. Oh, count the number of Goombas. You guys can play too. All right, get ready to count. Here we go. Just watching the Goombas. Okay. This is hard. If you ask me how many Goombas there were, I have no idea. I'm just pressing the A button for every one that I see. And when I see a group of five, I would go one, two, three, four, five. When I see a group of three, I would do one, two, three. A group of two, I would do one, two. Uh, and I would just go from there. So 41, man. Give me that. Easy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not an issue of beating the CPU. You, you just gotta tie them. All right, not too bad. Next up. Flash forward. Flash forward. Get to the center of the platform, face the camera, and just in time for the picture to be taken. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow, a lot of you guys with 41. That was pretty good. So we're moving, we're pushing, we're punching, and we want to be front and center. Like, get out of my way. I'm here. What? <laughs> All right, let's see. This one, we have the full repertoire of jumps and punches. There's no jump kick, but you can ground pound. Wow, ground pound is devastating. Front and center, baby! Me! What? Why, because he was... Okay, okay, let's not talk about that. What did the what did the the game say to get in front and center, right? All right, just making sure, just making sure it wasn't uh, mistaken for anything. Did I did I make it? Cause I was smiling. A tie. I'm sorry, but my face was the most shown there. I don't know if that's a tie. Because he was facing? No, man. Punch you. Punch you. Get smushed. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna be facing. Watch me face. Oh my gosh! What? Me! Look at me! Why? Louis? What? That doesn't make sense! Who is the camera? Yo, this is like Professor What's-His-Name in New Pokemon Snap. He's so terrible. In new Pokemon Snap, he doesn't know what a good picture is. I was looking directly at the camera. What, because I wasn't on this platform? All right, fine. I'll get on the platform. Smush you clowns and punch Luigi in the mouth. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got this. Now, now watch. You get smushed. I'm in. No, I'm not. I punched Luigi. Look at me, Daisy. Okay, I would give that to Daisy. I would 100% give that to Daisy. This one's actually really hard. Yeah, this is hard. This is hard, man. We have to 100% be on the podium, 100%, in order for you to be considered. So ground pound is just devastating. So do that, and then you go like this. Oh, come on, I got smacked in the back of the head. But I was on the podium, so I win. Yay, Rosa, that is a picture. Rosa's like, get out of here, you Mario. Took way too long in Starship Mario to rescue me and my Lumas.
So anyway, that game is, is hard. You just have to be on the platform. So if you can squeeze out a ground pound before the picture happens, then you're golden. But other than that, it's, it's crazy. That was really good, though. Wow, 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 wow. We are... How many minigames did we do? 35? Dang. We gotta do the rest of these mini... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. This is all minigames. That's a lot of minigames, man. Okay, you guys want to keep going? What do you guys think? Should we keep on playing? <laughs> Should we keep on going? That's a lot, man. Um, we did this one last, right? Flash forward. We did the top three rows. Oof, man. You want to do another couple rows? I mean, honestly, it was just like maybe a couple hours left and then we can hang out. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I think it'd be amazing. Wah, wah. Okay. Rapid River Race against these hard CPUs, man. Let's go. Rapid River Race, I love this one. Press the A button to accelerate. You can go. Okay, so I you can take a lot of strategies with this. There's a lot of strategies here. So you press the A button to accelerate. You have, what, six speeds? I like to stay in fifth speed. Get to fifth speed as fast as possible. And then just play. A dodging game but I don't know if that's gonna be fast enough for the the CPUs right oh and I crashed no they're at full speed I can play against friends and beat them when I'm at fifth speed but max speed no way all right well we have to go if they're going at full speed you have to beat them shoot this is hard! Oh my gosh. What did I get myself into? Three, two, one, go. Dude, how do you hold how do you do oh you can hold left instead of pressing left twice. I'm understanding now. Can you use the D-pad? You can't use the D-pad. That's really hard. And they got 19 seconds where my best is 21. Okay, I think with my first impressions, I've met my match with this one. Shoot! It has to be a perfect run. Can I do a perfect run? Three, two, one, go! Shoot, man! I gotta move my head, too. I gotta play like this. This is really hard. So what I've noticed is that I can switch gears faster than they can just by mashing. So that gives me a little bit of a millisecond of speed that I can take. Everyone watching right now, this is another leaf incident where you're gonna be hard pressed. You're gonna be hard pressed to win. But with this one, the strategy is stay back in the middle so you have the most reaction lanes. I'm out! I'm out, baby! I am out! Yes! That was a flawless run, 1879, and that, mil that couple millisecond. The couple millisecond that I had over there was just based off of the game allowing you to spam the A button a little bit faster at the beginning. Otherwise, it would have been a tie. So that was so good. That was absolutely amazing. I was so happy. I was very happy with that one. So yeah, let's keep going. 
So yeah, you can. You can absolutely do it. So whew, here we go. We're gonna play a little face mold time. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? You got an eyebrow that's like this. You got a nose that's slightly ajar. You got a tooth that's like that, and another eyebrow that's like this. What else? I don't know. Eighty six, dude, no way. Oh, man. <clears throat> wow. That's actually really tough. Let's try again. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Big Bowser, Big Bowser Cheeks. Oh my gosh. This is really hard. So jaw is just straight up. Nose is down. With a little bit peeking out. Eyebrows are down. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this. Eighty-seven? No way, man. This is really picture perfect. I can't. Okay, so here we go. Looking at Bowser, you can kind of see everything that happens. Right? So cheeks get puffed out a little bit here. Cheeks get puffed out a little bit there. Nose went down a smidge. She, like, chin went up. And then eyebrows went, like, lazy. But not so lazy. I don't know, man. That's so hard. 85... 95? No way. How am I gonna beat these guys? It's just like... This is like the crayon one. Okay, this looks pretty extreme. I think I could do this one. Full on cheek. Full on cheek. Mouth went straight down. Not like a diagonal down, but pretty good down. And then eyebrows are like extreme out. And nose is up a little bit too. I think mine's flawless. What do you think? Is mine great or what? That is, I think I got a 90, 94 on that, man. Except for that left eyebrow. 85? What, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? May I ask you what, I'm, what am I doing wrong? Oh, sad Bowser. Wow, okay. All right, so he's got his lips up. He's got his cheeks down. He looks like very sad Bowser. I don't know, man. 90. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm done. As long as I tie. As long as I tie, that's considered a win, man. Okay, that's really hard. Playing this game is very, very hard. I'll take the tie. 90 was my best, my personal best on that. I will never play that again. Dark and crispy. Here we go. Oh, this is a Bowser game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is easy. I think this will be super fun. Start. 
Okay, here's Bowser. Oh my gosh, he comes charging at you. Okay. I want to push someone into Bowser. Like, you can nudge your opponents. Oh my gosh, I was so close to dying right there. Yes, get her! That was it? You just have to survive? You just have to survive. Okay. I mean, it's not like you can really sabotage someone. With the computers, it's really hard to nudge them, but with human players, you can totally nudge them into Bowser. So, all right, I'll take the victory back and back to back. These are going swimmingly, Pit Boss, here we go. Yeah, free-for-all games are just about done, it seems. Yeah, yeah, good looking out. All right, here we go, next up, Pit Boss. Pit Boss. This one, uh, honestly, it's like kind of staying in one spot. Mario wins by doing absolutely nothing over here. Done, Rosa. Get smushed, Rosa. Yes, what? How is she maneuvering like that? That is unreal. Okay. Wow, she had like some sort of proximity detector on her or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that one, you just kind of don't really run around too much. You just kind of stand still and just look at the angles of stuff. Slight movements, you're done. We are swimming through the rest of these. One versus computers? All right, let's see if it's possible. Ow. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So the computers are against me. Oh, you better believe I'm going to win this one. Okay, let's go. This is just skateboarding and jumping. You're fine. Yeah, we oof, that slows you down. Yeah, yeah, this one's easy. This one's so easy. You can do a clear ollie over the over the wood. And as long as you don't land, as long as you don't land on any of the things, you're golden. There's no way, unless you're very bad. There's also vines. Whenever you see the vines, you have to jump. Oh gosh. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. PD Prana's not doing anything. Oh goodness. Is he? This is so simple to beat the CPUs in. You think they're master mode? Yeah, right. Are you kidding? PD Piranha didn't even get close to me. If you have a good skateboarder, which is by spamming the B button and jumping at the vines, how in the world are you going to win when you have all three of those people? No idea. But hey, you know what? One versus three minigames, bring it on. I will beat all of you. Tug of War, oh great. So tug of war, don't do this, okay? Don't put your palm over here and spin. Don't you dare do that. Don't even think about it. Put your hand under your shirt and then spin it. <laughs> Get over here. Get in there. Are you kidding me? These 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 computers are still on master, right? You can put your hand underneath your shirt and then just kind of go like this with the with the shirt breaking the friction of your hand then you're all set, right? I promise you, you're not gonna injure yourself. Okay, here we go. So this is simple. We're beating all these CPUs on master mode. They're done, man. <clears throat> okay, so this one's fun because they have two elements that can completely block them in. Like their buddies right here. Like their own partners to block them in. Block them in, Rosa! There you go, Goomba. There we go, Goomba. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh. All right, Rosa. Here we go. All alone. All alone. All alone. Here we go. Yeah, right in the corner. Right where I want you. Oh, you're smart. You're pretty good. Goombas, hurry. The final shot. What? Dude, Bowser Jr. and Goomba didn't do anything to help out. All right, Arch Arrival, here it comes. Rosa, you're first. Come on, Goomba, help out. What?
Yeah, push him in the corner. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, the Goomba just rocked him in the corner. That was so good. Anyway, so in order to win this one, you have to absolutely hope that they pin themselves against the corner. So simple. All right. Good job. Ha ha. Look away. Ooh, let's play look away. I'll play against these clowns. These are easy. Wah, wah. Choose a direction to look at. Okay, you guys are good. You gotta fake them out, but these are computers, so you can't really fake out computers. Dang it! I gotta beat them somehow. Dude! Luigi actually got me. I was aiming for specifically Luigi. If I got up, I would have gotten all of them. Two out of three. Come on, on the last one. All right, they did very well. They did very well. But why is... Why is... Can you riddle me this? Why is Daisy's face so far backwards and Rosa's is just like so close? Does she just have a naturally small head? No, I could have gotten them all out first round. Uh, here we go. All right, here we go. You just gotta match them. <laughs> what am I doing? Come on. What? They're good. <laughs> You're all going to look up. You can't beat the computers in this one. It's just dumb luck. It's what, five different odds? It's, it's pretty lucky, right? It's five different things, so you got a 20% chance of landing on the correct face of theirs. Wow! It was like clockwork, like they knew that I was going the opposite way. These guys are not cool. Yes! See ya, losers! Give me that! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Again, it's a luck game, so you're not going to win that consistency. But we beat them. We beat them. Title toss. Let's go. This one's really hard. This one's actually really hard. If you have a human, a human player that's catching on to your patterns, this one's really hard to win. They're getting real close to my boat. Leave! You have to be really erratic with these, like, motions so you don't come off, like, 100% like... Can you please stop jumping my stuff over here? Come on! I got... No way! I'm gonna be out here for ages getting these guys. This one, honestly, is just so easy to win if you guys are the jumpers. I just don't, I don't feel on my first impressions that you can win this one easily. You can do some like light hops, you can do some regular like little stuff like that. As soon as they jump, you can kind of like get them with a big one. But it's not like there's a combo that's like always the, the, the winning combo. Yeah, these big Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, Daisy! Leave! You're so good, Daisy! Get out of here! One left. Okay, I'm gonna keep on trying. You gotta mix in the short hops to get the little ones that, like, kind of stun them a little bit. But honestly, it, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to win this one.
Don't waste your breath with small. She was so close to falling off, man. All right, so the thing is, you can't waste your waste your time with really, really tiny ground pounds because little tiny ground pounds are the exact same wave as a short hop. So don't waste your time with that. But if you do two short hops in a row, you can typically get them when they land. See, like that. Wow, cool. Okay, that's a strat, man. Always do two short hops because as soon as they jump over one, they're gonna land on another one. And then you could do the the very tall ground pound and then you're set, man. Easy, easy. All right, now you guys know how to win that one. Done. Boulder ball. Boulder ball. All right, let's try and see if we can do boulder ball. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if we're gonna make it, but. Doing some crazy extreme angles is probably going to be my best bet. Yo, you think it's safe over there? You think it's safe over there? Get over here! Wow, get owned. Get owned on the first try. Okay, so bouncing off of angles is very imperative for that because you can do a lot more coverage on the way down with the rocks. So 100% easy. Easy. We are breezing through the rest of these games. Coconut Conk? Oh, you wish you guys can get me. These master CPUs are going to try to hit me with a coconut? Yeah, right. Okay, cool, congratulations. All right, fine. You know what you're doing. I gotta go slide elsewhere. But if they corner you, it's over. You have to really just... You gotta maneuver in between them, man. Okay, now I can play. It's gonna eventually catch up with me, man. I can't be like figure eight snaking in between these. It's really hard. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. I, I got this, I got this. You coconut on your head. Here we go. You gotta split them up, but don't get yourself cornered. Convince them where you're going, and then fake them out. Look at Luigi and Daisy are on the same wavelength. Rosalina's just doing her own thing, man. She's like, yo, am I just supposed to ground pound over here? Yeah, you want to be able to trap. You want to be able to trap the barrel person in the middle with just constant coconuts. But that was easy. Just rolling around, dodging coconuts, so simple. Spotlight swim. Oh, this one's really fun. Let's try this out. Uh, if you're the one versus three, uh, you have to move. Oh, yeah, you gotta dive. Wow, okay, okay, let's try this out. So, you can dive, but as soon as you dive, And you can just swim away from them. Yay, losers. Whoop. See ya. Oh gosh, I put myself in the corner. Okay, so that's one of the strategies you shouldn't do. Don't ever put yourself in the corner. You gotta be swimming free, man. 
Okay, okay, spotlights. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll beat you. We'll beat these fools. Well, you can put yourself in a corner over here. That's fine. Look, 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 look. Nothing happens now. Wee, swimming, swim, swim. Wee, they're not even cutting me off with their lights. Nice try, loser. See ya. Wee, look, swimming in a circle like a champ. They're not even predicting my movements. They're being reactive versus proactive. So, cool. The humans win again. Whoa, where is he taking me? Go, Mario. <laughs> That was great. Hide and sneak. Oh, this one's hard. This one's luck based. This one's 100% luck. Uh, so they're going to be hiding. And what I have to do is I have to find them. But they give a little tell as to which way they're going before the curtain falls. So let's take a look. I'm going to go mushroom right off the bat. I think Luigi's over there. Oh, Daisy, cool. Wow. I'm gonna go berry bush. There's Luigi's over there. Now, if they split up, which would be smart, they would win. I guess I'm going over stump, man. You better both be behind the stump. Dang it! Come on. Okay, it's a luck game. It's a luck game. You think you can see where they're going. But honestly, you can't. Stump. I meant stump! I pressed stump and called stump, man. Here we go. Give me this now. Mushroom house. Rock? Okay, here we go. 50-50 chance now. This is rough, man. Oh, he's, go he's walking all the way over. You can't change your direction once you're walking. What? What do you mean? He was running that way. There's no way. Oh my gosh, Luigi, man. Luigi, you're such a dude. Rock, Luigi's behind Rock. Okay, how is he not behind Rock? Luigi's behind the house. What? Well, now it's 50-50. If they split up, I lose. If they get them both... Well, Daisy turned around, so she went back to stump. With Luigi. Dang it! What? How? How? How, folks? How? How? How are they doing that? This one's so hard. You think you see where they're going, but then they just don't. Okay, so uh, Rosaline is obviously behind the bush. What? I'm not understanding. She was going up towards the rock. Good, twofer, now it's a 50, it's a true 50-50. Luigi, 
I'm not even... House. I'm done. This is it. Thank you. Good. We're never playing that one again. You can kind of see where they're going, but that they can easily just tell it as something else, man. Wow. GG's. It's a luck mini game. Whoever bought that merch, thank you. Welcome. Whoever did that. I don't think I have any alerts on, but thank you. Who is it? All right, here we go. Now we're gonna play some soccer, man. Oh, I will play some soccer. I'm so good at football. All right. Wow, okay, cool, cool. Where are you going, where are you going? Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Fifteen seconds. No more. No more goals. Four more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Two more. You can't. Not on me. Not on me. Not one more. Oh. <laughs> Not on me. He says, dude. That's so. I could. I was very close, dude. Rosa only scored one. Here we go. Wow, good job. Nice, nice. Let's go. Who wants some? Who wants some? Good job, Luigi. Yeah, two blocks on that one. Oh, come on. What? Oh my gosh, help me. Oh, you guys are so bad. Luigi, come on, man. Cool, three right off the bat, excellent, awesome job. There we go, and we've blocked three of them. Yeah, look at that big goalie. Okay, three left. Okay, I gotta block all these now. Yes, no more, no more! Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> that was a buzzer beater. They were about to land inside the goal and then they just poofed out of existence. And that, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's actually really hard to be goalie on that one. But we did it, we beat him. Cool, I'll take it. Reminds me of that one time where Luigi, uh, Luigi won with me when I pushed him off clearly at the buzzer. All right, let's go. Solo side, don't get crushed. All right, good. I will run past these clowns. Watch me. See ya. Here you go, just keep going linear. Keep chasing after me, nice try. Yep, 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 just like that, just like that. Yup. Don't even think about cornering me, nope. Oh gosh, they're gonna corner me. No! <laughs> that was a genuine reaction. Wow, I was hard taunting them. And I said, no! <laughs> Cause I got smushed. All right, come here. Come on. See ya! Oh, shoot. I thought I could squeeze past them. Wow, this is a mind game. This is a mind game. All right, come on, here. Third time's a charm. I got it. I'm not gonna mess around. We're not gonna, we're gonna be funny anymore. Be funny, they say. No, I have to win. I have to win against these guys. They're hard. As long as you don't get cornered, right? And if you guys are the cornerers, then you corner. You want to group those clowns together. Nope. Stay on the extremes of their reach, not on the interior of their smush. 
Oh gosh, oh gosh! Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. Ow! Oh, Tony! Tony, I got smushed! Hey, Tony, you got a shirt. Sweet! Yo, did you get this shirt? Thank you for the super chat. Uh, watching some walkthroughs, playing some, some Yokai Watch, man. Hey, I love that game. It's a great game. I wish it was relevant so I could still play it. All right, here we go. No more messing around. So you have to be mindful of, they take two squares whenever they pound down, right? So you have to be mindful of that and squeeze past them along that line. It's a fine line and you can get it wrong. So I just baited out Luigi like that? Oh, come on, why would I? See, like, that's not what you're supposed to do. You can't, like, you can't sneak around them so close or else you get smushed. This is actually a little difficult because they're very scary. But if you get to a point where you're 1v1, then you can outspeed them. Oh my gosh, that would have been bad. Yeah, if you 1v1 them, you're set. So right now, I'm 1v1ing Rosalina. Oh my gosh, hey, cool. That scared me. I can stay in the corner and I'll be fine. See you later. Good job. Perfect. Perfect timing on that. Wow. Wow, that was really good. Okay, so again, you have to you have to be mindful of the, every time they stomp down, they take two squares and you're only a half square. Or you're sorry, you're only one square. So you can kind of like, I'm two squares away from you. You have to come one full rotation at me and then I can choose where to go. So... It's decent, but like if you don't have three people that can corner them, then you're done. All right, here we go. Two better lose it. We're almost done with this game, man. A hundred mini games. Okay, two better lose it. Here we go. I'm accelerating, and I can break. I land on these clowns. Boom. See you later, you two. Wow, you're so good. So breaking is hard. Let me actually plug in a battery. Hmm. Oh, I gotta go plug in my thing. I'll be right back. Take a breather. Yay. Let's go. Here we go. Try to pop your tubes. Yo, pop your tubes, man. Tubes be tubing. Here we go. I'm ready. Camera on, ready, go. This might be your favorite minigame, Tubin. All right, I'm ready, let's go. All right, let's see. Uh, so if you're on the small inner tubes, you got really good breaks. Yeah, but when you're over here with uh, the spiky one, the breaks aren't that good. So anyway, I'm gonna accelerate up and we're gonna destroy. Here we go, I'm putting on the brakes. See you later, one, two, done. And Luigi, you're mine, yes, see you later. That was so simple, destroyed him. It one is a good one, that's a good one. It's so fun. So accelerate with A, decelerate with B. It's simple. We beat them in a split second. All right, next. Pogo a go-go. Oh, wow, Pogo a go-go? Huh. Spin the stage left and right. Left and right. Okay, so I'm going like this, and then I'm rotating around. This is very bad for your if you're rotating. Because these guys are really good. They're going exactly the speed that they need to. And the rotation isn't fast enough. And Luigi's staying right on that star. No way I can beat these clowns. Okay, so maybe force them towards each other? You see how close Rosalina is? There's no way. There's no way you can win this. 
the the rotation of everything is just it's too slow those rockets have to like turn around and they're like oh well he's rotating so okay I don't think so No, I don't I don't think that you can win this one with really skilled players unless you somehow force them to go near each other. And then there is an option of bumping into one another, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but your proximity sensor is off. Come on, Luigi, just fall. Luigi! I got two of them somehow, just like I don't know, it seems dumb luck. It seems like really dumb luck in order to beat these clowns. I'll try a couple more times, right? This one is just, it's so weird. The rotation is just like, it's so, it's not fast enough. You can rotate at the speed of the pogo. It's it's a boring mini game. Like zero out of ten, man. Enjoyability. Watch out! I'm going left. You're going right. Here it comes. Like no, dude. They were on the edge. They're teetering on the edge. I can barely get two of them. I don't know, man. I'll try a couple more times, but this seems very, very impossible. Daisy's right on the edge, but that's not, it doesn't matter. Daisy's just poking around, Luigi falls. No way! I have to know when to like restart the game. Other otherwise, we're gonna be here for way longer. All right, give me your give me your honest thoughts about this one. Is this is this doable? I had two out of three, but like I'm just going like this. Yay! Rotate. Cool. This is fun. No, there's nothing else to it. If you're playing against a skilled player that knows how to move a character, you're not doing anything. Look at Rosa just teetering on the edge right there. Okay, Luigi just fell. 10 seconds left. Rosa, come on! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Yay! Okay, 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 okay. It's not impossible, we did it. Wow, it was, honestly, it's just left and right and then just mix it up a little bit. Don't do the same thing. Cool. Wow, wow. Okay, you can't rotate any faster with that one. All right, here we go, move and dash. What is this? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, run, I'm running the ball to the end zone. Wow, do not get tackled. What's the interval of tackling? I can only do three of them. So yeah, it appears that I can only do three tackles. Oh, I love this one. I, I absolutely love this one. This is so cool. Oh my gosh! Yeah, see ya, losers! <laughs> I love that! Alright, so obviously you got three dashes, you use them to dip out and you win. Cool. Skewer, skur, scurry. Skewer, sc oh, this one's hard to do against computers. I remember playing against the normal computers and it was hard. Start. 
cool. You can actually mix them up. Oh my gosh, it takes way too long. Done, ladies. See you later. So beating the computers on that was pretty easy because, like, they're programmed to run away from whatever light they see, right? So I was just going left and right, made them in the middle, and then just go up and down and destroy them. So that was pretty simple. That's manipulating computers programming, so that's easy. Uh, these are twofers. I mean, I guess we can play the two-player minigames. Yeah, go for it. Whatever, it's all the minigames. It's hard, man. Okay, so accelerate, push the sled, uh, slow down and steer. Okay, cool. Three, two, the bobsled team. Go. go! Look at how fast we're going compared to them. Accelerate! Accelerado. Oh my gosh. Whoa. And we can't fall off. Remember, if you fall off the track, then you legitimately lose. There's no respawning. Oh, they are catching up. They are catching up. Wow, speed boost. Figure eight. Wow, we are doing it. We are cruising at this altitude. Speed up! Don't fall off, Daisy! Don't fall off! Take the tight turns, baby! Let's go! Here it is! Lean a little bit! Lean, lean, lean! Luge! Yes! I'm excited! Here we go! Here we go! Lugeing it up! Go! 102! We're in. Yes. That was awesome. Okay, pretty easy. Bobsled run. We got a... It's kind of like a tie right now because we have... What do we have? We have a master CPU on our team. Okay, we are going to mash A to accelerate and B to break. Easy. I wonder how fast you have to accelerate. All right, let's try this out. Pressing the A button, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep on accelerating and then leaning whatever we need to. She can take care of the brakes. It looks like Daisy is actually taking care of the brakes too, it's so funny. It's like, yo Mario, chill out, man. As long as you're leaning, this reminds me of Skyward Sword, remember that? Oh, we're done at max MPH. You're done. They almost made it to the finish line. That was so good. Daisy and Mario? Sorry, guys. We win. Oh, random minigame. What a misclick. Oh, what the... That's the best one. Chip shot. Oh, I love this minigame. I just love scoring a hole-in-one. Hurry up. They don't allow us to press the back button. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're in the 2v2s right now. Uh, where are we here? Handcar Havoc, Dungeon Dash. And then we're done. And we're done with all 100 minigames against the hardest CPUs. Oh, move right leg, left leg. Okay, cool. Let's try it. Move your left leg and right leg. Have you ever done anything like this in like a team exercise? These are pretty interesting. What? Oof! Oh, come on! Daisy! Okay. When you're playing with a computer, it's easy. But when you're playing with a real person, no, that's gonna be way hard. But we did technically beat the master computers, so let's continue. I was just waiting for that thwomp. I think with the, if you were pro in that level, you would be able to just really speed under him if you were going as fast as possible. All right, so this one's going to be some sort of shell game. Sorry, we're gonna yield that. I get to play offense this time. 
Sorry. You gotta get out of the way whenever uh, it's like bouncing around in between you and your teammate. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Daisy. Hello? Yo, I'm partnering up with Rosalina. Okay, things are looking uh, pretty insane right now as far as this goes. Cool, keep that up. That's a pretty luck-based game, man. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, here we go. We are going to try that again. That's what you don't do. You don't like juggle it in between you and your partner and then score on yourself. That's what you try not to do. <sighs> what am I doing as a teammate? I'm doing nothing at all. I'm doing nothing at all as a teammate. It's so hard. I need a better teammate. That one's pretty luck-based. I mean, yeah, you can move around and, you know, be skillful or whatever, but mm, I don't know. It's hard to get it past master CPUs who have, like, the algorithm of, like, collision detection that could just, like, skate it the entire time. That was me. Am I causing all, my, all these own goals? Is this me? I think I've only scored like two goals against them historically here. Wow, okay, okay. Here's the comeback of a lifetime. Get ready. Yes, the big comeback. Here we go. We got to win. Oh my gosh. No tie game. Score. What? Why would it? No, you don't all win when there's a tie game. It's not how you play this, but sure. It's weird. Oh, let me see if I can grab this. Oh, hold on a second. What is my Nintendo Wii doing here? Sorry. I had some food ready. Oh yeah, this food's gonna look good. <laughs> I'm gonna beat this level and then I'm gonna dive into this Euro that I got over here. Oh, so I'm goalie now? I'm terrible at goalie. I need to play offensive, man. I'm not gonna win. Good job, Rosa. Look at us win with that offensive prowess of Rosalina. Look at these two. Yikes. I do not want to... Okay. Come on, man. What's the deal? What's the deal with that, man? Can I stand still and win? I like Rosaline on offense better. I'm just out here dodging them, man. 
It's like air hockey. You just can't win. Great. Perfect. Please, Rosa, score something from the back row, man. Me standing still is doing better than I've ever done. What is this? Come on, man. How are you going to win this one? Alright, here we go. I'm Goalie. Hi. Hi, my name is Goalie. Okay, this is good. Good job, Rosalina, playing on offensive. It just skimmed right in, man. Rosalina, why you got a back? Why you got a back? Passed it to me, man. I'm having a hard time winning this one. Because I'm clearly the liability of everyone. Here we go. I can maybe hit it a- oh my gosh, so easy. I love that goal. Give me another easy one. We have never been at an advantage yet. We've never been at an advantage. Come on, man. I'm done with that. Give me my salad. Give me my salad. I'm gonna stand still. I'm gonna stand still and let Rosalina do all the work. Look at that. I didn't touch it. Okay, uh, I needed to move there. Yes, yes! This is great! Beat the computers! Beat them! I'm so done with this game. Yes! Oh, 3-0, baby! That's all Rosalina. I didn't do anything for that one. So, I mean, I don't know. There's no real skill to that. There's just so much bouncing around that you can't objectively be better than someone. Nah. All right, anyway, moving on. Hey, hey, we're almost there. Ooh, balloon burst, cool, what is this? Ready. Okay, uh, pump air into the Bowser balloon. Uh, hold L to pump up, L and R. So we gotta go full extreme, and then down, and in and down, okay, cool. Pay attention to the gauge, uh, and get in as much air in one pump as possible. Yo, I'm pumping way faster than Daisy over here, man. I'm going way to the bottom and way to the extreme. Why are we not winning? What am I missing here? What? Please, please explain that to me. What? Oh, random minigame. Dang it. <clears throat> random minigame? You think I want to play baseball again? Guess what? I don't. Wow. Wow.
No, I don't want to start over. <laughs> Where are we? Sometimes you gotta eat something after you've been streaming for five hours in this game, man. Okay, here we go. I'm going extreme down, extreme up. What's the deal? Yeah, is that it? Extreme up, extreme down? What? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Thank you! I was a little bit better on my full extremes, and the millisecond that it hits the full extreme, you have to de decelerate all the way back down. So, that's really the strategy for that one. Oof, that's hard. Cake Factory. Oh, how are we going to win this one? Wow. Alright, speaking of being in sync with your teammates, here we go. Jake? Don't miss a single one. Extra credit, go! We're done. With, wow, with, they had a buzzer beater and we still beat them. Okay, easy. Uh, yeah, you can't afford to miss a single grab, too. So it's it's learning the timing of that. Super simple. Here we go, Sky Pilots. Ooh, wow, 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 Sky Pilots? Okay. Sky Pilots. All right, here we go. I am steering. Okay, so steering is you need someone who's gonna be really good at getting the double rainbow and dodging stuff. So the double rainbow looks like this. One, two. Because you can't steer when you're in the uh, when you're in the corkscrew or the barrel roll. Don't get shot either. We need to, like, take this wide to get the double. Double rainbow, baby! Yeah! Watch out for these balloons. You can go up, you go down, dodge the, uh, bullets. And you gotta go double rainbow? Yeah, baby! That's a world record right here. Easy. New record! Yes! I love it. Mario and Rosalina win, and Mario has is really excited for it. So, yeah, I mean, as long as you know how to do the double and avoid all the other stuff, you're good. Simple, simple minigame. Etch and catch, what is this? Oh, yeah, okay, I've done this one, like, uh, we did this on stream the other day. Etch and catch is just going to be moving around in, a co in like, a circle, but you don't want to follow your teammate at all. You want to, like... We go one way around them like this. Perfect, like that. Yeah, you gotta trap them. You can't follow directly behind them, so... If you can kind of, like, wrap around... Oh my gosh, they're doing so well. So that was kind of lame. They're doing very well. Wow, they got five? Toad? Come on, man. So what did we fumble on? Were we just not there to catch it? What's the deal with that? Get ready. Start. 
Am I? Am I the wrong one here? I just followed her, which is not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to follow. Tie for three. Don't follow me. Tie for four. Oh my gosh, there's no way, man. There's no way. It's, it's impossible to do that. These guys are fools. How are they so good? How are they so good? Okay, here we go. This game. You cannot follow behind your partner. Or do that. You cannot do that either. It was terrible. <laughs> yes. Two, we're only a split second away. Okay, that toad got away from us. And they're already on number four. How in the world? What am I doing wrong? They're too strong. Start. A millisecond behind. You're following me. That doesn't help. You just cut me off, Rosa! Your dress is so long! What are you doing? That didn't count? Unbelievable. There's no way. There's no way you can win that. Watch, I'm gonna switch teams and Rosalina's gonna win on the other side. I was gonna say, like, am I... Am I the liability here? Am I doing things wrong? Here we go. Drawful. Your boy's following me. Why are you following me? Switch to the other side, guy. There's no way! You can't win this! You can't win this. Alright, someone give me the strategy. What do I gotta do? What do I have to do? Other than eat my sandwich. <laughs> what do we gotta do here? Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not understanding. I think the other team is just too in sync. Yeah, just like that, just like that. That was all me. Again, all me. You're following me directly. What are you doing? Am I doing this wrong? Am I am I the one? I, am I the one doing things wrong here? Am I the liability in this in this partnership? Let the bot lead, Abby? I could try that. What? Oh, wow, cool. Yup, yup. Wee, Luigi, wee. Alright, so now what? Dude, I have no clue. I think I'm obviously the, the liability here. I don't know, man.
That's right, Luigi. That's right. I mean, I could try to make smaller circles, but it doesn't matter. Wow, wow, maybe it does matter. Losers! That's right. You guys were 100% correct. You have to make baby tiny. Baby tiny circles around there. That's what I was doing wrong. That's all you had to do. Baby tiny circles around Toad's face. And it counts. I was making them way too big. All right, cool. Panic, pick... Picking, what is this? Picking panic? Picking panic. All right, get ready, get ready. Okay, cool, I'm just grabbing and releasing. Wow, did I just throw that incorrectly? Wow, I did throw that pretty poorly. Wow, that went right on her dress. This is great. 26 to 26? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to beat them. We can't all win. That doesn't count. Oh my gosh. All right, play again. You all win. You're all winners. No pities. Ooh, I just dipped that down. That's not a good start. That's not a good start. I can't just, like, dip that on the ground. Being the first person on the left-hand side is very hard. So you gotta let go right at your... When you're at, like, 4 o'clock, if Mario isn't uh, is like an hour hand. You have to let go like right at four to five o'clock. Nice catch. I let go at like three o'clock and it goes lobbing all the way up. Sorry. That costed us the game, that last one. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Rosa. Rosalina. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't mind me. Just out here muting camera and reading comments, that's all. You guys talking about? Here we go! We gotta win. Here we go. Letting go at 5 o'clock. Oh my gosh, clutch catch there, girl. Good job. Lodge catch. Oh, wow. I was letting go of that real late. I, the moment I look, the moment I look at the opponent's score, I mess up. That's so bad. Just focus on yourself, man. Don't even, don't even try. Don't even try it. Don't look at your opponent's score, just win. All right, here we go. Give me this. Yahoo. Yahoo. Missed one. But it was a single, so it's fine. I missed two. Yep, yep, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Wow. I, Dude, I'm falling apart, man. Is this Mario Party fatigue? Is this Mario Party fatigue or what? I think I'm getting Mario Party fatigue. How mi What minigame number are we at? Oh, look at me, I'm catching. Thanks. 
I'll, I'll, it's so easy to catch versus uh, throwing it. So where are the mistakes? The moment I stop throwing and I'm catching, it's so much easier. <laughs> 29. Okay, hey, we won. Thanks, Rosa. Thanks for stepping up. Rosa's like, yo, you're pretty bad at throwing. I'm, I'm gonna do that. You just chill. All right, so we did that. It's a pizza? Oh, I love eating pizza. Do I though? Dairy's not so good. Dairy free pizza? Ooh, cut me in. I might try that. I'm gonna mow this pizza down like in real life, man. It's like a food challenge. Rosa, you gotta eat with me. Rosa, you can't be going up and down like that. Rosa! Ooh, the middle's so meaty. Out of the way! Okay, good. Six seconds left with the perfect. <laughs> Out of the way, there's a pepperoni! There's a pepperoni over here! <laughs> All right, so that's easy. Mashing the A button. Move in like a, like a typewriter kind of way, like a snake, and don't double back down on your previous areas where you were. Easy. Dungeon duos? Cool. What's this? Help your teammate clear obstacles in this dark dungeon. Uh, okay. Move and jump? What is this? Okay, let's take a look. So, jumping to get a head start over the thing? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Okay, so we're just pressing the B button and jumping. What is the point of this? Who can mash the B button faster and get through? Okay, now what? Cool! It's like a teamwork thing! Thank you! Later, losers. Now what? Oh, it's X. Oh, gosh. Oh! <laughs> no! Like it to hurry up! Okay, this one. Uh huh, not that one. What now? I can't even see what I'm doing. No! Because I fell down once. All right, all right. You can fly away in your fancy balloon. That was my first time playing that one. Come on. Let's go. Rematch. Go, Mario! You're faster! Yes, we are faster. It helps if you stop exactly where you need to, right? Why am I pressing the B button to jump? What game am I thinking? I lost our lead. Sorry, girl. Get over there. Oh my gosh. Oh! Rosalina, Rosalina, you gotta stop pressing the X button. I'm not gonna make it if you do that. 
I like this game. I like the concept of it. It's a lot of, uh... A lot of button mashing, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. It's it's a mixture of everything, which is kind of cool. Man, what are you doing? Cool. Really cool. Really good job. All right, here we go. When Mario Party is happening. Okay, this level is is not too hard. It's just a lot of a uh, lot of button mashing at the beginning. Gotta press it like 30 times, man. Getting a little tired over here. We're not as fast. I can set the controller on the armrest and go go crazy. Okay, good, good. I'm back, baby. Here we go. Huh. I know you can make that jump, and I'm going to stay here and continue to press the X button so we swing it faster a little bit. Not that fast. Okay, that's fast enough. Okay, now we play a luck game. Pay attention! Okay, it's that corner. I'm going. I'm in. What'd you find? Okay, I need to know what this is. Maybe you can pump fast? Yeah, you gotta pump fast. It's not like the other game where you have to like go full in, full out. No, that was great. So you can pump relatively quickly. That's awesome. Cool game. I like that one a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bit of luck, little bit of skill. Good mixture. Platforming, button mashing. Really cool mini game. That has it all. Dungeon duos. Wow, we are so close. We're so close to the end. It's the final stretch. Folks, thanks for hanging out today. You guys are great. Oh man, good audience. What are you guys uh, you guys all up to? What, what mini game did you like so far? Talk to me in the comments. Wow, really good. Really good, this game's awesome. Mm-hmm. Wow. So your favorite minigame is, what, Eats a Pizza? I think that's one of my favorites. That's the final stretch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's a napkin? All right, let's go. Reverse the bomb. Oh, should we switch out the computers? Mm, no, I'm okay. Okay, here we go. Jumping in, reverse the bomb. Ooh, this one's pretty easy. You just move and press the A button. You move and press the A button whenever you see one lit. You don't want to overpress it either. Rosa, I can't cover four buttons, girl. And you can't, you can't misclick either. Rosa, come on! Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Obviously, there was a clear winner with that one. Rosa is not covering three buttons. She has to cover three buttons. All right, so when you're playing this game, you got to be able to hit three buttons, man. And you can kind of see where your opponents are going if you have good peripheral vision.
All right, easy, easy. So as long as you're able to cover your three buttons, you're golden. Uh, just, yeah, make sure that you, you're able to do that. And don't come over to my three buttons, I got it. <laughs> anyway, Kenneth, what's going on? Waiting for me to avenge myself in that leaf hopping minigame? We're going to, it's gonna be the last game we play today. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough, but I got some food in me, so I should be all right. Burn style, ooh, look at this one. Okay, let's go, uh, Daisy. So this is going to be, yeah, this is a lot like that Fall Guys minigame. All right, here. So jumping is going to be pretty fun. I would say starting from the very bottom of your platform over here gives you a lot more movement and a lot more reaction time if you really want to do that. And like jumping towards the top, if you're on this side, is a little bit easier too. Yeah, I did a high jump. I did a high jump. There's a difference between a high jump and a short hop. So you want to be able to do short hops every single time or else you're gonna lose. So anyway, we won. Good job, Daisy. <laughs> we all died on that last one though. That was kind of funny. All right, moving on, Rocky Road. Ooh, Rocky Road. Luigi and I are teaming up for this one. We're gonna beat the girls. Rocky Road ice cream. Okay, Rocky Road. I haven't done the science on this one. How many punches does it take to beat up a rock? How many jump kicks? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. It looks like six punches? Not like you can drive around or drive in the shoulder, right? What are you guys observing? Are you guys observing an HP? It was like seven punches on one of them. It was like you do a climbing jump kick and a descending jump kick. Oh, I can't wait to jump kick the heck out of this thing. Wow, you see those jump kicks? Two jump kicks in mid-air. We are, we are smoking these two. You just have to be, you know, that's actually one of my funnest mini, the, one of the funnest mini games. That has to be. Any time where you can actually jump, kick, punch, all those things, that's a good mini game. All right, here we go. This one is Paint Misbehaving. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Paint Misbehaving, shoot paint. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I'm just like shooting paint non-stop and trying to color all the Goombas my color. We're playing Splatoon. All right, let's play Splatoon. So there's really no point in not spamming the A button every single time. Doesn't make sense not to. And if you can nail one of your paintballs on the other side and hit Daisy or Luigi, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we got 10 seconds left, man. This is gonna be really tough to, to, to secure it because it's anyone's game, just like the final few seconds in Splatoon. You want each and every one of your hits to count, baby, just like that. Really good. By one point, it's like the Splatoon flags with like Judd and Lil Judd. Yeah, shoot him. Okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> they chose to just put that in there. TikTok, TikTok hop, uh, jump and avoid the clock spinning hands. Oh, these are dual mini games now. Okay, yeah, we're gonna duel, this is good. So it's a dual set and then we're gonna do uh, the sports games. So yeah, let's go, normal mode. Me against Daisy, let's go, duel. All right, see you later. The end is near, folks. The end is near. Cool. Yeah, so you could do short hops as well. It's different timing because she's a little bit closer. Oh my gosh.
Is the oh my goodness! Wow, can you imagine this? How much longer? I don't want to play this anymore. My patience is really getting the best of me. Daisy, yield! Oh my gosh. You cannot blink. Oh my gosh, if you blink, you're done! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Dude, that one's hard. What number was that? So what number was that so I can actually be ready for it? You're done. I can't lose in the first one. Get out of here. I'm still shaken up by that last one, man. No way. Someone rewind and tell me what number. Where are we at? I'm on the interior now. This isn't good. Dude, I don't like the slow one, man. Give me back to 29 already. I mean, technically I did one, but I have to beat her. 29 mark? All right. Getting conflicting numbers over here. Someone said three or five. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. All right, here we go. So this is the dual mini game in which uh, you will jump on a clock and right around the 29 mark is where things get crazy. Wow, that mini hand is so strong. Should have made it out of knives or blades or something or fire. If Mario's moving backwards, how is he able to see and jump? You ever think about that? Like, if you're Mario, you're not Mario. Weird. Weird to think about. You're not Mario. Or else you'd be looking through his eyes. Right? So you're just a puppeteer. Here it comes. Brace yourself. Yay! Okay, okay. See, since we knew right around the 30 mark is when they do some crazy stuff, we win! And now you can beat your friends. Whew! That was, that was exhilarating. Vine with me! I'm just destroying Daisy over here. Alright, that was really fun. Oh my gosh. Yahoo! You can't do that, huh? Oh, maybe I could have done that. Oh gosh, she's right next to me. Oh, got it. You gotta be risky with these jumps, it looks like. 
But not that risky. See ya! Oh my gosh! Imagine, imagine you lost because of that. You're like, I got it, ho! Wow, okay, not too bad. Easy, you press the A button and you swing on binds. Nothing to it. We're beating these master computers though. Master Rooter, this one is so hard. We're gonna go against Luigi. Oh, it's just always Daisy. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Daisy's gonna get it. 20 more to go, man. Cool. Are you kidding? Really? Winner. Tell me, tell me, because I got shocked once? What? How are you beating me? It's on, Daisy. It's on like Daisy Kong. Here we go. How did you see that one? You have computer reflexes. There's no way you could have reacted that way. Owie. Owie. Dude. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm winning. I'm actually winning. No, I'm good. Cool. GG's. Yeah, I don't know. I paused it. I'm like, dude, with all these times I got shocked, I'm probably going to lose. But honestly, you just have to aim for the boost panels as best you can and don't get shocked. Not too hard. Mass Meteor is so hard. Oh my gosh. Mass Meteor is very, very tough. This is like threading the needle, so we gotta be very quick and careful because we're swimming in outer space. And you have to know the hitbox of your character because sometimes you can like squeeze underneath a meteor and it's just every subtle movement will launch you. So like right here, I can stay back and go under which is pretty smart, because you don't really want to be able to manipulate your character to go in and out. Oh, gosh! Don't tell me she- Ow! Don't tell me she's having a perfect run, man. Unbelievable, dude. This is hard. If they're going to have a perfect run, you have to be on it. Even the slightest misdirection. Oh, fudge. Please hit a rock. Really, she's not going to hit a single rock. It's a perfect run for her, you're telling me. Unbelievable. So if we both have perfect runs, then what? We automatically always tie? <clears throat> wow. Dude, I was gonna go under and through, man. Got risky over there. It's like playing, we're playing Star Fox. Star Fox, we're in your debt. Come on, man. Let's go. Mario. So, again, the real strategy with this one is subtle movements. <sighs> that Goomba didn't touch me. For starters. Anyway. Subtle movements. Subtle movements. <laughs> Wow, did she actually get hit and and not get a perfect run? Excuse me? Where is she?
Well, don't mind if I do. I'll get a perfect run. See ya. Wee, look at me swim. Here, I'll just, I'll, I'll slow down a little bit. I'll slow down. Here you go. You can have it. <laughs> wow. So I got a perfect run. And Daisy did not. But historically, your opponent can get a perfect run. And then it's probably going to be a, a tie. No idea. Next up. Spin Doctor. Oh, I remember Daisy robbed me in Spin Doctor once, didn't she? You guys remember that? I remember it like it was yesterday. Okay, so Spin Doctor, you have to pay attention. You have to be able to assess ahead and see which way the little things move so that you can go over there and uh, and see what there is, right? I hope this isn't a dead end. If it is, I'm done. I think this was a dead end. Yeah, I lost it. I lost it. I wasted all of my time going to this corner. So this is luck. There's a lot of luck involved, man. Are you kidding? You can, with the flyby, you can kind of see where you need to go if you're really, really paying attention, but... Come on, I missed it by one rotation. All right, that's it, we win. Four rotations. I'm in that cage ahead of her by one little baby rotation. And that's the end. Unless, no, not unless, I win. Good. Okay, so that's really hard. So while you're waiting for the rotations to spin, you have to look in the distance and see the red ones, because the red ones don't go full 360, they just go 180. So you have to look at their 90 degree little things and then you'll be able to win, so. There you have it. Hammer drop! Coin games? Oh, the dual games are gone. Are done. Okay, this is cool. So the uh, the dual games are done. We now are into the hammer drop. Uh, these are the coin mini games. So try to get coins, but watch out for hammers. I guess we'll play the coin mini games. Get more coins in the master computers? Maybe? I don't know. It's the home stretch. Jumping is OP in this one. So get it. You gotta stay real high up. And you can smoosh your opponents. Aim for the bags. Bilbo. Oh yeah, dude. I got bugged. Get that bag. Jumping. 29 coins already. Don't even talk to me. Look, 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 look. Yeah, look at the shadows, too. Last bag? Last bag? No, no, 40, 47. 47. Imagine playing a board game. And you just played this thing, and you had master computers, and you got 47 coins. Because you learned how to do it for me. Imagine. Alright, let's play Castaways. Collect coins by fishing? How do you do this? Uh, adjust the cast distance. Meow. Wow, that's bad. Rotate to reel it in. So a little flick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to practice this. What? No way did I just get a treasure chest. How do you get the front row? That's what I want to find out. Okay, that's really hard. You want to be able to get the front row really easily. But I'm, I'm missing the front row concept. Do not play using the palm. Release to cast the line out. How do you adjust the cast distance? No, he's throwing... He's going so far every time. How do you get middle row? I don't like this at all. Because I can't... Physically... I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. Front row is like the easiest ones, right? And no one's getting them. And sometimes there's chests over there, so I... I don't know. 
Wow, robbed. How'd you get the middle one, huh? Cool. If I don't know how to play, then how am I gonna win? It's a trash game, man. <laughs> how do you, how do you do the front row? Dude, no way getting back row every time. Look, I could be I could be reeling in front row if I knew how. Whoa, cool. I got a middle row, I guess. No way, dude. Luigi's getting that big money. Oh, gosh. I need, like, a 10. Give me, like, a, a big 10 here so I can tie Ouija. Oh, Daisy's destroying right now. You took it from me! All right, we need to figure out the front row. I think um, you, you pull back, you flick back a little bit and you let it go. I don't know. Like, I'm just casting to the back, though. It's gross. This is the worst fishing sim I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. This is very, very bad. Someone at home teach me how to do this, because I'm flicking back a little bit, and it's going full on. It's going full send. I'm, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go full send. Oh, I think I got it. I think you just lean back a little bit. Hold on, watch. You lean back just a very smidge. I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me, if I can fish some from the front row. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it now. All right, so there's a percentage. Think about the, think about your stick as a percentage. If you pull it down 33%, you're gonna be right up front row. Just like that. If you pull it down 50%. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. If you pull it down 50%, then you'll get middle row. And if you pull it down 100%, you'll get back row. Yeah, so you need to know the timing too. Oh, this is nasty. All right, that took a little bit. That took a bit. It's not a tiny flick. It's not a tiny flick. There's no flicking at all. You're not flicking anything. Nothing is flicked. It's just how far back you pull it and then you let go. There's no flicking. Interesting. Yeah, so you really have to find out what you want to aim for, right? I'm aiming for these bags because I didn't see any treasure chests yet, so I got like three bags in a row. It's not really the best. I'm gonna go for this treasure box in the back. No way, way off. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's go. That's mine. Waiting for it all day. I guess I'll get one of these, right? Oh, no, I won't. There's a chest up front! Gross. Uh, this, this fishing sim is terrible. Like, you need to be really good. Wait. Wink. Nope. You gotta be really good at timing, for one. And the really subtle, which, how far back you're pulling on this thing is trash. I'm gonna get that charger. Oh, or not that one. Yeah, that one! Or not, whatever. Oh, 
Oh gosh. So my frame of reference to reel something in is going to be right where the character is at. Maybe a little bit before the character. So for the back row, it's going to be right by Rosalina, but a little bit less. Dude, I'm so bad at this. Wow, Castaways is the hardest accuracy game. Oh. I can go middle. Yes, get it. Okay, cool. Middle's good. I mean, I could have held out for another easy one there. Good timing on my end. I need some chests. What do I, what am I going to fish for? Bags are good. I'll take bags, but I need treasure chests, man. Luigi got the good stuff. No, I didn't mean to cast. Oh my gosh, I'm having Mario Party fatigue, man. We've been at this for six hours. Maybe just only go for chests, or else you're wasting your time. Why min-max? Dude, how did I not get that? Cool. Thank you! I'll take that easy one. What else? What else? I'm going for bags. Dude, I was all the way in the back trying to get that. This is hard. Hard, son. 20 coins! Yes! I'm tied with Luigi. I'm not gonna give this up now. 25. I got 10 seconds to get something good. Mine! Oh! <laughs> Help! Freaking Luigi. I didn't- I didn't ca I didn't press the cast button. Why are you throwing it? Oh, man. I'm just gonna get the fiver. Why? I I let go of it at the... Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Not beautiful. Mm. She took it from me. I'm done. So ready. I'm so ready for this. Got it. Cool. First one sunk a 10. That's a hard minigame, man. Honestly, if you were to play this one blindly, you would not know how. Just calling it out there. The instructions are unclear. Currently flying a plane. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, pay me, dude. 25! No! Missed it by an inch! Oh gosh, Luigi's coming after me. I gotta beat him. I gotta collect more money than him. Beep. Oh, help! Curry! Use my palm! Beep. Got him. Luigi's got 30. Watch this 35 though, Luigi. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, he's got 35 too? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. What's this? What's this? What's this? Cool! Alright, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that as a win. I hate this fishing sim. It's actually the one of the worst games. Um... But yeah, like I was saying before, the it's it's really about the percentage of how far pull uh, how down you pull it. 33% of the way down is the front row and you just kind of let go. And then like 50% down is the middle row and then like 100% down is the last row. It's so bad. You don't like that. You don't like that at all. All right, parasol plummet, let's play. Oh, the beanstalks. Yes, TPSD over here. Or was that TPSD? PTSD. That's the one. All right, here we go. Practice time. Uh, open and close your umbrella. Try to get all the coins. And maybe there's a bag floating around. I don't know. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, look at how cute. Look. Whee. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that's a, that's a hammer. That's a bag. Got it. A hammer. Okay, cool. Oh, twice? I got hit by the same hammer? Excuse me? Bag. 
No, that bag was mine, dude. Yo, these guys are bag hogs. These guys are bag hogs. Okay, this one is a, a little tougher. I'm not getting hit by a hammer. I'm gonna stay right over here. The top of the screen will uh, absolutely destroy you. One bag, two bags. Give me three bags, baby. I'm in. That's 15 coins more than you. I don't even have to worry about money anymore. No. Okay, cool. 28. I'm in. That's game. GG's, Daisy. It's all about the bags. I don't want random minigame. I don't like that at all. This is this is literally the uh, the, the purest de definition of forced replayability. <laughs> We're just like, all right, skip the skip the cutscene, like press the A button, all right, and then it goes into a random minigame. Like what? Okay, here we go. X-ray payday. Oh, I love X-ray payday. This one's a good one. Opens a box. Okay, so we just have to really pay attention to what's ahead, and you'll be able to win. So just don't open the bomb boxes. Just pay attention. So coin's gonna be right there. Coin, punch in the face. Punch in the face. All right, that's a bag. I'm gonna take that. That's double bagging. Here you go, bag. Bag, nothing else. Nothing else has been revealed for my conveyor belt. I got nothing. I got a coin on top over here coming. I got a coin. Okay, we got coin. We got coin. Skip. We got three coins in a row, four coins in a row, five coins in a row. Good. And then one more, and that's a perfect run. Cool. 20. 20's max. So it's it's really simple to max out on that one. You can just kind of see, kind of like tell yourself, all right, three coins in a row, four coins, etc. There's a bag. Like, it's so simple. Quicksand cash. Cool. I will be the Bowser in the middle here. This is fun. Am I pressing left and right? L and R? Whoa, watch out! These coins are mine! You may not have them. That bag is mine. Don't even think about coming near it. Good job. Yes. Got the bag. I'm just spinning this quicksand. You guys aren't even coming near that bag. It's mine. Nice try. So yeah, it's honestly just... If you see someone near a bag of yours, you have to just spin the opposite way. Let them have the, ch the chump change. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We got 21 as a Bowser suit. We got a 21. That's really cool. Okay. I mean, that was kind of like that one mini game where you're like rotating the spaceship. So that's easy. Okay, River Raiders. This one was actually one of my favorites growing up too. Mario Party 3, River Raiders. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. I'm, I don't remember being the person who's up front. So we'll see. Okay, here we go. I can make my way and get some coins. Yay. Or just get a bag. Like, focus on bags. Yeah, and then maneuver your way around. There's a bag all the way on the end over there, but you want to prevent them from getting the bag. That's right. The bag over here against the wall. I didn't even see it. Did not get it either. Wow, there's another one. Yikes! I have to really assess ahead. How much did we get? 16? Okay, I mean, it was a very short mini game. I mean, 16 is cool, whatever. You just have to really, as a driver, you're like, okay, where are the money bags at? How am I getting there? And if I missed it, make sure they don't get it. It's easy. Easy mini games. All right, here we go, the last stretch. What is it called? Uh, money belts? Cool, money belts. Money belts with CPU masters, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm on the top portion. Yeah, so you just run. When you're on top, I think it's a little easier. You're not gonna get plowed through by all these other things, right? Just run in, run in this treadmill, try to get your coins. I don't know if there's bags, but... Don't dig yourself a- oh, there's a bag, sweet. Don't dig yourself a hole by going so far to the edge, man. Just stay up front. Honestly, if you, and you miss coins, you're fine. 
I got two bags out of that. It was great. Two seconds left, man. Give me a coin. Oof. Nope. 23 to 15. Simple. Coin minigames? Yeah, they're great. Like, you never know when you're gonna need an extra coin in the actual, uh, board that you're playing. Here we go. This one is called Puddle Paddle. Alright, me and Daisy. Let's do it. Okay, climb aboard the two-person raft, and we are steering and paddling. Okay, there's one bag. So don't get hit by these guys. We can steal their coins that are in front of them and keep on rotating. Stay on the inside. Pay attention. If bags pop out like this, turn around. Take a hard turn. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, get it. Okay, good. Another bag right there. Don't even touch it. Got it. Later, losers. Easy. So the steering in this is a little weird. It's not like point in the direction you want to go. It's like left, like veers to the left, right veers to the right. That was cool. I like that minigame. It's really fun. Okay, Cashapult. This one's super easy. You can clear out this entire map because you each get two bounces. All right, so yeah, there's two bounces that you're going to get. You're gonna get propelled up into the air. You wanna pay attention to the coin, the coin pattern that you're going on while you're going vertical and then on the way down. Yeah, so while you're going up and on the way down. So I didn't do that one so hot, but hey, maybe we'll get it. Yeah, and she didn't get all of hers. So yeah, she took a lot of the ones that I was gonna get and I can really only get, wow, we did not get a lot. You can get a, a perfect 20 if you're good. I'll try it. Wow, I almost did my exact half. I got seven on my way up, so don't really... Okay, good, this is good. I think, we, I think we're done. Got it, all we need is one more. Just get the one, Daisy. Get the one, perfect. A perfect... Run. Yeah, it's definitely paying attention to how you're moving and grabbing them. Yes, yes. We are so close to being done. My eyeballs are like, they're excited for the end of Mario Party. Okay, this one's called Winner or Dinner. Oh, Winner or Dinner. Excuse me. What's this mean? Grab coins, but watch out for piranhas. Okay. I will. Winner or Dinner. Dinner served. Look at that, a cutscene. Cool. Don't get eaten. Ouch, or spiked. Are there bags? Okay, spike balls. Cool. Wow, I got balled. How many? How many do we get? 19? Okay. <laughs> Weird winner or dinner, man. The graphics look spectacular compared to what they look like in the previous game, but I think it's fun. And a tornado just comes over and blows us all out of there. What? What kind of ending is that? Beach Volley Folly. Ooh, seven point game. Let's go, Rosa. I love it. We're gonna play the sports games now. Uh, hit ball and jump. Be the first to score seven points. Watch, watch, watch. Right to him. In the corner. Get stuffed, Luigi. This is a master. Done. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, okay. I'm gonna mix up the... I'm gonna mix it... Wow, okay, okay, hold on a second. We're gonna mix this equation up. Really good serve! Yo, that was an ace on me. Out. Oh, wow. It was, wow, so fast. Okay, we're getting stomped. Volleyball's my jam. You cannot do this to me. Yeah, 
Wow, nice top spin. Are you kidding? Okay, okay. I may have met my match. You go for it. I'm going for the quick, dude. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big stuff. Nope. Okay, our first point. Good job, Rosalina. You did it. Rally points. Here we go, here we go. I gotta get one block, man. Go, Rosa. Go, Rosa. Go. Big corner. We both double blocked? Why? Why would you double block with me? That's so funny. Nice try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I've never seen that off the block before. Double block. What are you doing? I got it. I'm going to get one block today. Match point. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes. That was amazing. Let's do that again. Nobody was home. Oh my gosh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that was just a warm up, man. We gotta win. Wow, go Rosa, go Rosa, go. Boom, right to them. Come on, you gotta hit the corners. You gotta hit the corners, Rosa. What are you doing? There we go. I got you. Go, go, go. Play defense, Rosa. I got front. Wow, Luigi diving. <laughs> Nobody home. Good job. Good job. I love this. Come here. The best volleyball simulator I've ever seen in my life. Yes! Get stuffed! Finally! Get stuffed, Luigi. Big corner service. Come on, Luigi. Wow, she was there. No way, what? Double, dude, let me go back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Nope. Wow, he tried to block me. Yo, he tried to, why are you blocking with me, Rosa? Please stop. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Go, go, go. Yes, that's right. Yo, I got a, a bunch of blocks this game, this is great. I was not in the right spot to block that one. Sorry, Rosa. That's my bad. Oh my goodness. Perfect block, dude. Watch. Come here. What you got? Oh, you want some? Go. Give it to him. In the corner. Nobody home. Wow, 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 we're good, we're good, go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Uh, I should aim a little bit farther back. Oh my goodness, go, 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 corner, corner, deep corner. Oh, nobody home. I didn't see the cross court shot either. Okay, this is a close game. Match point, we have to win. Finish it. Nope. Oh my gosh, so close. Nobody home. <gasps> we both went for the double block. Why, Rosalina? Please, please answer that. Please answer. Why did you do that? Why? Why? I need this. I need this. Volleyball's hard, man. On expert mode? Out. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. 
Go. Back row attack. Come on, man. Dude, Rosa, I don't know how you slid, but... Alright, fine. Let him have the rally point. Whatever. Oh, how did she... How did you spike off of a rejected block, man? I don't know how she does that, but it's really good. Cross court. I'm taking it. No, you're taking it. Go for it. Yes! Stuffed. Come here. Stuffed, Luigi. Oh, good dive, Rosa. Really good on defense. Oh my goodness gracious. I was not ready for that bump spike. Okay, here we go. Two to two. Crazy court. She was going cross court with that. Okay. Get back! Two blocks. Don't talk to me. I was not ready for that. It's very extreme. Slow it down. Okay, I'm so sorry. I thought I was gonna be able to jump that. I'm I'm sorry, Rosalina. Very good serve spot. Rosa, finish it. Put it away. You why didn't you dive, huh? Use your magic. Go back row. Oh wow, no, I didn't like that. Oh my goodness. Go, go, go! <laughs> no. We're just on the defense now. Big stuff. Ugh. Yes. Okay. That's three blocks. That's where I'm getting all my points. I'm blocking. And they're not blocking every hit. Double block! Wow! Look at that. That's something you don't see. That's so risky. That double blockage. You wish, boy! Get stuffed. Every single one of our points has been for blocks. This is so good. Freaking love Mario Volleyball. You wish! I'm taking that! Gimme that! No! Okay, fine, fine. That looked out to me, but you can have it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh no! We gotta get it back. Match point. They caught up. No, he doesn't! Go, Rosa. Put it away. Whoa, no! Oh! Go! Wait, you gotta win by two, though! That's not how you play the game! You gotta win by two, though, man! Ah, freaking game. It's so hard! That's so hard. So hard. Anyway, I just we gotta try something else. I'm really I'm doing well on the blocks. I'm doing very well on blocks, but except for that, I can't do anything about that. But we got a really good angle. Okay, good job. Nobody home on that. Good job. I tried. You were there. I'm trying to block everything. It's true. Wow, that was, that was fast. Ooh, my. No way. I'm sorry. Oh, that was out. Good, good, good. That was out. Looked on the line to me.
Oh, that's on the line, man. Dude, these guys are tough. That was going out just about. Nobody home, and I was not ready to block that. These guys are hard. This is not fast enough. We need like a, a strength stat or something. They're destroying us. Come on, I could have stuffed that, dude. Ooh. That's a big stuff. Mmm, nobody home. Yes, in that bottom corner. Love it. Alright, so that was my first spike goal for a while. Good dive, Rosa. I don't know how you did that, but you're good. Double block! Oh my gosh! We cannot put up the wall. That's not something that you ever do. Dang it, right to him. Not good. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We gotta win. How are we gonna get this? Double block. Why did you why did you come up here? <laughs> I need a new partner! I need Waluigi! Dude, they're so strong! Oh, lame. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, hi, hi, hi. Look at him trying to block me. Unbelievable! They're actually getting really good corner shots. I'm gonna be aiming for corners now, man. Gross! I don't know what that was, but it looked cool. Inner corners, baby. I mean, the exterior corners are actually really good, too, so... Let me see. Wow, 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 Go, finish it! Yes! Big blockage. Double big blockage. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hitting right into these hands. Do it again. Do it again. Three in a row, baby. All right, it's time. Keep going. We need this. We need this right here, right here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go all day. All day. You cannot touch this. Keep going. No, 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 no. Now it's going to be all weird because now, no, we needed to repeat that. Keep serving the same spot, man. You fool. Big corner. Ugh. What are you doing jumping, Rosalina? I got this. I'll be the jumper in this household. Hey -ya! Oh my gosh, that was going way out, but cool. For you. Corner, corner. Hit deep corner. Oh, I'm stuffing her all day. I'm stuffing Daisy for all of her points. This is great. What's Luigi got? Oh, he's got cross court. Okay, Luigi's got cross court. All right, we have to we have to win. This is my this is my match. Really good ace. Too bad, loser. Oh my gosh. Nope. Get stuffed. And that, ladies and gents, is the best volleyball round you'll ever see in your life. Wow, man. Daisy kept on hitting straight into my hands. I was right playing that net. That was really good. That took a little bit, though. I, I enjoyed that thoroughly. Cool. All right, here we go. Ice hockey. Let's go. Uh, Rosa, you ready? Dang. Pass, power shot, normal shot. B and X. OK, 
Okay, here we go. We're playing hockey now. Pass, normal shot, power shot. Wow, this is really good. Oh my goodness. Right here, right here. Thank you. Oh gosh, no, good. Go, Rosa, go, Rosa, go. Uh oh, uh oh. Do that. Thank you. Wee. Oof. Yep, right into him. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, there's a button that does something. I have to do it. Yay. All right, that's one point, baby. I'm going to play defense if you want. Thank you. Dude, I was right in the way. That went through my head. No way. That's not possible. Excuse me? One to one? No, that doesn't count. We need to win. Interesting how it's a tie and not you both win. Right? No. No. Here we go, ice hockey. Let's go. I'm in. Bam, bam. Sweet. All right, let's stall it for 50 seconds. Just stall it. Play defense. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. Hello. <laughs> yes, pass it to the wrong team. Good job. 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 Oh gosh. Go. Go. Shoot it, girl. What are you waiting for? Oh! <laughs> ah, what a loser! Oh, stall it out, stall it out for six seconds. Give it to me. Thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Good job, Luigi. Thank you, buddy. Luigi loses. Wow, 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 wow. That was absolutely hilarious. Whoo, man, stall it out, stall it out. Shell soccer, I love me some, some shell soccer. That was hilarious. Luigi, man, thank you. And I stalled him out right in the corner too. Here we go. Shell soccer, you wanna try to aim for as many Goombas as possible with your kicks. I honestly uh, destroy these guys. Nope. Thank you. And we're gonna go big kicks. Sweet, you got three of them in one kick? Oh man, who are you? Let's go, go ahead, go ahead. Not today. Oh, not today. Nice try. Thank you. Oof. Yes. Oh, come on, we were going to skate over and get that other one. You have three of them in one kick. Kick off, go. Okay, go for it. What you got, what you got? Yeah, good job, Rosa. Good job, Rosa. Thank you. Oof. Take it, take it. Pass it, pass it. Pass, girl. Why didn't she pass it to me? I was open. Excuse me? Are you joking? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Great. I'll play defense. Go, take it, take it. Pass to me, please. Are you joking? He's good. Here we go. Give me this now. Shell soccer. Knock the Goombas out. We gotta do some work. Start. 
Go, go, diagonal hit. What are you doing hitting one? You could have cleared the entire thing. Okay, fine, fine, fine. One goal doesn't matter. Not today. Go. Oops. Good, good clutch. Go, go. Ooh, stop her. Oh gosh, he got two. He got two. Go, go, go. Score. Give me two. Okay, we'll take two. Two off the corner. Three to two. Let's go. Oh man. He's trying to play defense. I thought he was going cross court or something. Dude, no! I, you saw me score right through that. I went like, I flew. I got it. Take it. There we go. My first goal. I got two of them. Good job, Rosa. You look at you playing defensive. All right, come on, go, 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 take him, take him, take him out. Oh, diagonal, such a diagonal hit. Thank you, oof. Yes, go! Oh, come on, so close. We need one more baby Goomba and we win. It's way more exciting than regular football. Go! Oh my gosh. You know you can pass too, Rosa. Thank you, mine. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Thank you. Go. Free. I misclicked. I pressed the B button. I pressed the A button instead of the B button. No, you don't. Guess what? No, you don't. Guess what? No, you don't. Oh my gosh. Guess what he did? It's 6-6. Six, six. Whoever makes this is going to make it. Oh, great. Oh, great. No, thank you. Dude, I was right in front of that. That's such trash. It went through me. No, 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 no. All right. I need to win this one. And we lost. Cool. Yup. I'm too, I'm going offensive because Rosa's not doing anything. What is happening? How are they able to just take it from me? Oh, what? Unbel- Oh my gosh. I was so lined up to take five of them out in one. Alright, that's fine. Go shoot! I just need one. Let me just get a score. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need something, man. This game is interesting. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Good, good, good. See, I was able to stall them a little bit by being in their way. Get him off me. Okay, uh, so I was trying to go like really extreme angle. It didn't work out. Let me get two, please. Thank you so much. I'm a striker, baby. What? 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 <gasps> oh, really well done. I don't know. I We just literally have one more score and we're done. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow, I said, what are you doing? Shoot it! And she did, and she got a two first. So that's exactly how you win that game. Oh my gosh, this passing is really important. Wow, that's a game. Ew, Mario's Puzzle Party against the computers? I'm not gonna win against them here. Oh no, I forgot about this thing. There's two games I will never win against the C uh, against the P <laughs> CPs. There's one. 
We'll never win this. How are they doing? How are they doing that so fast? How are they grabbing it so quickly? Are you kidding me? 43 in two seconds? You're insane! This is not a minigame. I'm sorry, how- oh, because they're pressing up. They're pressing up to grab them really quick. I will absolutely never ever win against the CPUs. This is just a this is not a mini game. I'm not going to classify this as a mini game. I'll give my a couple attempts at it, but this is not a mini game. No, no, no. This is it's like an extra bonus mode. I will never play this. Tell me more about that. It's not a thing. It's just not a thing. You don't win. You don't win. There's no. This is physically impossible to win against the computers. I said that a lot about some previous mini games. But you can't. You cannot do it. I'm I'm 100% convinced that you cannot do this. I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just putting stuff down. Like I don't even care. I I'm playing like the way that they're playing right now, and they're playing in a way that it's just like, oh, so we're gonna hope that dumb luck comes through and really just gives us a crazy combo. No way. There's gotta be insane amount of luck with this. I can play Tetris. This is not Tetris. Just because it looks like a puzzle, I get where you can be confused. I can play Tetris very well. This is not that. This is something different altogether. I just don't have the practice with it because this isn't like a game that a lot of people like have. Gross. I don't even know what color's in the corner, man. <clears throat> 61? Come on, man. Fight me. What if I actually did win? But now's my chance, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta stop making these like ones and twos. Go, man. Hey, man. Second place isn't bad. I'm getting better. Okay, so seeing that the other characters seem to be losing a lot, you know what? Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible that I could win. I don't know. I'm not gonna spend an hour on it, but like I'll see. I'll see what I can do. 
I just gotta build up these big old combos, apparently. What's in the corner? Green? Dang it. And I don't like sitting on the edge like this either, it's kind of annoying. How in the world? How did you get 40 points already, huh? Hacks, man. I don't know the gimmick of this game. Smushing stuff down seems to be uh, a strategy of sorts. 93, 99, nice, nice to meet you. Um, what? How did I get two, how did I get two people out on that one round? How did that happen? Start. <sighs> Beats me. You're not even trying to match up stuff at the beginning. That's just not what you do. You're just hoping for dumb luck and combos. Do you think any of this is intentional? Absolutely not. Oh great, look at that, cool. You got 53 already, congratulations. I mean, I could do a basic, like, one to two combo, but that's pretty much it. That's the extent of, like, what I'm able to feasibly do. It's not fun. <laughs> is this fun for you guys, this game? It's not fun. This game is garbage. I mean, I got second place. I think that's pretty good, but there. I think in this collection, if there's going to be games that I will not win in, it's this puzzle game. Is there a strategy that I'm missing? Besides putting all the blocks down, matching two. How did you get 87, man? I need to just watch them. I need to watch them to see what they're doing, honestly. That's kind of what it's like, I'm missing out on it. What are they doing? Are they intentionally making cool combos that are just really good or what, man? What are they doing? They're just grabbing them and putting them down. Like this person's just grabbing everything and making like, um. that person just KO'd themselves. Can you, can everyone just do that, please? I don't like the sound effects of them winning. Wow, 82, look at me. Come on! That's my highest score! Yeah, the Thwomp seem to be making a lot of points because like it smushes it down and then since it's get since it gets smushed down, like it's just it's it's comboing a lot. So maybe the strategy is just like, okay, well, hey, you know, put stuff down. As best as you can. It doesn't matter anything about coloration because the Thwomp's gonna come over here and help smash it down for you. And how do you get a thwomp? I haven't seen a single one yet. It didn't do anything for me. Got some bricks on the side over here. Seventy-five? What are you doing? Sixty? It's 
not a fun minigame, like, at all. And that's the end. Dude, at least the rounds are fast. It's not a big commitment like you're jumping the clock hands, but, like, getting second place is lucky, man. How did you get 16 right off the bat? That just makes no sense to me. I'm just filling this up, like not even caring style. I guess making a big tower and then dropping a thwomp on it seems to be the strategy. But I'm not, I'm not trying to do that right now. I got some 99, look at him, look at him at 99 right now, come on. I don't get this one guys. Um, it seems I'm not doing anything intentional, it's not like I'm playing Tetris Attack, which is a game that I'm actually good at. Uh, or Pokemon Puzzle League, those of you guys that know um, that kind of game. It's just, it's, it's just weird. Is there a strategy that I'm missing? <sighs> Pounding these things down. That, my side is too high now, so that's a dead side and I can't do anything about it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, yep, uh-huh, great. And now is where I lose. Cool. <laughs> oh, tell me, tell me. Try to make stack towers left and right, man. That's what I was thinking. I was honestly thinking of doing that. I'm looking at these CPUs and they're just filling up. No sense in like where they're filling up. They're just throwing it all in. That person lost already. <sighs> okay, 50 points, man. Let's go, 1v1 me. Get me out of here. Are you kidding? I had a, I had an opportunity to win. I had an opportunity to win. I had 58. Two of them knocked themselves out. What is going on? Uh... How, excuse me, how did you have 48 right now? Dude, that, that sound effect of them like getting so many points is like so crazy and therefore I lost. No way, man. I, I think I could get at this for like I can go at this for an hour and maybe I'll win because it's dumb luck. You don't like those simple two combos? Like that's not going to do anything for you. It's not a not it's not a thing. The thwomp is really the gameplay element that allows for people to get a lot more points. And like that whole side is smushed, but then the other side isn't smushed and I got all these bricks over here. Like what? Yeah. Floristic, I don't think we have a strategy for this game. 
at least for beating the masters. You can probably beat your friends just by, you know, playing the game because they're gonna be like, oh, wow, what is this, Tetris? It's so easy, I play Tetris, I'm good at this, right? Like, no. Don't fill up anything past, like, the four blocks from the top or else you can't fit in something. And I gotta start clearing some of this. That didn't even do anything for me. What? I was gonna say, I was doing so well. No, I wasn't, I really wasn't. No way, man. Please tell me about this game. I think the thwomps have to be done on the left and the right side. Look at that, I just got pounded with only six points. I got owned with only six points, yeah right. You can't. Unless I'm I'm looking to stay here for like another hour or two, there's no way, physically, anyone could beat this. And if you did, you got lucky. That womp didn't do anything for me. Yeah, and I couldn't because my other side was blocked with all this garbage. It was blocked with junk. That was a misclick too. Ugh, frustrating game, man. Hi. Hey, Magic Man. Uh, is the strat to make a checkerboard pattern so when the thwomp comes down, they'll smash the blocks into position? Could be. I'm fine with second place too, man. It's, just... it's like trying to play a computer player in, like, chess. Uh, maybe that is a strategy. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, a little... A little checker pattern. I like that idea and concept. Seems kind of cool so far. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll try it. I ate too much trash at the beginning, and I instantly lost because I'm too busy thinking about the blocks and making said checker pattern. It's not possible. These are the last mini games, honestly. Like, we can call it a day if we wanted to. I can't even get to my checker pattern now. Eighty two? Please, Daisy, lose. Alright, I'm done with it. I'm officially calling that quits. It's not fun. It's not challenging. It's just... It's you trying to beat a computer at playing chess. You have to either have an extreme amount of luck, or... I don't know. Maybe you're good at it. But the only way that I would believe that you're good at it is if you can show me you beating master computers multiple times in a row. That's the only way that I think you'll, you're good at this. And I don't think anyone's like that. Unless that's the only game that they play. Let's try Blockstar. <laughs> These games are hard, man. What is this? Oh, this is the one I can play with my eyes closed. 
Okay, let me see. How do I move it higher? What am I doing here? What's the point? How do I move them from side to side? I just don't? What's happening now? Someone tell me the point of this minigame. Because I am not doing anything besides... There's a lot of trash over here. How am I gonna... Oh gosh, no! Four, three, two, one! Um... Cool. That thing's- that's really tall. I don't know how to change the columns that they're in. I need, like, greens to be over here, but I don't have enough! <laughs> this game is terrible, Cassie. That game is terrible. I'll try- I'll give it one more try. It's just an extra game. Connect five more blocks to remove them if your timer reaches zero. Uh, move up and down blocks to pester your rival? Okay, I mean, what? What is that? Five or more? Oh, can I click and drag? Did I not do that? Wee! I could have done that the entire time. How silly. But I'm just out here doing this nonsense. And this is the nonsense that was, uh, wee! So I could do that. I could throw another blue over here. I get another blue over here, flip these yellows to the top, and, and like actually play the game. Didn't realize that. Had I known... Had I known, that would have been uh, something worth doing. So I could do this, throw that there. Throw this up here. Oh, actually I need the greens. Oops. Oh gosh. So the game, honestly, it's like you could just, you could play this with your eyes closed, just by pressing buttons. If you really wanted to make it good, then you can, I don't know, click and drag and find your way forward. And then grab these guys and put them there and say, oh, here you go, look, I intentionally did that. Just flip stuff around. Oops. Oh, hello? There we go. And then you just kind of fill in the gaps. You can do this, you can do that. I don't think I'm ever going to get to a point where I'm, I'm destroying Daisy. Because she's just on Master and she's really just keeping up with stuff. And I can, there's no way to make my thing go, like, higher. Like, typically in the other puzzle games, you can, like, push up your side. This is, like, the epitome of boring. So, when it comes to, like, fun minigames, like, this is not one of them. This is not a minigame that you'd be like, Oh, dude, come over. We gotta play this cool puzzle game that uh, that's in Mario Party. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, no, she got a couple seconds on me. No, she's winning, because I stopped actually playing. Yep, three, two, one, you win! Good job, Daisy. I never want to play that game again. It's not a mini game. It's just another game mode. Alright, sorry dudes. We're gonna we're gonna kinda wrap this up soon in the next couple moments here. Last one, stick and spin. I will I will give it the college try. 
Again, it's just a mini game. Or no, sorry, it's a it's a side game. I wouldn't call it one of the 100, but call it what you want. Here we go. We look. We're playing a game called Marbles. That's marvelous. It's marvelous. What's the number two do? Oh, I don't want to find out. See, this game's a little bit more my speed, right? Like, you just kind of rotate, you put some balls around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Do you match two with a two? Is that what that does? I don't know. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one. All right, here we go. <laughs> What's the three do? Oh my gosh. Many twos. Help. A big two. Wait, these twos don't do anything. They're just junk. I thought you had to connect the twos together. They don't though. Wow, wow, I did not rotate fast enough. Wow, okay, so I gave her a lot. So I guess if you send the twos by landing them somewhere like that. Yeah, this is like a junk pile. I cannot do anything over there. Weird puzzle game, man. Person who made it didn't think it was weird. Oh, and that's dead. It's a marble there. Too many! Too many! Oh, help, help, red, green, two, green, green, okay, okay, I think I've survived another day. Oh, interesting, boom, we're gonna launch those. Dude, this is interesting, there's too many, I've got too much junk over here and I can't do anything about it. Playing against a master computer in a game that they're the master at. But I will never give up. Is she winning? <laughs> Did she win yet? Oh, this is so hard. I don't know where I'm going with these. Blue. Here we go. Green. Ding. There's a four here. Wow, look at that. A big two. I, I don't think anything's gonna happen with that, for sure. A f another four? Yeah, right, man. So this game, you just really have to know where you're gonna put those colors and uh, those numbers, so you give them back to your opponent. Like that. Just put me out of my misery, Daisy, please. You're the expert at this game. Oh my gosh, that is the end. Fours. Four is all over. What am I doing here? You're burying me! You gave me a baby four? That's kind of cute. Thank you. Oh, okay, cool. That was... Blo my mind hurts. My mind hurts from that. I don't think so. I mean, you can play this game all day. You can play that game all day. Is that it? Are we done? Are we done? Is that it? Is that all 100 minigames? Oh my goodness. Beat a master CPU 95... 9,500 every time you beat a master CPU? You get a lot of experience every time you do so. Do you see this right now? Hello? 
I'm level 76 in Mario Party, and I unlocked the staff credits, and I'm a minigame master. Weird, man. Are we done? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me jump in really quick and see what's up. How many more do we have? Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Daisy's just good at the game. Like, you really have to know the intricacies of how to play that game. I've only played it once, and it's just like, eh, I'm okay. A little puzzle game mode, no thank you. All right, let's see. What's max level? Okay, master CPUs, let's go. Toad? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was it. That was, that was it, right? Stick and spin. Oh my gosh, we did everything. We did all the games. We've done them all. Oh my gosh, we played through every single minigame, and the only minigame, technical minigame, that I did not beat the computers in was Leaf Leap. So what do you think? Should we try for a little longer on Leaf Leap? Come back to it? Vendetta? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, though. I'll try for a little bit. So we've done it. We've beaten every single minigame. We've done every single minigame, man. A couple more tries. It is a vendetta at this point. It is a huge vendetta at this point where I'm just like, dude, I don't like this at all. Flawless run. That is the only thing that you need here. Sherry, did you beat it on master mode? And if you do, you better save me the replay. Of you getting over 150 meters. It's not an issue of watching the computers. It's just an issue of just knowing how to play the level. It's random every time. Empty jumps, wrong jumps, they're bad. Empty jumps all day, man. And a bad jump. You can't do a single mistake. If you're gonna try to beat these computers, there's not a single mistake. It's not a hard minigame. By all means, it's not a hard minigame. Really, it's not. I got really far. Did I win? Or if I tied, I'm calling it a win. Winner. Oh my gosh, that's my personal best. Luigi got 153 though. That's my personal best. One forty-four. My PB, guys. Cool. 
Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. I can't beat this one. It's too hard. Can't do it, man. No, slowly working up from Master is not going to help. It's the same minigame regardless of who you're playing against. It's not like on Master mode the Beanstalks like spawn differently. No, it's the same game. It's just the computers are dumber on the lower difficulties. And the computers on Master are legit masters. They will maybe make one mistake, maybe not any mistakes in a run. So that's why I get personally upset when I make mistakes like that and I lose it. They make it to the the outer atmosphere, man. I can't. I wish that was it. This is the one game in Mario Party history that is probably going to go down in history as the hardest mini game to beat the master to beat the master computers. And if you can get over 150, guess what? Rosa's gonna get 153 and destroy you. Fudge, man. I was doing so. I, was, I made it to the clouds. I made it to the clouds before I fell. No, there's physically no way a human can get up to 200 meters. I just have to make 150. I have to make 150 and hope everyone got under 150. 144 was good, but that was like, I need to go a little faster. With my tempo that I have, I don't think that run, maybe that run had one empty jump in it. Maybe that run had one empty jump. I'm just thinking of like, what am I, what is, what am I physically able to do? Otherwise it's insanity. You get a slight millisecond head start at the beginning, but over the time, they're going to earn back that millisecond. I'm trying, Rusty. We're going to do it together, man. You're going to, you're going to witness it. I had one mistake on that one. That's probably 140. Yeah, 141. She made 150. I got second place. If she messed up like the rest of her teammates did, I would have been done. I would have been done. We could call this live stream successful. Wow, right? These are these bots are insane. Sometimes I think about this mini game. You ever think about this mini game? It's pretty cool, huh? I, I can't seem to get off the first 10 jumps, man. I can't. I can't seem to do it. I'm doing empty jumps, man. I, I can't afford that.
<laughs> help me! Help me! I need help! If I can get second place, we can just say I won? No, man. Like, if I legitimately beat every single master computer in this game... Mini games. I have to put the asterisk over there because I'm not gonna waste my time with the stupid puzzle games. Because that's like, you have to learn a full skill set for that. It's like memorizing a new game, man. That's not a mini game. If I can do that, then man, you are the king of Mario Party. So that when you lose against someone in a board, you can say, Oh, well, have you beaten all the computers on, uh, on Master Difficulty? Oh, you didn't? Oh, so you just got lucky on this board and that's how you won? Oh, okay, cool. Just, just making sure. That'll always be my skill card. That I could just always just play. Like, yo, did you beat all the Master CPUs? They're already in space, man. They're already at the outer stratosphere with the Milky Way. I got like 130 on that one, man. Winners. 132, she got 153 tied with Luigi. There's no way. I need to, I need to go faster. I need practice. I need practice for this. It's not a, it's not a one thing you pick up and you're like automatically good at it. Trust me. And there's no moving your character. You either commit to a solid single jump or you choose left or right. There's no in between like that one uh, paratrooper game. And like I can hear, you know what? I need to turn the music down. I don't like the sound of the other characters jumping. So I'm gonna turn the sound down on my end so I don't have to listen to it. Cause I just wanna, I wanna see the, the bloom in slow motion. I wanna see the bloom of it. And then, go. No way. But you guys are good. Thank you for hanging in with me. Hanging in there with me. You guys are great. Thanks for all of your hard work and determination. You guys are the real champions here. If I could do 99 games where I beat the Masters. Dude, this one's just another one of them. Here we go, focus, focus, focus. No, that was a good RNG one because they were kind of slow. They were messing up a little bit. That one was really close. I can see this. I can see the rockets like on the other sides of the screen, just to see how far away the other teammates are. And then it just makes me nervous because I'm like, oh, am I ahead? Am I behind? Do I need to step it up? What's going on? Cool. Would doing it in your head like you do lucky space timing help? I mean, honestly, it is a it is a tempo thing. You're correct in that. It is a tempo thing. Like, you have to keep a tempo. But while you keep a tempo, your other brain's like, all right, left, right, jump. So, yeah, it's it's there's a lot going on with this minigame. And it's like, I'm thinking about it. 
And I've never played a single minigame so long before in my life. To try to beat... I mean, you think that there's a high score I'm aiming for. I'm really not. I mean, I would love to go for a more a better personal best of 144. But it's... It's hard, man. It's like, and then, like, as soon as you land, you're like, oh, man, I had a slow landing. Like, ah. These are, like, all the calculations going in your head right now. It's like, left jump. Come on! Oh, she went to like Mars. She went all the way to Mars. She actually f climbed her beanstalk to the spaceship Mario, man. 156. You're insane. 123. I fell down a couple times. It's so, so impossible. 153? Dude, I just got a bank on getting lucky. Like, so, so there is going to be an element of luck in winning this, and that element of luck is going to be whether or not the computers mess up so that I can actually skate away with the win here. And we've seen it where computers don't even get 140, right? So if I can just be on top of my game and not empty jump like that... They were on top of their game on that one. No way. So hard. <sighs> yep. We should absolutely summon a tough tribe member. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. See how that goes for you. I'm gonna be dreaming of beanstalks, man. I'm gonna be dreaming of beanstalks later. It's gonna be terrible. And you guys are gonna dream of it too. It's gonna be so bad. It's, it's hard. The aim the aim for the jump is hard because sometimes I just want to hold left and then hold right. So I'm always holding a direction, right? But my brain, I can't, I can't allow my brain to, to think about that. What if I did a slow tempo? Like a slight couple milliseconds slower. What if I did something like that? I even went a couple milliseconds slower and I'm still messing up. It's so bad. Well, thanks for believing in me. You guys are a great crowd. Can I successfully do like a full run all the way to outer space without missing? That's a good question. I made it to all the way to outer space without missing once. Yeah, I did. And then I kind of faltered at the top because I, I looked, I peeked at everyone else and they were right with me, if not a little bit higher. Dude, you cannot, you cannot. Rosa's, is she getting 150 every time? We gotta weed her out of here. Tell her to chill. 
How is she winning all the time? Maybe I should... Maybe I should choose, like, the, the weaker characters, and maybe they're programmed to not be so good. Rosa just wants to go back to her spaceship, man. Space woman wants to go back home. Let her. <sighs> Space woman wants to go back home. Who else is coming? Who's bad? Have we noticed that Luigi and Daisy are bad? What about Wario? Maybe he's just... Maybe he's terrible. Maybe Wario's just bad at jumping. If I would take a look at all those characters, I would say Wario and Birdo are probably the worst at jumping. But in Mario Party, that's not how the games work. Every character has the same abilities just to make it fair or else it wouldn't be fair. So put them on Master and let's go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. DK. Donkey Kong. Alright, give it to me. Please, please, just let me win. Let me win, you CPUs that are on. I'm asking the master CPUs to actually slow the roll a little bit. Cool. I can get to smoke. I can get to smoke okay. I wish it was like, it w if it was a memorization thing, that'd be so much easier, right? Because then I could be like, oh yeah, left, right, 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 up, up, down, down, right? And then I can, I can memorize it and actually get better. But since this is just random every single time and your brain has to readjust, so hard. It's hard. Daisy bouncing, yeah, right? I'm sure that her no noises are super annoying. Marte, is it even possible? I don't think so. Someone earlier in chat claimed that they got like a 147 in one. Uh, but again, picks, video, didn't happen. I mean, if you got a personal best of 147, that's great. I believe that you can have the ability of winning, but... I don't know, man. I get nervous once I start seeing the horizon and the outer space. I get nervous, like, oh my gosh, how many more jumps do I need? Like, I really start losing it after that. Two empty jumps in this run. And a bad jump, cool. I know, Isabella, I got it. It's concentration, 100%. It's not anything else. You just have to concentrate, you have to get it, and you have to go. No way. No way, Jose.
My goodness. Here we go. Come on, Mario! Look at Wario doing that work. I made it to the stratosphere. It's 140, man. I made it. That's good, but it's not. It's not enough. Oh my gosh, 147. I think I had one fall down on that. So if mine was perfect, I would have made it. I need a positive start. You gotta get it, man. Mario Party, dude. Sitting down for so long. Guys, it's just not possible. It's not possible, Jasmine. It's not possible. You came at the perfect time. You better come out here and you better tell me how to beat this. Because I spent a long time trying to get this minigame. I spent a long time trying to beat this mini game. It's so hard. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. We could have had it, man. We could have had it. Empty jump. Failure jump. Start over jump. That is the start over jump, man. Okay. Crystal! Crystal, play another minigame and come back to it? Whoa, did you just join us? Welcome, if so. We've played all the minigames up until this point. And I'm not looking at playing any other minigames. At all. I do not want to touch Mario Party Superstars with a 10-foot pole after today. Unless it's with you guys and we actually play a board. And I get to dominate you in this game. That's it. Healthy dose of self-belief, baby. Let's go. Boing, boing, boing. jump. Oh man, I fumbled that so bad. I had really good RNG with the other teammates. Uh... Start. 
Two empty jumps, man? <sighs> Jenna, tell me about it. I think this is the hardest minigame to beat anything. Outside of those dumb puzzle non-minigames. Ah. I think I'm okay. I've been kind of like stretching in place, so I'm, I'm good on that. I took like a little eating break in between, uh, in between little mini games here, if you noticed. So I think I'm good. I'm just kind of like, maybe I'm just over it. I don't know. What do you think? Am I over it? Cool. <laughs> you wish there was a way to have only one master CPU? Why? It'd still beat you every time. What, are you trying to get second place? I can get second place. It's not a problem. I've done it. We've shown it. But yeah, I guess having the ability to customize your, um, your CPUs is pretty good. Please fall down, whoever that is in the middle of the screen. One empty jump and a failed jump in outer space, man. Dude, I made it to outer space with only no mistakes. And then we botch it, man. It's not an issue of timing this game at all, it's not. It's just an issue of how fast you can process left or right or solid jump. Timing has nothing to do with it. It's not a timing minigame. It's a how fast you are physically able to assess the situation in front of you kind of a deal. It's a reflexes game, if anything. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a reflexes game. So you gotta be really good at reflexes. Mario Party 5, man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's reaction time, it's reflexes, it's, uh, it's a lot of that. And you gotta do it for 30 seconds, like non-stop, like every other second. Empty jump in the fog. Someone's already in outer space. Makes me nervous when I see that. My last jump brought me all the way down. Could I have made that? I don't know. No, 147, I've never done that. But, um, I don't know. I honestly don't. I don't. That was a close one. There, No one is going 153, 157. That's good, at least. I don't know, man. What's up, Aaron? Good to see you. What are you up to? What you up to? Me? I'm just spinning my wheels over here. If you get high enough, you can see the moon? How do you know, Tyler? Did you go all the way up there? Is there an endless mode? How do you know, Tyler? Tell me. You just got 153? Oh my gosh. 
Sherry, you're good at video games. I'm not good at video games. I'm terrible at them. I'm just- I just play them because they're fun. <laughs> no way. Tyler, you got 168? Tell me, Tyler, what is your trick? Sherry, you too. What's your trick? What am I missing here? Get a solid tempo. Are you guys holding left and right the entire time? Are you put slamming your stick into neutral at all? What's the what's the strategy that you guys are using? I I don't think there is one other than just focus. I want someone to come over here and just like jump for me. Would that work? Would that work? What was the best minigame that we played today? I don't know. I don't know. I played too many of them. This minigame is the best minigame I've ever played in my life. Forever. Mario Party should only be this game. It's so simple and so good. I love Mario Party. Mario Party Superstars. Did I do it? I'm at a gold leaf. What does that mean? It's gotta be my that's gotta be my personal best. 144, man. I don't do any higher than that. Oh my gosh. 153, Luigi, calm yourself. Wario's doing really well. He's got 111, man. Maybe we gotta change up his characters. Press A without the leaf. Okay, here we go, here we go. What is this game? Dude, excuse me? It's Animal Crossing, what does it look like to you? Gold Leaf is your personal best? Oh, that's cool, okay. All right, I see that. Michelle, oh, you're here to save the day, thank goodness. How have you been? Please tell me you're playing Mario Party along with and trying to beat every single minigame against these brutally difficult CPUs who cheat all the time. You're the best, thank you. How have you been? I don't, I don't. Okay, so, I mean, I've really only talked about this strategy multiple times. Keeping your stick in neutral while you're jumping seems to be the trend. Holding your breath, turning the sound down, just really focusing on Zen mode. Gotta focus on Zen mode. Pixar, it didn't happen, kind of a deal. 162 is amazing if that's the case. You're really good. You have to tell me what you're doing differently. Of course, it's gotta be a flawless run. It's gotta be a flawless run. Empty jumps? Nope. Can't do it. Fall down jumps? You might as well quit. Fudge! You're joking! I don't like that! I was doing so well, man. Uh, it's 130, man. I was doing... You got 156, Wario? You're a butt. He's a... He's a something. Why would I click on random minigame? Why is that a thing? Who designed these menus in this game? Please get fired. 
Please get fired. You're the actual worst. Why would the default option on top be random minigame? I wish disciplinary action on you. <laughs> I wish disciplinary action on you. It just doesn't make sense. All right. What? 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 Give me all of your... What am I... If you were to write the book on this game, what would you write about it? Other than what I've already been saying, and you just have to perform. Okay, here we go. Write the book. Write the book. Write the book. Write the book. I criticize the UI because I actually think about those things. Whereas other people who just play the game and don't really care about those little details. But I care about the little details and I notice things like that. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to notice the little oversights that the developers miss out on. Triple A publisher over here. You better get everything right, man. Claudia, I know I'm a winner in your book, trust me, but I need to be a winner in my book. I need to be a winner in my book. And um, the fact that I've sat here for over seven hours means that I'm absolutely a winner in my book. But the fact that I've tried this for over an hour, man, I'm stubborn. If you know anything about me, like, I will not back down from a challenge. Like, I love a challenge, right? I do. I think they're fun. I think they're exciting. It's really like peaking my brain cells, if not squashing every one of them. So slow, so slow. Dude, I didn't. I subtly did, but I didn't. <laughs> I subtly did aim that way. Hitting a TV with a hammer? No way, man. What the heck's a TV? on some monitas over here. Okay, I just jumped, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, we have took a big break from this minigame, but honestly, we played all the minigames in the pack. Like, everything's done. We are 99% of the way there. We've done everything. Let's go play a board, and then the first minigame is this stupid Leaf Leaf, man. What if? I'm like, oh, great, cool. You know what? I got so much, pra so much practice on this, you wish you could get 100 on the spot. Isaiah, you would have been defeated at this point? Yeah, I know, man. Trust me, me too. I'm very defeated. I'm feeling a little defeated, but it's okay. As long as I can, if I can beat my 144, I think that'll be pretty good. If I can beat that. If I can beat the 144, I think I'm just going to call it. Because then it's just a matter of luck. Because if I could win with a 144, and I I think I feasibly can, right? It just depends on what the computers do. It depends on what the computers do, right? If their benchmarks are under 144 all in a row, then I have feasibly won. I've beaten this game, right? 
So it's just a matter of lining up those bad CPU scores and getting lucky at that point. But if all the CPUs are like landing 153s, 156s, then there's no feasible way that I could beat them. So there, there is a little bit of luck with this. My camera's gonna turn off in two seconds. I can feel it. I can feel it like getting ready. Have you tried looking above your character and not where your character is? Yeah, I mean, I've tried that. I kind of look at where the leaf, leaves are spawned. But I kind of, and then I like, I kind of like defocus my eyes and then just see where, which side something sprouts out. And then I go from there. But it's just so, it's so fast that you just have to do it. And the CPUs are having a hard time with this run. It's good. Wow, this was a this was a run that I could have easily beat these guys in. Wario fell down like three times, which is great. Like we want that. We want the computers to fail. But I just gotta do this, man. And then your brain starts thinking about patterns. You're like, oh, it's left, right, left, right. So you gotta keep that up. And you have to silence your brain and say, no, there's absolutely zero patterns. And regardless of if you got two solid neutral jumps in a row, that doesn't mean that there's gonna be a three one, man. So that's the hard part. You're, you're, you're constantly fighting your brain. You're constantly fighting your brain because your brain's picking up on patterns and saying, oh, well, the next one's gonna be left. Like, no, just look, look and react, man. There's zero pattern. Just gotta look and react. That's it. It's it's easy to say don't predict so much, right? It's easy to say that, dude. Come over here, sit in my seat. Go boot up this game and you start playing it. And then I'm gonna tell you not to predict too much. I'll put you in the hot seat, see how you feel. It's it's hard. It's just really hard. Pudge, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to jump. I'm tr like, if you go slow, you're gonna lose. If you do slow and steady wins the race, man, you're going to lose because the other dudes jump faster than you and they're gonna perfectly be so many leaves above you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're gonna boot this up and beat it quickly. Yup. More power to you. I will give you, I'll give you like 10 bucks. I'll give you 10 bucks. You record your video of you doing it with masters. Within 10 minutes, go for it. You got it. Oh, man, this is just, it's bad. Come on, cool. Yep. Oh my gosh. Ah, the toad in the pause menu looks like a popsicle? Hold on, I gotta look at that. What are you talking about? That sounds hilarious. This is my life's work. Yeah, we do need some weed killer on the opponent, opposing opponent's plants. Or just tell him not to jump so fast. The moment I turn my brain off for a millisecond. Fudge, man. 
Oh, help me. Help, 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 help. Help me! Why? Why is this hard? Please, is there anything else? Please, Saya. Let me beat this! Yep, second jump, perfect. My life! My life! One more! Okay, dude, I will make one more video on Yokai Watch. But you know, the last time that I made one more video on Yokai Watch, what happened? Are you joking? Come on, man! I made an entire s one more entire series on Yokai Watch. Where were you then? What what are we doing here? All right, all right, no more, none of that. Thank you. Cool. Is this mini game gonna defeat me? It just might be Fitzgerald eighty two. It just might. I don't know. There's a small percentage of players out there who can do this, and then I don't know if I'm feasibly one of them. But I will try. I will, I will try my best! Mario is doing so well. Empty jump one. How is Daisy doing that? Please, someone slow her down. She's too fast. I get too, I get too afraid when I'm in outer space. I, I think about how it's impossible for a human to survive jumping all the way into outer space and I get really nervous. So I'm doing averages of 130. Daisy did a flawless 153. There was absolutely no way I can win that, even if I didn't mess up at the end. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Kelly. We got this. Kelly, I need you. I need all of this to win. I wasted a little time on that one leaf. I took a book out and I read it. The time that I was on that leaf right over there. How is that person in fourth place over there? Like going so high up without a single mistake. I cannot believe my life right now. Shut up! How, oh, Luigi? How did you do it so well? 159? There's no feasible way. It's so inconsistent. Now Daisy did 123, I beat Daisy. Is it just like a random seed that's just like, okay, well here, we're gonna make player four win today. We're gonna make player three win today. But you can see that they, my tempo is not fast enough as, they, as theirs is. My tempo is just not fast enough. I'm not keeping up with them. All right, here we go. Two empty jumps, man. What's two empty jumps gonna do for me? And a mess up, and a mess up, man. I don't, I don't know how. I just wanna, oh, can I beat 150? If I beat 150, I'm gonna call it a day. If I beat 150, I'm out of here, and then I'm just gonna settle for a second play, and I'm just gonna say, you know what, I can't do it. At least not in my right mind of playing this game for eight hours, so there's that. And then you guys have your homework, you have your homework in front of you of beating this game on hard. Or not on hard, I'm sorry, on master mode. That's your homework. That's it. And then show me your little video proof of it. And I'm gonna say, wow, I'm so honored.
And all the people that didn't tweet it out at me, I'm gonna say, wow, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, man. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, I think I'm gonna put more out, uh, possibly tomorrow. Possibly tomorrow. I gotta record some more of that, so thanks for, uh, enjoying, enjoying it. Joel! Stay tuned, turn on notifications. Bye. Cool. Cool. Wow, oh my gosh. I'm just so, I'm so ready to be done with it. My brain is like mush right now. Trying to beat all of these mini games and then coming back to this nonsense. Empty jump. Cool. You know what I'm actually glad for is that start over is just so quick. And if you miss it, whatever. Come on, just jump in again. I'm in outer space. I'm getting nervous. Ha! The gold leaf! The gold leaf! It's 144. I made like 141, man. Okay, that's my personal best. Uh, 140. Oh my gosh! Come on, second place! 159. Luigi, you gotta go. You gotta go, man. I'm done. Luigi's gotta go. He's known for jumping high. He's a fool. Luigi, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. You can't. I have to go like DK, man. I, and yes, it's superstition at this point. But at this point, I don't care. I don't even care. Wario is good. Daisy's kind of annoying. Here's DK and also a stupid Birdo. The worst character. Did you notice that there's no other playable characters in this game? Like, what is that? In the previous Mario Party, had at least like 12, 20 characters? What is that? How do they do that? How do they get away with that? Huh? Tell me. Why is that acceptable? Why did you accept that? Why did you as a consumer concept accept that there was only these characters? Here we go. Cool. I don't get it. I, I'm, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I legit missing here? I'm just missing the concentration. Keep on asking me about Metopia. I think that helps. Kenneth, what's up? 147 is great, man. It's really good. Oh my gosh, 147 is amazing. That's really, really good. That's a good score, but like Birdo, player four is... Player four is just killer. Kenneth, man, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Did you, did you like, save the screenshot? Like, save the movie? Like, hold the screenshot button and then uh, record it onto your Nintendo Switch and so you can play it back every single day and say, wow, I flippin' did it. I did the impossible. I beat Master CPU on Leaf Leap. What's Cakewalk Flip in 3D World? I'm sorry, I don't remember what that is. 
Was I supposed to know what that is? Kick walk flip, man. We're gonna do it, Cassie. We're gonna do it. I swear we are. I have to get at least 147 or 150. Like, that's just my destiny right now. Kotetsu, man, yo, on lurk mode today? Awesome. How you been? Tell me you're getting this game and you are playing this exact mini game along with me and trying to beat the score, please. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's not impossible. Um, it's it's not impossible. It's just it, you, it just takes a lot of reflexes and ability that not a lot of people have. And you know what? That's okay. It's fine if you're not able to do this. As long as you tried your best, you have a high score that you're going for. Come on! Come on! I'm in the Gaussian blur! The Gaussian blur of space. I didn't make it into real space. Boo! See, real space over there is 150 territory. 138, man. I got second place. I'm only getting second place. If you can beat 150 in Leaf Leap, you are a certified expert. 100%. I will, I will tip my hat to you if you can beat 150. Because the only way that you beat these CPUs is because they didn't score 153. That's the only thing, right? The highest score that we've seen from a CPU is 156. So yeah, if you're able to get 156, then you're the absolute master and no one can touch you in this game. But anything around like 147, 150 is really, really good. If I'm out here struggling for hours on this game, Oh, freak. Oh, come on. Is that it? Did I win with my personal best? Please. I hate you too. Oh my gosh. I, that's my best. That's all I can do. That's my, that's the epitome of my skills is 144. I, oh my gosh. And they both got 150s, dude. That was a flawless run. If my flawless run was 144, where am I getting these extra three steps from? I have to step it up. No way, man. How, 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 how? Is this an online multiplayer mode? Can we just like log in right now and all play this mini game? I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Kenneth, you're the bomb diggity, dude. You are one of the few people in the world who can do that. Why not say left, right, out loud as you jump? I could try that. Uh, left, right, right, left. Maybe that's more work for my brain to formulate. That worked out for you, like saying left, right? Because then that's another thing that now my brain has to formulate words and say them. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. It's a good idea, and if it worked for you, then I'm so happy. That's so great, dude. You are the best. I'm aspiring to be, like, a winner. A winner is you, man. Fudge. A winner- my eyes are cross-eyed right now! My eyes are legit cross-eyed!
My eyes are fully cross-eyed now. Just like left, right, left, right. It's not happening. Here, you know what? I'm just gonna... We're gonna try this for a little bit. I'm just gonna go away for a little bit. Way back in the day. So I'm not distracted with looking at my own face. Fudge! Oh, uh, like, oh my gosh, that was it! Like, I'm not looking at my face, so therefore, I can- I can perform, right? Maybe that's it. Empty. Fudge. All right, here we go. Get ready, get ready. It's getting serious, Christian. I know, I know it is. Trust me, it's been serious. I took a long break from playing this minigame, and now I'm back for more. It's a vendetta, it's vengeance, it's... It's unreal. It's unreal right now that a Mario Party game would just make you feel this way. Let's call it Pumpkin Spice Fudge. I love... Fudge. Fudge is great. Oh my gosh! Yo, is that Nicole? What's up? What's going on? Hey, hi. Where's Cash? What's Cash doing? <laughs> I recognize that name. Hello. What's going on? Tell Cash I said hello. No, I'm going away. Bye. Bye-bye. Cash could probably beat this game. He could probably do it way better than me, that's for sure. Hot fudge a Sundays? Mama mia. What if we were going for a world record here? What if we were going for a world record? Two kids and a dog. You think this is hard? No, man, this is easy. You haven't even seen hard. Yo, I'm making this look easy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is this better than shiny hunting? Well, this is 100% skill, and shiny hunting is a lot of luck, so I think it's different. I remember I hatched a shiny in like six eggs once, and I'm like, oh, I'm so cool. Look at me. I did it, right? Look at me. Jenny, you're stressed? Oh my gosh, you're stressed? Dude, I got this plate full of salad that I've yet to eat. And how long have I been streaming for? And I had like a gyro and a little salad and a little parched here. This is uh, not good. You're joking! Uh. See ya. Well, I was in outer space and I fell. If I'm in outer space, my camera's on, Grant. What are you talking about? You don't see my face, Grant? Dude, my camera's on. You have to, you have to click that like button and my camera will come back on. Don't worry. 
But I'm I'm kind of done with this game. I don't think we're gonna make it. I never thought I'd be playing this game. What's the deal with this? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Mario Party. Okay, empty jump while I was in outer space, so that cost me at least 10 yards. Ha! Huh? What is- what is that? No, they were on my- hold on, hold on, hold on. My golden leaf is on their territory? I could have tied with them! I could have done a three-way tie if I landed on it, so my golden leaf is on their thing too, I didn't realize that. I could have tied. Oh, it's gross. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Help me. It was the closest I've been all day. I could have tied with them having known that my gold leaf was on their screen too. Oh. Button Nation, you're correct. I'm gonna feel so relieved. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Get in my belly. One empty jump. Two empty jumps. Quit. Oh. That's right. Slow and steady. Cool, just like that. Perfect. Two empty jumps, man. You can't donkey. What does Donkey Kong sound like? I turn the sound off. Does he sound any good? I love Austin Powers so much. It's the best. It's the best three movies you've never seen. Those are actually my favorite movies, honestly. I don't really, I only, I like the first one and the second one. I don't like the third one. But why isn't there a fourth one? Why don't they make a, make a, a remake of Austin Powers? Cool, there we go. See, Grant, I told you it worked. I told you my camera was on. Mama mia, dude. This game is garbanzo beans. I'm feeling really like a garbanzo bean right now. A garbanzo bean stock. In beautiful 1080p. Alright, let's try it. I had one empty jump, and there's a fail jump. What was your favorite part about the Austin Powers franchise? Please distract me. Away from this monotony of jumping left and right and straight up. Empty. And they're already in space, like, regardless of if I didn't empty. If I didn't have an empty jump, they're already in space. Not gonna happen. Favorite part. Rob HP, you like, get in my belly. Where he wanted the, he's like, you can have your money, but I want the baby.
<laughs> and he says, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> Why does he sing the Chili's baby back ribs jingle? That's so funny. Is it so hard to get sharks with frickin' laser beams on their head? <laughs> uh, so funny. Sharks with laser beams. What the heck? And then he actually got them? Someone got him the sharks? I forgot who. Like, didn't Scott give him? You like a gold member, like, takes the skin off his back and then eats it randomly? Oh, gross. I know how some I know a couple people who think that's really disgusting. But you you do it all the time. It's okay, whatever. It's recycling. Ugh. Wow, you don't get the humor of the Austin Powers movies? Tell me. You probably didn't watch them recently. You'd have to watch them recently and just like really. Yeah, that's a that's a that's an American treasure. No! N double no! Come on! That was my time to not mess actual up! That was my time to not mess up. I was in space before everyone! And look at these low scores they got. 138? If I got my personal best, I would've won. I would've actual won. No, I don't want a random minigame. I hate this! I just want to retry or press the B button or press- Ew! Look at this game! Nasty! Ew! Oh, gross! Yuck, dude. I hate- Oh my goodness gracious. Help me. Help. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, what is that? Fred- Fred Savage? As the mole? Mo- 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 He's like, yes, I'm, I'm aware. I'm a mole, and I have a mole on my face. Yeah, I'm aware of the irony of that. So go ahead and let it all out. <laughs> Joanna, smoking a pancake. <laughs> what is it? What does he say? <laughs> Bong in a blintz. <laughs> oh, it's the best, man. Austin Bar is a funny movie for kids. It's a family-friendly show. Two empty jumps and a fail. I like Mini Me a lot. I like Mini Me so much. I think that, um, yeah, how he was like a pet almost. Mini was like a pet, and he would always like <laughs> he'd just be funny. He was like a dog. Mini Me was like a dog in that show. Why was Mini-Me treated like a little puppy? I'm gonna cut it off and make guacamole? Ew, no one would ever do that. Yikes. Ugh. The coffee part? The coffee part. Oh yeah, where they were taking a sample from, uh, you know, from FB over there. And they took a sample from him, and they were like reducing it down. And Austin Powers said it. he thought it was coffee, and he was like about to drink it. He's like, "Oh, it's a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty, isn't it?" <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> oh my god! When they go to jail together and they sing Hard Knock Life, why was that good? I don't, you know, I honestly don't rem- I didn't like that. It felt really forced. My favorite parts were, like, in the second one, where the, the spaceship went into outer space and they kept on calling it what it looked like. It looked a lot like Jeff Bezos' spaceship. And they called it a bunch of things in a, in a bunch of clever cuts. It was very fun. This is my favorite. My absolute favorite. Many clever cuts in, in fun ways 
That was just like really hilarious. Ah, <laughs> so disgusting! Wow, Joanna, you haven't seen you haven't seen uh, Austin Powers? Are great, great movie, great great trilogy. You'd love them. The first and the second one are the best. The third one, Beyonce, is kind of trash. Do it. Mackenzie loves that movie, right? Mackenzie loves the third one because of uh, Goldmember, right? I love gold. I love gold. Why does he love gold? Yeah, Vern, though. Mm. Man, I miss that guy. He will forever be known for his awesome contribution to the world in the form of Mini Me. Look, I'm the only one in outer space. I'm going to win. This is the end. Dedicate this one to Vern. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Hold on, hold on. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk up. Whoa, Mario and Birdo won. I'll share a victory. That's winning. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Oh, uh, cool. The end. Ladies and gents, after another hour of grinding it, 157, one, uh, one, 147, 147, we're done! I tied with Birdo, I don't even care, it's done, it's over with, we have beaten every, every minigame against the brutal, difficult, oh, oh my gosh, wait, 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 did I, do I get to keep that? Did I keep that? Oh. I think it's too late. I don't think I got it. Someone clip that. I'm at the mercy of you guys clipping on YouTube. I'm at the mercy of you guys clipping on YouTube. I guess I only have the first two seconds of it. Womp, actual womp. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Don't look at my screenshots. Okay. So, what do we think about this? What do we think about it? These last puzzle mini games, they don't count. I'm just calling it out there, all right? They don't count. I don't want to hear it. You gonna say anything about it? Get banned. <laughs> no, everything. We've done it all. You don't, you don't talk to me. Oh gosh, what time is it? Oh, perfect. Oh, I gotta run. Yeah, I gotta run, dudes. Okay, well, that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we gotta go. That's it. You guys are the greatest. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for being here. We're gonna actually be play playing tomorrow. We'll be playing tomorrow um, some actual with members. We'll play some boards. We've already done this. We're set. I'm out of here. I play this too long. I gotta go. <laughs> you guys are great. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks to every single one of you who stuck around with me the entire time. You're the best. All right, I'll talk to you later. See you guys. Bye.